Hello there, guys, gals, non-binary pals. How y'all doing on this nice, chill, relaxing Monday morning, afternoon, evening, nighttime? No matter what time of day it is, I hope y'all are having a nice, chill one at that. Me, myself, I'll fully admit I'm having a little bit of a cooked Monday today. A little, little bit more cooked than uh, normal. Basically, yesterday, I may have ruin no, I wouldn't say like ruin my sleep schedule but like I had one day out of schedule and that's kind of like had a bit of a trickle along effect but for once it wasn't a case of waking up late it's just I woke up like four hours earlier than I usually do and I think my brain is still kind of recovering from that because I was getting into a decent schedule but then I had something very early yesterday that I had to go do. And yeah, I'm just a tad little bit cooked. I was even more cooked yesterday. Like, l late yesterday, I was absolutely cooked. And I tried to stay up long enough so, like, my schedule would kind of sync back up. But I think it's going to take just a few days to get properly back to normal. But it was a good thing yesterday. I I'm glad that I did wake up early. Because basically what I did is I went out to a shopping center that's like two hours away from me to go try our office chairs. Because uh, what I told you guys during the subathon was basically like all the money from the subathon was going towards getting me an office chair because, you know, I, I spend a lot of time at my desk. I thought it'd be good to get like an actual proper good chair to sit in for, you know, a decent bit of time because the one I've got at the moment just isn't that good. It's, you know, just kind of a cheap gamer chair I, I got like three years ago. So I thought it was about time to upgrade. And thanks to you guys, I am actually able to do a really big upgrade. I'm getting myself a Herman Miller. And that's the reason why I had to go like two hours out of my way for it. Is because I wanted to try it before I got it. And my God, does it make a difference? Like The, the place that I went to is it, called like John Lewis in the UK. It has like, a bunch of different office chairs you can try. And it was just like night and day between that and the other ones it was I, I see why everyone recommends herman miller now or you know at least that style of chair i fully get it now it is like a huge huge difference and i'm very much looking forward to it it's on order at the moment so it should be here in the next couple of days but i'm very much looking forward to having a comfortable chair to sit in and one that i know is going to be good for my back in the long term too because unfortunately age catch up catches up to all of us and i gotta start considering like the fact i'm shrimping and how that isn't gonna be good for my back in the long term so it's a worthwhile investment in my opinion i think it's a pretty worthwhile investment especially since as like it's one of it's like one of the best chairs in the business so i like know that i'm not gonna be thinking like oh i could have gotten something better no i got this it's got like a 12 15 year warranty on it so if anything breaks i can get it replaced this is like a long, long term investment for me, like a chair that I'm going to have for a good long while. Yeah, exactly. Proper lumbar support. It really is like a huge difference. The chair that I've got at the moment does have some level of lumbar support, but it's like, it's different, you know? It's just like a pillow that's meant to be at my lumbar, but it keeps like shifting up, shifting down, all that stuff. But, you know, I, I definitely fully understand why that chair has its reputation now, and I am very much looking forward to it. Yes, yeah, an eclipse. I, I, it, it, we didn't get an eclipse here in the UK, I don't think. It, I mean, I guess I, I didn't really check. But it's a thing in America today, right? I, I, I saw some people twatting about, twatting? tweeting about it earlier. I hope everyone enjoyed it. You know, it's, it's one of those things that only happens like every decade or something, right? That's why it's so special. Like, it, it's a very unique event. 2 p.m. your time to see it. Oh, okay. Was it like the entirety of America that saw it? Or like... Is it like just certain areas? People usually buy home uh, secondhand US because it's cheaper and good condition too. I was tempted to do that, but my worry was about like the warranty and stuff. Like I want this to be something that I'm going to have for a good long while. But I got it on discount, so it wasn't like as expensive as it could be. Still pretty expensive, but again, I thank you guys for helping me out with that. But yeah, so... Yeah, so, so what was I talking about again? Oh, yeah, the eclipse. I hope everyone enjoyed the eclipse. Hope no one got blinded or anything. Used all, like, the correct equipment and everything like that. Because it can be a very, very uh, affecting thing, for what I've been told. I've, I've never seen the eclipse myself, but I've been told that it's something to be worried about. And also, there's, like, several cartoons I saw growing up where there's, like... I, f I feel like there's multiple cartoons that had, like, an eclipse episode where someone goes blind because they stared at the eclipse. I, I, I think that's what kind of taught me about that. And also, I could just be thinking about The Simpsons, but I'm pretty sure it is in other cartoons too. 
I'm fairly certain at the very least. Yeah, that's how I know it's specifically you don't stare directly at it. It's because of stuff like that. But yeah, so that's the reason why I'm cooked today. Just had a little bit of an early morning yesterday and it's kind of carrying over to a little bit today. But I'm good. I'm still kind of just waking up for the most part at the moment. To give you an idea, like I got back home from the chair thing, like at the same time I was usually waking up most days. So it, it was very much kind of a cooked day for me yesterday, but it was good. It was productive. I had a nice meal out with my mum as well. It was a pretty good Sunday altogether. But in terms of updates for you guys, I can't remember what I did last stream, but hold on. Storm is in like two minutes, so I'll give you guys a quick rundown. Basically, we've redone this entire room. So if, for those that remember this room, what it was before, it was like from, I'd say here, like maybe halfway through that tile there, down here, and then maybe to here and all across down here. Basically, what I did is I expanded the room, so utilizing a lot more space, which allowed us to move the storage a little bit more out of the way, because before it was just kind of sticking out here and looked a bit out of place. Here, it's not as much in the way, and because we've moved that around, we've been able to expand the washing machine operation as well, including the two that Timothy was able to get. He's able to get himself two of the turbo ones, and for what he's been saying, he's going to be able to get another two as well, which will increase production, but the thing is, these washing machines aren't that much better than these ones, to be honest with you. Uh, at least as far as I can tell. I think these washing machines were really hyped up because they were like something new and something different. And it is definitely an upgrade, but it's like, like one of these is maybe worth two, at most three of these. Whereas these are like 3k each, and this is like 20k is what people are selling it for. So... These were definitely overpriced. Everyone was overpricing the, these. Thank God we didn't buy one for 20k that we were initially. I mean, Timothy were initially going to buy one of these for 20k from someone, but thank God. The ones that were supposed to be faster in cleaning. Not that much, though. It, it really is like a minor difference, like a minuscule difference. I, I can show you after Storm because the whole um, money cleaning system has changed for those that missed it last stream. It's all done through these little laundry baskets now. Like, you put all the money in here and it comes out and it gives you all the details as well. Like, how many machines are linked, what the outcome is, how much you're making per hour, and, like, the levels of performance, too. As you can see, we're about 80% performance right now. I do want to try and improve that, but I don't really know how we're going to improve that. Because we already have, like, plenty of cooling, as you can see. I don't know how else we would reduce the heat. Unless there's, like, something else in the house producing heat. But I, I don't know if there was already heat in the house before these washing machines came in. Just because I never, like, paid too much attention to that. But that's the only other oh, only other thing that I can think of to increase the performance. Because we must be able to get it to, like, 100%. Or at least close to 100%, I think. Yeah, Tsunami. Tsunami just hit right now. That's why we disconnected. Should be back in just a second. As usual, praying for the fishing update, but I'm not too sure... Uh, you know, if that's ever going to be a thing at this point. I, I'm still hoping. I'm still hoping for the day that we get to go fishing. Same with the breakers, maybe? I mean, I'm concerned about adding anything more electrical to the house because we've been adding a lot of more electrical stuff and nothing's happened yet. So I'm worried about adding any more. I still personally think we should just get rid of the computers. Like, we, we have, we've had those computers in the house for like two months now and no one has ever used them. Like, we have one mining rack with a singular GPU in it that... I'm not even sure if it's properly hooked up right now. Like, one GPU does basically nothing. So I really don't know if it's even worth us having those computers in the house, considering how much electricity they take. Like, those two computers alone are taking half of the electricity in the house. That's how much they take up. And we're not utilizing them whatsoever. Nor do I even know if we are ever going to utilize them. Because I know there's a lot of changes with the computers recently. Like, you can only be on one, like, heist app at a time. And most people in the house are probably going to be on other people's heist apps. So, I don't see any point of us having one of our own at this point. I mean, it is collecting buck coin, but you got to think. Because we don't have, like, an actual setup for the buck coin. Like, you know, we only have one mining rack with one GPU in it. We're, we're the amount that we've generated in the last two months is the same amount as most people make in one day 
like an actual setup makes like 50 a day we've taken two months to even get close to 50 and that's with two computers on ray's computer we've barely even broke 40 per coin yeah so yeah, I, I really don't think there's much of a point in us keeping those computers in the house. It just takes up electricity, it affects the breakers, and we could probably just use that electricity to, like, maybe move more washing machines in, potentially. It's something that I think we should bring up. But we did actually remove Kitty's computer at one point, but for some reason, Timothy put it back. I don't really know why. But I'd be completely fine if, like, Kitty and Ray wanted to just take their computers back. Like, I, I just don't think that we're ever going to use them at this point. Especially with those changes that have come through. I really don't see us ever using them. But, you know, I guess we'll have to wait and see. At the moment, it's not really causing any sort of big issue. Like, we still have plenty of electricity that we can use, but we'll, we'll see. If we are going to be using them, I suggest that we start investing in increasing the setup. Like, you know, filling out that GPU rack with GPUs. Because then we can actually properly use it. At the moment, it really is just taking up space. Like, if you don't have a proper system in place, like, you know, all of the, you know, mining racks, all the GPUs, it really is just kind of a waste of electricity, in my opinion. But this is coming from someone that doesn't really know all too, too much about the whole how everything works. It's definitely something we can bring up in a house meeting, but I don't think we're going to have a house meeting for a good long while. I'm pretty sure um, April's out of town for a while now. And we still... Oh, actually, that is something that happened since last stream that I haven't left got to mention to you guys. That I'm sure some of you guys already know. Is essentially, we may be getting some more people moving into the house soon. It was... I think it was either Ray or Kitty proposed. About adding four new people to the house. Basically inviting... Let's see, what was the list again? It was... Hazel january september and queenie that's who they're thinking of inviting right now and i'm not opposed to that at all i think it would be nice to have more life in the house again have the furniture be used and everything and the added bonus as well is if they have a buy-in the majority of it could go to us to help cover for the furniture which would be kind of nice but obviously max didn't buy the furniture with the thought of like okay they're gonna pay me back at some point but if the opportunity is there to get paid back I think Max would at least like a little bit of his money back. Like at this point, he's he's spent one hundred ninety thousand dollars worth of furniture, and you know, maybe getting like sixty to eighty k of that back would be kind of nice. It it would be kind of nice to have a little bit of that money back. I will admit. That's if we do the buy-in, though. I've got a feeling that if we include a buy-in, that might deter some of them from moving in. Like I'm not really too sure if. September or January would move in at that point. Because I know September has the loan that she's paying back. So she won't have too much money to spare. And January... Well, January just doesn't like spending money. She, she's like April. She doesn't like spending money. She has the money, but she probably won't want to spend it. What's Max's backstory? I mean, that's a pretty loaded question. He's British. That's, that's, that's the TLDR. He's British. Yeah, I don't think anyone's talked to January about it just yet, which is what I'm kind of surprised about. I, I don't know if they've even asked anyone in this list if they're going to be, if they want to move in the house. I don't know how much of it is assumptions right now. Because I know at one point they were considering to, like, invite Queenie and Lottie into the house. But I'm not too sure if that discussion ever really happened. But yeah, so as far as I'm aware, we, I, I did put a vote out in the girls group chat to see if people would be okay with it. And so far, everyone's been okay with it. That April has voted yes. Ray, Timothy, uh, Kitty, Max, they've all voted yes. The only two that are outstanding right now is Gigi and Eli. Those are the only two that are like outstanding currently. And Gigi did actually put a cross in there initially. She was initially against it, but then she took that cross away. So... I don't really know if she is on board or not. It's that we've got to try and talk to her about, ideally. But yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I, to be honest, I'm kind of surprised that they want to move in. Like, I remember ages ago, they were all talking about getting a house together. Like, you know, Link, January, Twinkles, basically, like, everyone in G6 were going to get, like, a house together at some point. 
and these are all people that I would have considered moving into that house, so I don't really know what's happening there. So we have to see what's going on. Like and the thing is, initially Max was a bit more hesitant because for for those that didn't know the call that Max had with Kitty initially, she opened it by asking if she could make keys for the house for these people. And Max was very adamant about maybe asking everyone else first. Which I think is fair, to be honest. We, we've we all paid our fair share towards the house. Like, we all pay the same amount. I think we should all have a say whether or not some people should move in or not. Like, Max isn't against it. It's just the fact that, like, the last time that we made assumptions about people being okay with something with the house, Max got a lot of shit for it, so he wants to kind of avoid that if possible. Ideally, I don't want a repeat of the debt situation. That could have, that debt situation almost ended Max and April's friendship, so he doesn't want to repeat that. He really doesn't want to repeat that, especially considering he was the one that was like animate about maybe seeing if they would want to even move in in the house. I think people may have just been getting a little bit ahead of themselves is all with, with the whole people moving in. I think it's fair that we do at least get the opinion of everyone before we make that decision. But as it stands right now, everyone is on board. We just need to get Eli and Gigi's opinion. Then we should all be good. Yeah, I fully agree with Ray as well. It, it'd be nice to have the house feel a bit more lively. Like, it, it's no secret that this house is pretty much empty for the most part. Like, you know, for the most part, people just use this area as storage. Like, you know, it, it's not this part that gets used. It's the room back here that gets used the most. Using it for storage, using it for the money cleaning, which isn't a bad thing. That's that's the whole reason this is there. But I mean, it would be nice to have like, you know, little talks upstairs, little like hangouts upstairs, waking up and just seeing more people in the house. Because I mean, when has Max woken up in the house and there been people in the house? It's a very, 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 very rare occurrence. So it would be nice to have it be a little bit more lively. Let's see. Any new jobs? Any new fishing? No. Oh yeah, also, I'm not too sure if I'm going to continue with the sewer stuff because I took like a two-day break from the sewers and now my whole reputation is gone at this point. If I go down there, I'm going to get hurt again. So I, I'm not really too sure if I want to put the effort in for the sewers. It is too much of a hassle. Like having to consistently be down there and then like be punished every time I'm not down there. And you know, I spent a lot of time upstairs. You know? I, I'm going to be spending more time upstairs than in the sewers anyway. It's just very difficult to keep on top of that. Like, even people that were very much in the sewers, like, if Fifi is now facing that too. She's fully unacclimated. I'm not sure if she's too interested in going back either. We'll see, though. Maybe that'll change. Just at the moment, I'm not really too fussed about the sewer stuff anymore. Max Weed King Ping Art... I mean, we've got to see how that goes. At the moment, Max is, like, very nervous. Like, Max is pretty nervous about the whole weed stuff, just because of how the whole weed system works. Like, you know, when you're selling the weed, you've got to be ready to stab someone. You stab, you know, wrench, whatever, the people that you're selling to. And I'm not sure if Max is there just yet. I don't, I don't think Max is on to the stabbing local phase just yet of being a criminal. I, I'm not too sure if he's 100% there. So, I gotta see how that goes. I do like the idea. Yeah, the growing is definitely more in Max's speed, but that's a very difficult thing to get into. And also, the offer that we got from the guild wasn't about the growing, it was about the pushing. And that's so far the only real um, offer we've had regarding that. Right, let's get start with the day. Let's see. Let's do the quick checkup at City Hall just to see if the taxes have come in just yet. Have a quick look-see. Drink our soda in the meantime, too. I might go see if the cafe is open, to be honest. I, I, I've been hankering to doing some coffee stuff. It's just, unfortunately, that those stools at Senior Buns are broken the majority of the time. It's really unfortunate. It, it, it's the reason why most of them aren't open. It's just the fact that they're broken. Like, you go there and the machines aren't working. It, it, it's a pretty big pain, to be honest. Especially since people are paying 1k a day for those places. Ooh, there we go. Let's go have a look. See? Yeah, tax, electricity bill, whatever it would be. 
it came in pretty late last month the electricity stuff but we also didn't get paid or you know charged for the month of february so i don't know if it's just been delayed or not that's what we're gonna kind of see you gotta see where things go with the weed stuff with max right now at the moment he's a little bit too scared to start doing the pushing even though he has had multiple offers for him i'm just not really too sure if he is there just yet like moonshine is one thing you know, dropping something off at a door and then driving away that's one thing like directly selling to the locals and then like having to stab them most of the time i'm not too sure if he is there just yet max in general just isn't very violent as a character he's just not a very violent person and even though it is just locals it still wouldn't really feel right for the character to do that i, I try to make sure i treat locals like actual people where i can like you know i'm not just gonna go start karate chopping them out of nowhere or fighting them at the airport unless provoked of course yeah growing definitely would be in more line with max i i like the idea of max being in the production of stuff just because I feel like that suits him better. Like, the more behind-the-scenes stuff. It's the same with the money laundering. I've actually really enjoyed doing the whole money laundering stuff. It's just Max won't go out and do the money orders himself because of the risk involved with it. But I've actually generally enjoyed making that system with Timothy be efficient. It's been kind of fun. It's the sort of stuff that I really do think suits Max perfectly. The more behind-the-scenes level of crime rather than the one being out there and doing it. I mean, that is a possibility. But again, everyone in the house is people that they get the weed from. Like, they're pushing for other people. Like, Timothy is pushing for the guild. And I think Ray's pushing for CG. I'm not really too sure if they're going to want their own strains. I'm not really too sure if it's going to be worth it. We'll see, though. I, I just don't know if there is any benefit for us doing that. Because they're the only two people in the house that are really getting into that stuff. Could be just to learn. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to learning. I I'd be interested to see how the whole system works, to be honest. Also, looks like we're all good. Like, I, I know it's a lot of, like, crossbreeding, getting the right seeds, getting the right strain, the upkeep of watering them. I do like the idea of that. It's like with the moonshine. I enjoyed the, like, cooking and sciencing side of moonshine. It's just the gathering of materials and then... I mean, the selling wasn't too bad either, to be honest. The biggest pain really is just the sewers. I might, and if I still want to go down the moonshine path, I might ask GG for the supplies. She did give us that offer the other day. They can push different strains, can they? I always thought it was like a whole ranking system. They can only push your own strain. I mean, I, I only know stuff from secondhand information. I don't know the full process of the full idea. I just think at the moment, Max turning into the drug pusher just... It feels too much for the character. Like, too big of a leap. But obviously, he is going down the criminal path, but that's, like, very, very much different to how he's been before. So, I have to see how that all kind of works out. Well, so, let's go see if there's any new legislation. Always good to keep on top of that. Let's see control the mark in the area. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know how any of that works. Let's see. No warrants? Okay. Legislation. DOC. Okay, so hasn't been any new legislation in a while. Anyone that we know have a warrant. Rami. Funny that his profile picture is still his lawyer thing. I'm pretty sure that dude's a G6 worker too, Clayton. Hmm. Well, the, unfortunately, the pawn shop idea, I don't think it's going to be a thing anymore because... I don't think you get much jewelry for anything anymore, from my understanding. Like before, everything you sold at the fence, you got jewelry for, and then you do the jewelry runs. But at the moment, most things you sell at the fence, minus like the G6 pallets, give you just roll bills. And I don't think people are robbing that many G6 workers. I, I feel like there may be slowly but surely getting rid of that whole part of the money cleaning system i wouldn't be surprised if more things in the future just give you the roll bills more so than anything else all good i appreciate that you can max has very much enjoyed having ray as a friend 
Like, Ray and April are genuinely Max's best friends. Both people that he just really enjoys spending time with. And both people that really care about him, too. And both people that Max really cares about as well. Alright, let's have a look. Let's go get the supplies and then go see if the coffee shop's working. Actually, do I already have the supplies on me? Oh, I do already have some on me. Okay. Let's go have a look. See? Nothing statue. It is a real British accent, unfortunately. Then I've got to think about where, what would suit Max good. There's just so much crime. That, like, I would love to get fully involved in the money laundering process, but a lot of it is very much out in the open. There's very few things that you can do criminal-wise at the moment that are secretive. Everything very much feels out in the open and very obvious. Which, again... Max is a little bit worried to, to get into that sort of stuff, being a new criminal and everything. He is still very, very, very new to this world. So understandably, he'd be a little bit scared about it all too. See, all oh, good, all oh, good. He has been helping Timothy with a few things. Like Timothy went on some money runs yesterday and Max provided backup. But the biggest concern with the money runs right now is... One, people are robbing people there constantly. Like, because it's all done in one area, people just camp that out to rob them at the end of it to get the money. And it's like $21,000, basically. So it's a lot of money. Oh. Is that... Is that a dead person? Is that a dead person? Morning. Oh, Max, how you doing, my friend? Uh, do, is, that, is that your friend over there? Yeah, I'll take care of him. Oh, okay, okay. And also, when Timothy was doing a money run yesterday, he noticed there was a lot of police officers outside the money drop-offs. Like, pretty much there's a police officer at every gas station keeping an eye for the money drop-offs. So we had to basically abandon the run midway through because of that. Beverly? Oh. You good? I'm, yeah, I'm taking care of him. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, you get into the hospital? Oh, yeah, we're going to the hospital. All righty. Uh, be you safe. doing good, Max? I am doing all right. Do you have enough room on there for everyone? Oh, yeah, I've got plenty. Okay, I, I can take him if needs be. My car's just downstairs. It spawns perfectly on here. Uh, okay. Alrighty, Max. Uh, okay, see you. Catch you, catch you, catch you later. Not my business. <laughs> Whatever's going on there ain't my business. I know that the company is currently in a gang war with the manor. I ain't involved with myself in that. Good morning. Eventually. Morning. So I guess you gotta get through. You gotta go through. Nice. It looks like it's working. Actually, it looks like every stool's working today. Oh, did they fix it? They may have fixed it, thank God. Basically, if you don't see a sign above a stool, that means it's not working. That means that the system's down. That's what I've learned yesterday. Let's just do a quick brew to make sure. Max's morning cappuccino. Yeah, I, I'm assuming that what that person's saying is honest that he's taking to the hospital. I'm assuming they're being honest. Nice. It looks like it's all working. Thank God. We will need to go resupply at some point, but that's fine. Nice. Sick. Coffee machine is open today. Oh, let me just get the signs up and everything. We have the drinks. Boom. Boom. Yeah, I, I know because I was in the middle of a grime run, not yesterday, but the day before Fifi, and that's when she learned that there was a war going on. That's how Max learned about it. There is currently a war between the company and Manor. It seems like the Manor are like constantly in war with some people. There's very few times I think they're just not in war. There we go, nice. Cappuccino to start Max's day. Very nice. 
you know i think this bar really does suit max really well oh do we have treats yet damn it's still no treats we really want to try and get like some food here because th that is the biggest detriment to this place right now is the fact we don't have food i really hope we're able to get something at some point i'll just get in the copy paste I mean, Max's viewpoint of the manor is that they're very much people driven by impulse. They don't really think about much of what they're doing. They just kind of do it. And that seems to be how they get into the majority of their conflict. Very much driven by impulse. Boom. There we go. No, Max doesn't own this job. Max is just a worker here. It it's um Ash from Uwu. She's the one that owns it. Well, previously of Uwu. She owns this shop. Hence why all the drinks and everything are so cute. And so well, like, well made. They look very similar to the style of the old Uwu food. But essentially, I just, Max just doesn't want to be a manager anymore for the most part. He's happy just being a worker because that's kind of where he shines for the most part in business. Like when Max was CEO of the Liquid Library, he was never very good at like, you know, the whole employee management, you know, advertising the business, you know, th that sort of stuff. He was more so good at being the bartender and like being friendly with customers. That That's where his specialty shown. And because ever since the casino stuff where he kind of realized, oh yeah, I'm not actually good at this stuff. <laughs> like before he's able to fly by because, you know, he didn't really have anyone else checking on him for the most part. When it came to liquid library stuff, he was just the leader and then that was just kind of it. Whereas the casino, it was kind of very obvious that what he was doing wasn't really up to par uh, of a CEO. And he wouldn't be able to do stuff like this either during that job. So now he's happy just being the barista, the one to serve the drinks and talk to the customers. Yeah, Australian ass. Ash. Yeah, honestly, Raina did hold up a lot of the weight for the liquid library for the most part. She, she very much held up a lot of the weight for him. Max was just very good at being the face of the company for the most part. Being the one that people could talk to. Again, that's his specialty in a way. Max is just a very easy person to talk to in general. So that's what he kind of specializes in. What's the, going back to the whole manor and company thing. I'm a bit confused about it because is the company in a gang? I don't think I actually know what the company do. Are they a, an actual company or are they more of like a gang these days? I know at one point their main specialty was like selling GPUs, computers, stuff like that. But I don't really know what they do these days. Everything I hear about them these days is more so criminal orientated than like civilian orientated. Like, you know, they do the heists and stuff like that. Yeah, maybe not a gang per se, but more of like a heist crew sort of situation. I think it's more like them. Hello. Hello there. By any chance, are you guys hiring? Uh, I'm not the one that handles that, unfortunately. I I'm just a worker. It's uh, Ash. Okay. She's the one that uh, owns the place. Uh, Ash Ketchup? Ash Ketchup, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, I will just call her when she's around. Yeah, I was just giving a ring. I, I believe we may be hiring. It's primarily just me here most days. Ah, oh, okay. So, okay, can I have a cappuccino if that's available? Yeah, sure thing. Uh, what sort of milk would you like in it? Uh, almond milk. Almond milk? You've got it? Yeah. There we go. If you just want to tap your card there, I'll get that started for you. Sure, thank you. Ooh. Is this the start of the day coffee or midday coffee? Uh, start of the day coffee. Oh, right. Many exciting plans for the day ahead? Just gonna go, you know, need to pay the, pay off the loan. Oh, right. Yeah, tow is good money from what I've been told. Consistent work, too. Yeah. It always How's good to have jobs like that. You just work up, right? Uh, I work here for the most part. I, I do a little bit of grime and stuff like that, but I need social jobs. Grime is like the most unsocial job in the city. I know. I can only do it so much. I need these sort of jobs where I can actually talk to people. It, it's what I'm best That's at. Good. It actually helps, you know, with anxiety and everything. Mm, very much so. All right. So, uh, do you want any sugars in this as well? I'll tell you one thing. 
I was an introvert, you know, like a couple of months ago. After I came to the city, I'm a highly socializing person, you know. I like to socialize a lot. Hmm. It is definitely so nerve-wracking became... initially. Yeah, it is, it's tough, you know. It's tough to have a conversation started. But, you know, when you find the right sense of friends, hmm. it gets easier. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I still struggle just kind of like going up to people and talk, but that's why I like jobs like this. There's kind of like an excuse to talk and, you know, meet people. I can't just oh, like walk up to random people definitely. on the street. Uh huh, definitely. Definitely. That's, 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 so. Well, speaking of that, I'm, I'm Maximilian Angel, by the way. Pleasure to meet you. Ah, oh, nice to meet you as well. Uh, have, I, have I met you before? Um, potentially. I, I used to do taxi work in town for, like, a little bit. Uh, that was, like, my socializing job, but unfortunately these days, taxi just isn't really viable. You know, everyone's got their own cars, or they take, like, those work vehicles around town. Just not yeah, much of a business in it anymore. Well, I'll leave it to the people that kind of, like, specialize in it, like Abdul. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Do you, do, do you work for Abdul? Oh, no, no, no. I, I was independent. Ah, uh, Okay. It was nice. I, I I enjoyed the taxi work for the time that I did do it. But this is my new taxi work. A little coffee instead. Oh, the coffee was amazing. It's oh, I'm like, glad that you enjoyed. You know, like, so, like... I was waiting for, like, business to open, you know. I was just bored, like, you know, feeding from see the bands, you know. I was, like, so fucked up, though. Yeah, it's really nice to have variety. Though there, there has been an issue with these stools for a bit where they, like... Vince, I couldn't open this, this place yesterday because the machines weren't working. I think all of them kind of have that oh. issue from time to time. Today, it seems good, yeah. though. It seems like every stool's working. You can tell if it's working or not, whether or not the banner's up. That's what I've noticed. Oh, okay. I get you. I get you. Yeah. Hmm. I enjoy it. I, yeah. I enjoy this work. Very happy to have mm -hmm. it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you, uh, did, did you uh, like, by any chance, work with Liquid Library? Indeed I did, yes. I used to be the CEO of the Liquid Library. Ah, uh, I know you from there, I guess, because I used to, like, you know, come with a lot of dates to Liquid Library seven years ago. Oh, did you do right. I guess, I guess we never exchanged names, but I used to come down there, you know, have some parties and everything like that. That was you a know, good space I guess, for you it. Know, yeah, I guess I've aged, you know, like it's been six years, so I've grown old, you know. Uh, likewise here, I've got quite a few grey hairs these days. And a yeah. beard, too. Didn't used to have a beard. I mean, like, back then I was a teenager, you know? Now I'm, like, 25. That isn't too old. I I'm only 28. But <laughs> it feels I mean, old. My body feels old at times. Did you master? Thanks you for know, gaming. I mean, I Much appreciated. Drink, like, more than two tequilas now. Yeah, I kind of yeah. get drunk very easily these days. Like, a couple bottles and I'm kind of gone. Know. I know, like, back then it was so easy, you know. Times used to be easy. I used to, like, work at Roosters, you know. It, it was easy. I miss Roosters. Good food there. I, I love the look of the yeah. place, too. I mean, I, I miss the Liquid Library. I know it's still there. It's just uh, states said I can't run it anymore. So. Huh. Here we go. I guess you might like this. Ooh, thank you. It's like, so, uh, it oh. might remind you of Roosters, you know, because it's so, so a bubble tea. Yes, they, did they? No, it was um, Ubu. They had bubble tea right back in the day. I don't remember I know, Roosters right? having it. The, I know, I mean, like, you know, it reminds me of Roosters because it's soy. soy, soy oh. You know, so we used to add them to the ramen. Yeah, the noodle shop next to here. I, that, that's where you got this from, right? They, they're yeah. very similar to how Roosters was. Yeah, they, they do have ramen. It, it's nice. Uh, I, I, I ate some of the... Uh, dragon ramen, it's the best, you know, you should try it, rock ones. I think personally, I miss the atmosphere. Like, the atmosphere in that building was really nice. It's nice, you know, it's like a shopping arena, like, you know. Oh, if yeah, you have it's some not clothing bad. Stores, so if you have some clothing stores and everything, it might bum up, you know, like, it's the hmm. perfect spot. Yeah, maybe, like, a better seating area would be nice, too. Like, the benches are nice, but, yeah. like, an actual table people could sit at would be cool. And maybe I don't like, 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 you know, dining or something. Hmm. It was nice uh -huh. if people got paid for working these stools too. Yeah. How, uh, much, how, how much do you get paid from here? You know, do you get the receipts and something? Nope, just tips. That's all I get paid with. Just tips? Just tips. 
we don't get any pay slips or anything like that. It's maybe one of the reasons why a lot of these places don't open too frequently. I just like the social aspects of the job, more so than the money. Oh, who is it someone to have to do then? Oh, thank I'm you very much. To help. That's no worries. Hey, mate. Yeah. Hello. Okay, I will see you around, okay? Uh, yes. You take care. Yeah, have a lovely rest of your day. Like I said, contact Ash. Thank if you for you the get coffee. Hired. Sure, sure thing, sure thing. All right, have a lovely rest okay. of your day. Have a nice dinner. Hey, Winston. Hello. Thank you. Four of everything, please? Uh, I don't have enough of that right now. Oh, okay. How much How much you got? I've got enough for ten coffees. Let's do two of everything then. Is that okay? Yeah, two of everything's fine. Okay. Uh, any particular milk or just dairy? Um, just dairy's fine. I don't think he's averse to any of them. That's your thing. There we go. Just want to tap a card there. I'll get that sorted for you. There we go. Thank you. How you been? Feel like I haven't seen you in a while. I know. Last time I saw you doing taxi stuff. Oh, yes, I, I, I get that a lot. I, I guess I haven't really been too social since the taxi stuff kind of fell through. Yeah, I get you. No, I've been good though, buddy. I've been good. How you been? How's uh, how's the? You're still the Liquid Library, right? Uh, no, not anymore. The state uh doesn't want me there. What? Yeah, I tried to open up the business, but I got told that it was denied because my name was on it. So it's been approved for someone else's name? Uh, not at the moment, no. It, well, the building itself is state-owned. Yeah. But the uh, business, I, I couldn't get the business. They, they apparently want different people in the business world. I mean, I wasn't even the CEO. I wasn't like the owner back in the day. I was just the CEO. Mm. But most people associate the building with me, so it's like, I think that's why. Which building? Uh, the Liquid Library. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not anymore, though. That's just uh, open for the public now. You know what I associate you with? Yes, I know. It's a one-time <laughs> thing. What do you associate him with? Uh, Say Max? Yes? Wait, what do you think about you and I doing an art project? I, I don't what? know if Winston remembers that or not. I don't, were you around then <laughs> when I was mayor? Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was around when you were mayor. Do you remember how I got impeached? <laughs> That's uh, what he remembers me for. How did you get impeached? Okay, uh, so not a lot of people know oh, about it. The I just know because I was directly in the, the weed the, growing yeah, thing. Yeah, I didn't goons, do anything. Yeah. I just approved it because PD approved it. And I thought, you know, PD, they, you know, they, they, they handle the so crime. Much. I'm the mayor. Right, I don't handle PD, crime. It was, like, it was like a Spider-Man meme, Winston. It was like... PD was like, the mayor said it was okay. The mayor was like, PD said it was okay. Yeah, and it was fine. It, it, no one had any issue until DOJ found out about it and kicked up a fuss. Yep. And then Neil McGreal like, oh, fled the so country. There's so much weed going all over the streets. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude, it wasn't even the same strain. Yeah, it, it, it was a mess of a situation. I just kind of, because Neil McGreal fled the country, I just kind of took the brunt of it. Yeah. Two years in jail. Oh, Neil Never was awesome. as well. Was, she left as well, right? I think she was there for the trial at the very least. Neil McGreal fled the country before the trial even happened. But you know, it's uh, at least my mayorship ended with something, didn't just end on a whimper. Yeah. Oh, Silver linings, like what have you. That. Thank you so much, mate. Oh, no worries. Good to see you. How's it going, man? How's it going? Ah, going well. How about I yourself? Place. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Could I get That's Winston. I'm two cappuccinos? Dead. Two cappuccinos? Sure thing. Any milk in particular or just dairy? Just, just dairy. Just dairy? Sure thing. Yeah. If you just want to tap the card there. Bye, buddy. Was this just a starter coffee for you or midday coffee? Just midday coffee. Oh, right. Just need a little bit of a booster. Yup, yup. Yeah, I'm kind of the same here at the moment. Had a little bit of a booster yeah. just to begin. Yeah. I heard it's, it's proper to leave tips, so there you go. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. It's the main way I get paid. Oh, really? Do you not get paid oh, for just working here? Unfortunately not, no. We don't get pay slips at these places. Oh. I think it's so one of the reasons... making the owner money? Uh, well, they got to pay for the stall itself, which is like $1,000 a day. Oh. So they're not even making much profit themselves. And I'd rather want to go towards them, because this, for me, this is more of a social job. Yeah, that makes sense. I, if I want money, I'll go do grime. 
but I can only do so much grime myself. Grime, not crime. Maybe crime. You know, I, I I need these sort of jobs to keep me sane. Oh, do you want any sugar in this, by the way? Uh, yes, please. How many cubes? Uh, two each. Two each, sure thing. One, yeah. two. One, two. Thank you. There we go. And that is... Two cappuccinos so right there much. for you. I hope Appreciate that you enjoy. You. I will. Hey, boss. Hello there. Um, how you doing today? Yeah, doing quite well, quite well. How about yourself? Doing pretty good. I was wondering if I could just get one uh, sweet milk tea. One sweet milk tea? You've got it. All right, whenever you're ready. Thank you, thank you, boss. Ooh, any milk in particular or just dairy? Uh, just dairy. Just Don't dairy? Worry. Sure thing. Yeah. There you go. Just want to tap your card there. I'll get that started for you. How sweet would you like it? Like, just uh, a little bit sweet or like super sweet? Uh, it was super, yeah, fuck it. Super? Okay, 10 cubes it is. Yeah. One, two, oh, yeah. three, oh, four, five, five no, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Be super sweet. Uh, this will definitely get you through the day. We'll warn you, you're probably going to crash so. pretty hard. Yeah. But if you're prepared for that, you're prepared for that. I think I am. We all need our sweet drinks and sweet treats to get through the day. And there you go. That is one extra sweet milk tea right there for you. You as well. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. See you later. Let me order. Okay, we need to go restock. We're only down to one coffee right now. Let's go get some more stock. Boom. We'll be back in a minute. You know, I, I, I genuinely love this style of RP. Like I said, this very much is where Max is in his element is doing this stuff. Like, just being a people person. That is where Max is in his element. And just talking to people, too. I, I genuinely miss having these sort of jobs on Max. It's kind of funny because, like, everyone that we meet and talk to say keep asking us about the taxi stuff when I haven't done taxi stuff for, like, I think two months at this point. Which kind of goes to show that Max hasn't really been that social since the taxi stuff. He's, he's kind of been off doing his own thing for the most part. Morning. Hold on. Make sure I'm not hitting her. All good. But I'm getting to see so many people that I haven't seen in a while, which is really nice. Like, just yesterday, I met three people that I hadn't seen since 3.0. But apparently, I'd been back in town for, like, at least a week or two. I, I generally think I forgot how much these jobs are, like, in, not integral to Max, but, like, very important to Max as a character. It really is what he specializes in. That sounds so weird. I've never experienced the clips before. I really know what sort of effect it has. I guess it must be weird for everything to just go dark and then suddenly light again. Just make sure you don't look at it, otherwise it's going to be dark for a very, very long time. Very important to remember that. Yeah, hopefully it gets some sort of payment at some point. I mean, hell, maybe Ash will pay us at some point some money. But I'd rather her prioritize keeping the stool open rather than paying me. If I want money, I'm just going to go do Grime. I need this job. Grime is generally probably the most antisocial job in the city. I really hope they make some improvements to Grime at some point, because it is... It's kind of miserable for the most part. <laughs> the only benefit is the money, and my god, is there so many downsides. Not to mention the scuff, too. G6 drivers get everything and we get nothing. Get to 25. We need one bag of coffee and we need 25 cups as well. There we go. Tellingly, I lose money doing this job because I pay for all the ingredients myself. If I decide to ditch the coffee shop, would you start paying it for yourself? Probably, yeah. I would look to either pay for it myself or get hired at the next spot. 
I could see Max opening up his own coffee shop. I'd much rather work with other people for now. See where it goes. So I wouldn't be surprised if Ash is looking to open up something similar to the Uwu Cafe again. And this being that kind of way into that. I'd be happy to help out with that stuff and work there. I just don't have any desire for Max to be like the boss of anything anytime soon. If it happens, it happens, but there's no real desire there right now. Hey, word on L again on the Exolia gen? I've basically done with the LL. I've got no involvement with it whatsoever. If it gets it, it gets it, but I don't know anything about it. I'm not pushing for anything. I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. I see it's probably more likely that one of the spots in here become a bar that gets mixology. Because at the moment, there's no real business that has any sort of special mechanics, but the business is here. I think they're trying to keep it that way on purpose. I mean, it is what it is with the LL. I'm happy the space is still there and it still does get used by people. I wouldn't say it gets ignored. Like, people still utilize the building. Like, do events there, hang out there. Well, you know, have meetings there, stuff like that. I'd say it still gets used. It's just very... It's too difficult to try and make it into anything right now. There's no real uh, carrot in a way. Well, you're gonna get there. And you're gonna do awesome. I believe in you. Who knows what the future may hold? I think Max would only go back there if he was able to own the building. Like, have complete ownership of the building. That's the only way he'd probably go back. He doesn't want to put effort into somewhere that he can just get kicked out. Especially if it's just up to the mayor whether or not he gets kicked out. Hold oh, me get this. Move these down here so they don't get mixed in. Actually, no, this should be fine. All right, Spencer. Boom. Dispense the beans. There we go. And we wait for the customers. It does seem to come in a wave for the most part. I'd say probably nighttime is when you get more people in this area. Just because that's when, like, everyone's done with their jobs and need to get food. I do wonder if at some point these places will be able to expand, though. Like, you know, maybe... You know, Burger with the Ocean getting their own spot or, like, this place getting its own spot. That'd be pretty fucking cool. The only difficulty with that, though, is foot traffic. That, that, that honestly is the biggest difficulty for every business is foot traffic. That is what one of the biggest issues with the Liquid Library is. Like, how do you get foot traffic to that place? There's nothing else in Mirror Park that bring people there. At least with here, yeah, people kind of have to come here if they want some good food. Isn't that weird? And, you know, they may come here for senior buns and see that, oh, coffee yeah. spot is open. Let's go check that out or something like that. A lot more potential for traffic here. Ooh, okay, okay. Nope, that wasn't him. Huh. Yeah, the L definitely did have a drive through for a while. No, you're right. Here, I'll add it right there. Huh? And I got you an extra coffee. Hello there. Hi. Can I get a latte and a cappuccino, please? Latte and a cappuccino? You've got it. Any particular milk? Uh, whole milk, please. Whole milk? You've got it. Okay, latte and cappuccino. If you just want to tap a card there. Yep. I'll get that started for you. These are start of the day coffees or midday coffees? Uh, start of the day. Oh, right. Just need that little booster to begin the day. Mm -hmm. I feel you there. Always good to start out with a nice coffee. I always, I'm always, i someone that thinks that caffeine doesn't affect them, but then like, I don't have my coffee and then I really start to feel it. Yeah, it's kind of like I can have as much coffee as I want and I'll be okay. But if I don't have that coffee, then I hate it. <laughs> yeah, you really start to feel the withdrawals of it all. Here we go. Get that there. there we go. Oh, do you want any sugars in these? Uh, yes, please. Two. The two sugars in each? Yes, please. Sure thing. One, two, and one, two. There we go, and that is 
one cappuccino. Oh, hold on. One cappuccino and one latte right there for you. I hope that you enjoy. No worries. Hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Hi. Hey, Scruffy. How you doing? I'm okay, Max. How are you? Doing good. Doing good. You know, just uh, doing some work. You know, on a business, it's, uh... No, no, I, I don't know, miss. This, this is uh, owned by Ash. Okay. I'm oh, just yeah. a Buddhist. Well, well, I'm here to get a, a Bev. Look at a little Bevski. A little like Bevski a... to start your day? Yeah, maybe a latte. Uh, maybe a latte. I don't, latte? I don't know. I'm indecisive. Y'all suspect you can go to Senior Barnes? I didn't think any stands would be open. Oh, yeah, no, no. It seems like every stand can be open today. We have issues ever so often where our machines don't work, but you can tell if that's the case if the banner isn't up. But all uh, the banners are up today, so I think it all should all be working. So, so hopefully we'll all be open soon. Like Burger uh, Bell. any... Uh... You got any snacks, or do y'all just got uh... Yeah, just drinks at the moment. We're, we're trying to get snacks, but it's like... We, we've got to ask the mayor and everything. Yeah, it's probably a whole thing. Not a big deal. Hey, I'll tell you what, I'll get two lattes, then. Two lattes? You've got it. Any milk in particular? Um... I like milk. Well, do you want, like, whole milk, skim milk, almond milk, oat milk, walnut milk, finger oh, wow. milk? Oh. Yeah, the, yeah, I want Fingal milk. Sure thing. There you go. Just want to type a card there. I, I haven't had Fingal products in years. What? He's a bit of a reserve from the old Burger Shot days. We were able to buy the overflow supply, and they had a bit of an overflow supply. Good, good. Oh, uh, did you pay it? I attempted to, and either uh, my card got declined or said no, I have to purchase this, but I know I got oh, money. So. Let's try that again. Two lattes. Ah, perfect. There we go. We're just getting started out with the day at the moment? Yeah, man, I, I got too much going on. I've been uh, busy lately as far as, do, you Ooh. know, just do, doing my own thing. So doing whenever I do, thing. yeah, when I do got a day off and I'm, you know, because I'm a clown ambassador, so I go to oh. North Clown Rhea and, you know, spread the good clown word. Meetings. Yeah, yeah. And when oh, I come back, gotcha, gotcha. people are dating now or they're dead now or there's they're in a gang or they're not in a gang i don't know what's going these clowns are insane i mean you, you know how the city works it moves a mile a minute you, you're gone for a week you're gone for a month yeah it's nice though because i come back okay, get a bit of finger milk go. a bit of finger milk in there as well uh, do you want any sugar in this no, I think Fingal, the Fingal milk's all the sweetness I need in my life. That's fair enough, you know, it's good protein. Oh, it's good everything. It's more of an experience for me than the nutri- You know, it's like a, what do they call it? A, something on my palate, you know, it's a nice coat on the tongue hmm. that I just really savor. So I'm excited for this. So, you know, someone worked at Burger Shot. I'm very familiar with Fingal. So I, I, got, I, I oh, overplayed yeah. it for a while, but I, I'm happy to try another Fingal product. It's... I know it's the same single product. Be nice. Just aged. Yo, well, that makes it better. It's like a wine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, what about you? You getting into anything? You going for mayor again? Just business oh, no. boy or what? Well, no. uh, Are you uh, retired from politics? No, not Max. Kind of, no. yeah. I mean, I got impeached. Be back. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I, I was the first criminally impeached mayor. Somehow. Why did I hear about that? That's hilarious. Yeah, there was a whole weed thing. But there's a, this whole weed grow operation that the goons did, that they use weed plants to spell out goons. I heard about that. I yeah. didn't know you got impeached. Yeah, because PD asked if I was okay with it, because they were okay with it, and I thought, okay, PD's okay with it, so I'm okay with it. Then Neil McReel fled the country, and he's the one that approved it. So I took all the blame. Oh, that's so fucked. Yeah, ended up two years in jail for that. Got some nice tattoos, though. Oh, damn. I didn't know you uh, broke bad on accident. Yeah, kind of. And, you know, uh, try to run the liquid That's... library again. The state said that I wasn't allowed to because my name was on it. So, you know, not really too interested in politics or business for the most part. I'm happy just doing, like, customer service job like this. Yeah, it's so you're like a goon, but not, like, breaking necks. You're kind of just, like, 
working for your friends' businesses or something. Exactly. I, I, I prefer the social interaction of these jobs. Cause, I mean, I'm not getting paid yeah, anything it's for nice. working here. Oh, no. Yeah, I see. I had a job at Burger by the Ocean. I might still, to be honest, but I don't it's I like a bitch shit. Yeah, it's because it can't. Like, it's a thousand dollars a day to keep this place open, and you know, it's just not practical. It's not, it's practical, not practical at all. Pay I really yeah. wish we had a pay slip like Senior Buns does, but we just don't. I tell you what, I don't have a uh, cash, but I will give you a tip. Um, do you want a SIM card, a camera, or bandages? Oh, I'll take a camera. Okay, sick. Never know when Mac will have you. Empty-handed. Ah, well, I it's appreciate the tip. Video Thank you. Camera man, you know. Those aren't cheap. I wish I had cash, but I'm gonna be honest, nice. you know me. I'm really a money man. I get you, I get you. Yeah, I deal in the barter. More of a barter boy. A barter boy? Yeah, that's I what they call their us. Own. Yeah, they are, I feel like the art of the barter should come back. Hmm. I, I think it's important. Like, you know, those people that, like, take a paper clip and keep trading it until they get, like, a Lamborghini. Obviously, those videos aren't idea. staged. Those are real. Yeah, maybe I'll try to get a Lamborghini from the SIM card. What kind of card do you I have? I think you could do that. A Glendale. All right, I will trade you for the SIM card. I'm good, thank you. Deal. I, I'm good. I, the I, car. I, yeah, I'm good. I'm good with it, too. I'm good no, for no, it. No, no, I mean, I, I, I don't right need, I, I'm not making I'm that trade. Let's do this. You're not making it right now? As in you're no. busy? But, mate, I have to think about it, you know, He's so a it's really a big decision. He's a deal maker. You should trust him. I, I gotta think I'm, about I'm it. I'm now know? getting recommendations from the whole world that, as we're speaking. Yeah. You'll think yeah, about how I'll, 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 I'll we'll think do about the deal. It. I got your number. I don't. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll get back to you in like uh, three to five business years. Oh, that's quick. <laughs> okay, that's quick. All right. I'll wait. I'll wait till then. All right. See you, Max. Good talking. <laughs> see you. Good, good seeing deal. you. That was a good deal. Fuck yeah. <laughs> business years don't include weekends. That's a long time. The art of the trade. Not like Scruffy. Max and Scruffy have actually known each other. Actually, I think Max has known Scruffy for like a really long time now. I think about it. Like a really long time. I think like very early on in 3.0 is when Max met Scruffy. He's a good dude. The clowns in general are very nice. Max knows a good few of them pretty well. Not, not too, too many, but a, a good chunk. Getting to know them a bit better. I'm sure with um, Ray being the queen clown, we'll probably get to know a lot of them better. Already starting to see Chatterbox a fair bit. I thought it was very sweet the other day when Chatterbox came to the house to, like, make sure that Ray was okay. That was very sweet of him. I was kind of sweet that he recognized that Max, like, would be someone that would check on Ray, too, for him. Be interesting to see how that relationship plays out. Whether or not she'll remain queen of the clowns for a long time or not. I hope she has fun with him. Max and Chatbox's favorite duo. I mean, it'd be interesting for Max and Chatbox to spend some time together just because of the fact that, like, they are very, very, very much opposites to one another. <laughs> like, very, very much opposites. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Extreme polar opposites. But I think that's fun. I, I, I think sometimes those make the best duos is when they are complete polar opposites to each other. I mean, things like, I wouldn't say like Max and April are polar opposites, but they are very much kind of different to each other. But they also get along really, really well. It's always thought that, well, I've always thought like, if Max was to get into relationship RP, it'd be a lot more fun to do it with someone that's like very different to Max. Like Jaeger, for instance. That's why I thought it'd be like a relationship between them would be interesting. Just because they are like, again, polar opposites to each other. Make an interesting dynamic. I think there's a few rock cars in the cop cars and you're good. I could see Max breaking bad if given the right push for him. But he would need that push for it rather than him coming to that conclusion himself. Hello. Good morning there. Have a great day. 
Oh, is that you, Max? Indeed it is. You have an even better one. Doing some good old coffee here? work. I've got a lattes, cappuccinos, sweet milk teas. Good few drinks to start out today, or give you a boost midday. Okay. Uh. Can I, can I get two lattes? Two lattes? Your thing? Any particular milk? No, I'll let you. I'll let you deal with that. Yeah, sure thing. There we go. Just want to tap a card there. Not a bad day, you know. You know, keep us alert, you know, for the day. Hmm. As it just a start of your day sort of drink, then. Yeah. Give you a good boost. Much, you know? Oh, both of these are from me, but. <laughs> Got you. No, that's, I'm, I'm gonna get the same, yeah. I mean, you can't go wrong with a good bit of caffeine to start your day. Yeah, you never know when you're gonna need it, you know? Hmm. And, you know, for me, I. I always feel like it doesn't affect me, the caffeine, until I just don't have it. Or I have it, like, very late at night. Then I realize, oh, yeah, it is actually affecting me. I think you just kind of get accustomed to it, where you just don't really notice it anymore. Until its absence, of course. There we go. Do you want any uh, sugar in this? No sugar? Uh, no, no sugar. Ah, all good. And that is two lattes right there for you. I hope that you enjoy. All right, thank you. Fucking right. Hey, do you mind if I get a couple, uh, I'll get two sweet milk teas, but yo, can you got a little drip of like maple syrup you can throw in there? Oh yeah, I, I, we've got some syrup we can put in. Just the oh, maple syrup sure or there's... any flavored syrup? No, just definitely maple syrup, please. Just definitely maple, okay. And that was the sweet milk teas? Yes, please. Two of those? Yeah. Any Water. particular milk? Uh, you know, just like a skim, actually, you know, like something light, you know. Skim milk? Yeah, sure thing. There we go. Just want to tap a card there. I'll get that started for you. You got it. Thank you. Okay, don't get the, uh, maple syrup request too often. Well, you know, people just aren't as cultured, I guess, you know, sometimes. But, you know, <laughs> once you, once you have a little taste of that maple syrup, you know, it's hard to go back, you know. It is definitely good. I see, see it's more like the hazelnut syrups, the caramel syrups. I don't really get the caramel syrup because that's basically just sugar. It's sugar on sugar. That's all the caramel is. Yeah, true, right? I don't, like, you know, I can find other ways to get that, you know? Yeah, exactly. There's more fun ways. Like, you know, get yourself a nice sweet treat. Really wish that we could offer sweet treats here. Just not the moment. You know, you know, it's just the beginning, you know? Hmm. You know, last time I was awake, none of these fucking things were even open, so... Yeah, I'm they've been having some issues this. lately. Like, I found out if you if they don't have the, like, banner above it, that means they can't open because their machines are broken. Like, yes, they, our machines oh. are broken, so we couldn't open. Oh, let me just get the syrup in there. There Very we go. Bit of that in there you know, back well. in the day I used to live here, I used to have a fucking farmer's market way back in the day, you know, so... Yes, this whole I remember thing the really farmer's cool market. It, it's very similar to how it was back then. Yeah, definitely improvement as well, because there's, you know... People can't just go get their own stuff like they used to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, do you it's want any nice. extra sugar in this, by the way? No, no, no. Just I'm sure that's good enough with the syrup, you know? Sure thing. And that is two sweet milk teas right there for you. Thank you so much. Appreciate I it. hope you enjoy. Again? Maximilian Angel. Maximilian Angel. Oh, my goodness. Chesterfield, I'm Canada. Eh? I'll talk to you soon. I'll right. see you around. I'll definitely come see back. See you around? Yeah, no, I'll be here. Hey, bye. Uh, farewell. Nice. Might as well need to put my name in the other pages. That's not the other pages. That business is pretty good at the moment. Coffee shop. There we go. Have to be a treat for me. I can't do energy drinks. Energy drinks very much have the opposite effect to me. For me, energy drinks are maybe 10 minutes of feeling good. You know, we're not feeling good, actually. Feeling energized. And then, like, six hours of feeling absolutely awful. Like, completely drained. I, could, I, I can't have energy drinks. Coffee is the main thing for me. As I said, I usually don't think coffee, do ca eh, coffee doesn't do much for me until I have a coffee past midnight. Then I can't get to sleep. That's what I've noticed at the very least.
Though I don't really feel it too much if I don't have it, is the thing. I know some people have like severe caffeine withdrawals when they don't have their coffee. I don't have anything like that personally. Just, you know, won't feel as awake as I probably could. Just feel a little bit doozy throughout the day, for the most part. We drink tea at all? I just don't like tea. I have like, I can have like a peppermint tea or a herbal tea like before bed, but it makes me so sleepy. That's why I usually have it before bed if I need to. But in general, I just don't like tea for the most part. I I've tried it, it just isn't for me. I'm a coffee guy. And even with coffee, it's like a morning coffee and that's it. Then it's water for the rest of the day for me. Which honestly is good. It's much better than what it used to be. But in my teenage years, I pretty much drank nothing but soda and I don't know I don't know how I survived. Like it's like every meal I'd have a Pepsi Max or something, like a glass of Pepsi Max. I don't know how I did that. Last year I completely cut off fizzy drinks and I'm happy for it. Maybe have like one if there's no other drinks available at a restaurant, but that's it. That's like maybe once or twice a year. Just cannot do them anymore. I feel a lot better for it too. But you know, for me, it's coffee, water, and maybe some like apple juice or something or cranberry juice. That's the extent of it. Any plans to play Conan Warning? Not at the moment, no. I do definitely want to get into more variety, but just kind of got to wait and see. I do need to do that playthrough of Stardew Valley, at, at least at some point. I've always wanted to do a full playthrough of it. I, I, I've never done a full playthrough. I, I've done like maybe till winter and that's it. Not even then, like till summer for the most part. Excel fans, nice when you want the fizz. I think I'm just kind of over the fizz. I'd rather go for like a nice lemonade or something. Oh, what's it called? A shandy, it's called in the UK, where it's like a bit of beer mixed in with lemonade. That's always really refreshing in summer. It's always my dad's go to drink and always makes them for me too. Because they have a caffeine tolerance. I think that's probably what affects me, to be honest. Again, it used to be a case of like, I'd drink it to like feel energized, but I never felt energized. I, I think it's, it's at that point I noticed like, wait a minute, I always feel awful after drinking this. Why am I still drinking it? It's one of those things, I just kind of regularly drank it because it was more of like a habit more so than anything else. I had my boots first. Oh, let me do do do, rise and grind. Rise and grind. Yeah, again, for me, the fizzy drinks are like maybe at a restaurant if there's nothing else available. Like if the coffee machine's broken or something. Nothing too much more than that. On how lemonade's lemonade with vodka? Never had that before. For me, it is either just, you know, it, it is either just lemonade or shandies. Hey, anonymous gifter. Thanks to five gifted subs. Much appreciated. Hope you all enjoy those beautiful Goblin and Maximotes, courtesy of the announcement's gifter. Appreciate the support. How lemon is just alcoholic lemonade in the US, really? Is that what Mike's is? I've heard of Mike's hard lemonade before. That's like a mass produced thing, right? Mike's been drinking this entire time? Mike's an alcoholic? I thought that he got shot by a riverside. I didn't realize he was an alcoholic as well. Dale Shandy of the Northeast. I'm right in saying that's what the Shandy is though, right? That's what my dad calls it. Whereas like maybe half a glass of beer then half a glass of lemonade mixed together. How's coffee shop? is going good. Business has been pretty decent so far. We've sold maybe, what is that? 
add 12, then add like seven. We, we've sold like almost 20 cups of coffee so far this morning. It's been pretty decent. They like, come, the, the business really does come in waves, but I kind of like it that way. I'd rather that I get like a customer at a time rather than have a big line of customers because then I can have like those little chats with them, which is what I enjoy the most. Like for me, I care more about the conversation than getting as many customers through as possible. And you know, you also get the added benefit of being able to see the other chaos happening in the area. For instance, Burger by the Ocean goes to war with like every single restaurant here. Minus us, because we're, we're drinks, not a restaurant. But they've had like a very solid wall with the noodle shop next to us. Oh, so it really does seem like every stall's open today. I, I wonder if they fixed the bug. I really hope that they did. Because that means we can do this a lot more reliably. Food courts held to distribute the food rushes. I imagine they have, yeah. I definitely don't see too large of a line in senior buns these days. Not as much as it used to be anyway. But senior buns is better in terms of working there, just because of the fact you get paid whilst working there. God, I really hope they include some sort of payslip system at some point. I understand why they probably don't want to, but it would be nice. There's no way these businesses are going to be able to make enough money otherwise. Especially with the whole, you know, what's it called? The $1,000 that you got to pay every day. It really does kind of cut into the profits a bit. I'm not even sure if... What, so, what's that? I said we sold like 17 cups, right? 18 cups? 18 times 40. We've only made $720 so far today. We haven't even made enough to cover the, the actual shop itself. Would you need a business license for a store like this? I don't think so, no. I don't think anyone has a business license yet. Oh. Oh, thanks, buddy. Like, they just generally haven't given any out. Max. Hey, how you doing? Hello. Good, how are you? Doing good, doing good. How goes the G6 runs? I don't know, it's so hard. Yeah. Well, it's so hard making money. Yeah. I understand. Well, At least you guys also, have it good there, G6. I don't have, like, a partner. So, like, I have to do tier ones by myself. Ooh, that's sad. Yeah. Listen, I'd yeah. love to join you, but I've just dedica I'm dedicated to the grime life. No, you are okay. And I, I can't do both. I wish I could. I wish. I'm only free. Eh, it's just the reputation, you know? You gotta kind of pick one or the other. Yeah. And if I lose any reputation, it means I can't take out the tier 3 truck, which is the only good truck. Yeah, I can understand that one. It's good money. I mean, it's I'm just... not, like, totally fussed about, like, whether I can or can't. Like, my reputation's already, like, kind of mid. Mm. I can't do tier 2 yet, so it doesn't really matter what my rep is. Yeah, I mean, if, if you don't plan to get the trucks, you don't really need to care about your rep too much. I mean, if I could, because, like, I can't always rely on other people. All the people I... The people I know are all at war. Ooh. That's rough. So, I'm assuming a lot of them won't be able to do it afterwards, because they'll get, like, criminal shooting activity charges. There's a good chance of they're getting into that stuff. I, I mean, there's a pretty solid community at G6, right? You can just sit down there for a bit and yeah. meet some people. Yeah. I think but, everybody's kind of grouped up right now. Oh, oh yeah, everyone's getting like their morning vault runs in, aren't they? Yeah, when they first wake up, everybody gets like their duo and goes and runs their vault. Yeah, I, I have seen the habits. Yeah, so there's a lot of people doing it right now, but I'm guessing not for long. I'm sure people will be free up after that. At least you can work through the night as well. Unlike other jobs. Yeah. Like other jobs. You just keep going. How's your day been otherwise? Just been doing that? Yeah, talking, can't lie. I don't want to push myself towards a group, but I don't know what group. As in like... But a couple of them have offered to like... Like I can start helping them and they start helping me. And like hanging mm. out and stuff. I mean, there's no harm at least like... Each other. Yeah, you know, vibe with them for a bit. Don't need to make any solid dedication. 
Just yeah. see where you fit in best. Yeah. Always important. Oh, making fun of my dick. Right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Wait, what do you guys make besides coffee? coffee? Just coffee? Just coffee. Just I'm coffee? No food just yet. We're, we're hoping to get food at some point. Can I have coffee? Sure thing. What coffee can I get you? Coffee. Coffee. Do you want a cappuccino, latte, sweet milk tea? Coffee? Coffee it is. Uh, what milk would you yeah. like? Milk. Okay. There we go. Just want to tap your card there. Yeah. I'll get that started for you. Wow. Unfortunately, we don't really get paid here. I'm doing this all for free. Really? Well, we'll get paid in tips. We don't get any, like, pay That's slips good. or anything like uh, Senior Buns does. Yeah, it's not really a money-making like, thing, these. When, when you sell me food? Uh, it goes towards the owner. Does the owner pay you? Well, the owner has to pay $1,000 a day to keep this place open. And, you know, uh, we have to sell a lot of coffee to even break even with that. That's so, that's so unfortunate, bud. Eh, it's fine. I, I do this job for social. If I if I want to make money, I'll just go do grind. Yeah, it's more just a social job. I, I like having jobs like this. There we go. One cappuccino Whoa. right there for you. Coffee. 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 I hope, I hope you enjoy. Hey, Red. Thank you, Max. Hey, Max. I appreciate you. Here's some coffee. Your you, John. Hey, well, one of each? Yes. Love you, Max. Oh, love you. See you later. Bye. I'm going to be standing in the front lobby all whole day. Oh, got you. Okay. Uh, any milk in particular? Or... Actually, no. Give me two of each. Two I'm of actually each? going all in. Yeah, two of each. Two of each? Your thing? Uh, and I'm going to let you do your I'm not you do your work. Because you're a craftsman, so I'm going to let you do your work. Oh, thank you. Hold on. Let me just make sure. Got that right. That is two lattes, two smooth tea, and that is two cappuccinos. There we go. If you just want to tap your card there, I'll get that started for you. Two of that. We've got a long day ahead of you. Yeah, hopefully it's not too bad of a day because I... Uh... Okay, that was weird. Oh, I'll ring it through again. Oh, yeah, it must, it must, have, it must have ran out because I, I clicked on pay at bank and it just said no active force on the screen. Oh, yes, sometimes it, uh, it isn't the There's not system. enough time for it sometimes, yeah. Yeah, it happens. There we go. You know, I, uh, I was... I've had, I've had a rough three days, so... Should be on there now. Three, yeah, ever since the restock happened, I've had... It's been rough for me because I've been doing, uh... I've been doing the customizations on the cars at Mosley's. Oh, when, right. you hand me, when you hand me the receipt, it's supposed to give me pay me cash out of the receipt, and I haven't been paid a single job. Oh, that's rough. Every single job that I or everything that I've been paid for, all of my money came from car sales yesterday. So I went from ten thousand dollars down to eight thousand dollars. I'm back up to thirty seven thousand dollars now, and that's Ooh. all just from car sales. That's decent money. Yeah, but it also that's almost half of the money that I should actually have in my account right now. I should have around 20. I, I'm too lazy to do it, but I have to go through my records. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like 36 hours of records, like two days. Oh, no, actually, yeah, yeah, 36 hours, like three days of being awake. And I have to catalog every single job that I did that I didn't get paid for. And there's over 100 plus jobs that I did. Oof. In order to get the government, get the government to pay me back the money. But it's roughly $25,000. <laughs> that isn't too bad. I mean, just getting yeah. some money would be good. Honestly, it's, it's, it's the thing where I just don't want to do it because I don't want to deal with the fucking hassle. Yeah. Because when I go back to my apartment, I don't want to do paperwork. I go back to my apartment, I fire up the fucking Dragon's Zogma 2 or something else, and I fucking veg out until 6 a.m. You want to chill when you head back home. You don't want to focus on that stuff. Yeah. It's understandable. It's like, and it's like, it's like, I'm like, I'm like, fuck it. I can make that money back in like a weekend. I mean, I made it, I made it back. Almost, I literally made it back in a day. Yeah. At some point, you should consider, is it even worth the fuss? Yeah. Because also it wasn't even just that. It was like I'd have people who got all pissy and shit because they uh, parts wouldn't go on their car, and they demanded to get the, that I paid for. It. I'm like, fuck it, just get out of my get out of the shop. I paid for it out of pocket and put the shit on the car and got them out. That's easily yeah. another fifteen grand that or another ten grand if I didn't do it just to get people out of the fucking shop so they shut the fuck up. You know, it's like it's like yell at the government, not me. 
Yeah, that's a difficult part because at the end of the day, you are just a worker. You don't like own the place. You, there's no one you can even re redirect them to. Yeah, it's, it's. I'm like, I'm like, just call Bugstars because that's all I can. That's all I can tell you. It's like, here, I'll do this. Just go away, leave me alone. I'll let Bugstars know myself. Yeah, you know, it's, it's like a holy shit. Yeah. And then I woke up today and forgot the eclipse was going on. I'm like, why is it so dark outside? Look, yeah, I can see the shutter too. I, I knew what was happening because somebody literally sent me a text saying, hey, check out the shadows because they're watching the eclipse. And then I walk out and or I go into my kitchen and look out the window. I'm like, why does it look like, where, like I'm wearing my sunglasses inside? And I'm like, I can see the sun reflecting off the car. Got to blast that in the eyeball. That was fun. And I'm like, oh, right. The eclipse. Duh. Well, as long as you didn't get blind. Yeah. Well, it was, it's got kind of neat because like, it's like you can see that it's the sun eclipse is happening. It's bright enough outside, but it's just like you put on sunglasses, like a tinted pair of tinted glasses, lightly tinted. That's how much the, the light's coming through and affected the moon is affecting it and everything. Like, man, I forgot how cool that is. It's definitely a cool event. It's good to it's experience like get, it. It's kinda like it's kinda like when you get overcast. Like you you could I couldn't physically see the eclipse at certain eclipse itself, but I could see the effect like the side wash effects of it. <laughs> oh god. Hmm. I get you. Like the side wash effects of it, you know? Like where it's still it's still hitting it, but you're not getting full light. But yeah, there's that's something cool. That happened for like fifteen minutes, I'm like neat. Hmm. Definitely oh, some cool some to experience. This and... All right, yeah. well, hope you enjoy. Yeah, you have a good one, Max. If you need a car, you as well. Work done, let me know. I'll be at the uh, multi. Oh, will do. There we go. Another little rush done. Got 11 left. That should be fine. If it needs to be, we'll just go restock again sometime soon. A lot of big orders, too. I do hope that Ash is able to, like, keep this place open. It's, again, another reason why I just don't really care too much about getting paid i'd rather ash keeps this place open than focus on getting us paid and maybe somewhere down the line she can give us some money just kind of gotta wait and see she says it's repetitive and boring after a while i mean any job we can get reported uh, boring and repetitive after a while grime especially like grime is like so goddamn bad that if you really sit down and think about it comparing grime to group six grime is like so so much worse like, Grime, you get a constant scuff. You lose reputation when that scuff happens. So you're going to spend, like, three to four hours of making basically next to no money to recover from it. It's super antisocial because you only get to talk to the person that you're, like, in the car with for an hour and a half. Like, you don't even do any drop-offs at places where you'd maybe run into other people. It, it, sure, you don't get robbed with Grime, but what, that's like... 15 minutes wasted compared to an hour and a half wasted with scuff. And you also you don't lose any reputation when you get robbed either. And also the gri group six is multiple Hello, different Max. jobs too. Hey, Pata. How you doing? Doing good, doing good, Giselle. Good, good, good. Question, do you guys have anything thinning here? Unfortunately not, no. We're, we're working thinning. on it. Perfect. Yeah, I just need something a little bit thinning. Hmm. I'll some... come for coffee one day. You know, if you ever need one, just let me know. Sounds good. I appreciate you, Max. No worries. I and mean, that's a good thing, though, the waiting for three hours. Because that means that it's 15 minutes of work, then three hours of waiting. And that 15 minutes of work makes you almost as much as you would get from doing a full run of grind, which is an hour and a half. And you can work at night time, too. And you can own ATMs. There's a multitude of different types of jobs you can do. You actually contribute to the rest of the city as well. Like with the G6 cars being involved, the maze bags, the blueprints you can get that might be used. It's, uh, it's definitely rough. Grime is super rough. Hey there. Two milk tea, please. Two sweet milk tea. You've got it. Any milk in particular? Okay, just dairy. There you go. For one of the yeah, tappy yeah. card there. Just getting started out with the day, or is this a nice booster for you? Found you. I just want to try it. Oh, got you. Okay. We've got a busy day ahead. Hopefully. Hmm. Well, hopefully it's a good day. go wait for that to be done
And boom. And come on. Wait for that to be done. So we're just waiting for the last one now. And there we go. That is two sweet milk teas right there for you. I hope that you enjoy. Thank you so much for a great day. No worries, you as well. Hey, mashed potatoes 29. Thanks for three months. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful goblin and Maximo Smash. Appreciate the support. I mean, yeah, sure, you can make more money with grime, but it's more painful. Like what, you make, what, 3.7k for 15 minutes of work every three hours? I'd much prefer that than making, like, 6k after an hour and a half of work. I like I said, the whole social aspect as well. It's rough. And then they stay I, I hope forever. they make some improvements to Grime at some point to kind of make it a bit more social. I think that's the biggest downside, in my opinion. Huh? Is that it's just a very antisocial job. No. Is the cafe music playing in the cafe? No, no, this is just background music that I have on. This is my usual jazz playlist. Goes pretty well with most things that Max does. But I would argue that G6 is definitely better than Grime. I understand why most people go for that rather than going for Grime. Especially if you know people that do G6. I say that's kind of what makes G6 better, is if you know people that are already good at G6. Let's take for se September, for instance. I don't think she would have had as much fun with Group 6 if it wasn't for the people that she already knew going in. And she makes like 40k a day plus by doing Group 6. She does a lot of it. It's a very difficult sell grime because it generally doesn't get any good until you max rep. Like the the tier one truck and the pounder just don't pay much at all. In the grand scheme of things, we use to catch up on things and their partner. I mean, there is definitely upsides to grime in some ways. Like personally, one thing I do like about grime more so than group six is that it's just like. You can maybe do it at the start of your day and then be done for the rest of the day. Whereas with group six, you've got to keep on that three hour timer. So you've got to be worried about getting into things so you don't miss that timer. Whereas the grind, like, sure, you are dedicated to it for that hour, but at least it is just that hour. Don't have to worry too, too much outside of that. Sit down. Well, yeah, Ember's definitely been hard grinding it. And you also do have the added benefit of Grime as well, that you don't have to worry about getting a felony too. That is technically a benefit to it. I just wish that it was more interesting to do. Because like I said, I personally don't like doing too much Grime on stream, just because like, I don't think it's a very interesting thing. Like sure, I know we're just kind of standing here for the most part, but we get like the nice little conversations, get to see people. I find that a lot more interesting than just sitting in a truck for an hour and a half. You know, you do have to sacrifice stuff for the G6 runs. It, it is a sacrifice within itself. But the fact that it is like just only 15 minutes of work makes it a lot more appealing to people. Like, you know, you get 15 minutes of work, then you're done. Go do something else. I mean, World Grime is definitely dependent on who you take with you, too. But ultimately, there's only so many conversations you can have between two people. Especially for an hour and a half. I mean, yeah, both definitely do have the upsides and downsides. I do think that G6 has more upsides, though. And honestly, a lot of the downsides to Grime are, like, more mechanical downsides than, like, other downsides. Like, you know, the fact that it scuffs out so much and then... You lose rep because of that. Genuinely, the scuff wouldn't be as bad if you didn't lose the rep. Like, it is just kind of painful at the moment with how it all works. Like, like I said, one scuffed packer run 
means that you got to spend the next three to four hours doing low tier runs to recover. It is painful. When it could, could be completely something out of your control. I really do hope they fix that at some point. But I know Group 6 doesn't lose any rep when they abandon a job, so I, I feel like it should be the same with Grime. Luckily, we do know good fair people that can take us on the other runs, though, to recover, like GG, like Fifi. They definitely help with the recovery process, and we all kind of help out each other in some ways. Well, Scuff runs so we so fixes it. I mean, maybe that's what we need to do. We need to take some admins and some devs on some grime runs, see what they think. I think that's how they got G6 improved a while ago. I remember at the start of the server, G6 was like super duper boring. Like it was very different at the start. That's IRL time when I say an hour and a half. Sometimes it can be like maybe 50 minutes, but it very much depends on the run. Most time it's an hour plus. I do remember at some point group six was like very, very different. I mean, Grind used to be a bit different at the beginning, too. I mean, the thing is, I don't run into many issues with Grind either. But when you do run into those issues, it's painful. Well, the trunk blowing up thing wasn't technically scuff, is the thing. That was us being ruthless, reckless with the truck. Like, we should have gone and get a got a repair on it a lot sooner than we did. That's on us. The only, the only scuff part of it was the fact that, like, it got scuff impounded, which meant that it no longer registered as a vehicle. That's what scuffed it out. If they had left it and then allowed us to take it to a repair shop to get repaired, like, properly, it would have been fine. But because it was in the middle of the highway, they just scuffed and pounded it instead. I mean, it is definitely decent money, but it's why I don't typically do grime on stream for the most part. Like, usually me and Timothy just do some grime runs, like, late at night. You know, we either just have, like, a nice little chit-chat or, like, we just kind of be silent and do our own thing. That's kind of what I prefer doing. And it is definitely decent money, too. I think if grime went below 4k for a run, I think I would abandon it. At that point, I'd probably abandon it. 6k a run is pretty decent, but anything below 4k is just not worth the time. How much money does Max have at the moment? He's currently at... Let's have a look. 20k about. I did have about 30k last stream, but I actually had a lot of... I spent a fair bit of money. Actually, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys about the money I spent off stream. Basically, I bought another storage for the house, which is about 10k. But that's the storage that we keep the money in, because it allows you to store more money. Like, you can store up to 100k worth of bills in it. And basically meant that Timothy didn't need to leave all of his money on the ground. Because there's always the risk of scuff when you do that. I think I also spent a bit of money on buying, like, some extra walls to expand the room. And a bit of money on some more laundry machines, too. If Grime does go bad, would you become one of them, the G6s? I'd probably tag along with people doing their tier 3 runs, but that's it. I wouldn't want to grind out G6 to get my own trucks. Because I probably will be going down more of a criminal path. So there's no point in me grinding it out. How's Moonshine going? A little bit slow, the Moonshine stuff. I spent like two days out of the sewers, and now my reputation is destroyed. And I don't really feel motivated to go down there and do that all over again. Let's see, um, actually, let's put another advert out. I haven't put out one of those in a while. I probably would be interested in becoming a G6er for a bit. Just for the social aspect of it. That's the thing that I'm most interested in in G6, personally, is the social aspect. Mm. 
And the money's pretty decent too. Hello. Hello there. How you doing? You know what? It's a nice chill start to the day. Can't Ooh, complain. That's always good. Hope you're having a good one too. Ah, kind of same here. Just kind of doing some chill coffee shop stuff. Indeed, indeed. On that note, I would like some sweet milk tea. Ooh, sure thing. Just one cup. Mm, make it do. Two cups. You've got it. Any milk in particular? Mmm, almond. Almond milk. You've got it. Mm -hmm. If you just want to tap your card there, I'll get that started for you. Sure thing. Always a good way to start your day with a nice drink. There we go. Also good to have a, a, always good to start out your day with a nice drink. Ooh, agreed 100%. Sometimes it's nice to have a little booster in the middle of the day too. That's what I usually do. Around lunchtime, maybe have a little coffee. Nothing too, too Honestly? much though. Bit, bit weaker. <laughs> I mean, hey, as long as you're getting in something that delights you, something that just, you know, picks up the mood a bit, it's all good. Exactly. That's what you want. Something to get you through the day. Then it's kind of just water for the rest of the day for me. Gotta stay hydrated. Of course, of course. And water's healthy, so no harm in that. That is true. I, I kind of like the taste of water, too. But I guess it kind of depends it's, where you get the water from. It's interesting that it tastes different from different places. Like, it what does. Is I think it just tastes fresher. That's the only real taste difference. Oh, how sweet do you want it, by the way? How many cubes of sugar would you like? Toss in three. Three? Bit of a sweet tooth. Bit of a sweet tooth. Sure thing. One, I don't shy two, away from bitter. Three. There we go. I mean, it's sweet milk tea. You want it to be sweet. <laughs> Much appreciated. No worries. I hope that you enjoy. I will. I most certainly will. Have a good one, Mr. Angel. You as well. Hello there. Uh, hello, my friend. How are you again, Mr. Downton Abbey's? Ah, doing quite well, quite well. How about yourself? Ah, Vladimir is good, my friend. Ah, you are looking as uh, smart and fresh as ever, my friend. I know, got to look presentable at this place. It's very true. Vladimir right does not take the same approach. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, you've got the uniform of senior buns, though. We don't really have a uniform here. I just like looking no. classy. And it's true. Well, uh, you pull it off, my friend. Ah, I appreciate that. Ah, uh, look, uh, Vladimir will have... Hmm, I will have... Three lattes, please, my friend. Three lattes? Your thing? Our uh, any milk in particular? Uh, give me the milk from cow again, please. Just dairy milk? You've got it. There we go. If you want to tap your card there. Okay, it's no problem. Ooh, just starting out your day at the moment. Dar, Vladimir, waiting for taxis in there. We'll do the senior buns in between, you know? Oh, got you. Okay. I mean, the buns is good money. Ah, it's good Don't know how good a you know, taxi is these days. Ah, but the, the taxis is more about uh, I, my taxi is like Switzerland, my friend. You know, things people have things to get off their chest, they can use the taxi. Yeah, more of a social thing. I mean, it's the reason I do ah. this job. I prefer the social element. We don't actually get paid for working here. Wait, you do not get paid for working here? No, we don't have any pay slips or anything. Oh my god, my man. That's fine. Like I said, if, if I want money, I'll go do you know some grime or something. I like the ah, social element of this job. Ah, Vladimir understands that. Get to see how people's days going. Hello? Ah, hello, Santa. How are you, my man? Santa Claus. Last yeah. one. Ah, it's good to see you, old friend. Have not seen you for a long time. If I'm in the conversation, yeah. I don't do the sound effects ah, too, too much. I apologize. Could not pick you up in taxi the other day. Welcome. Here we go. Thank you. And that is three lattes right there for you. I hope that you enjoy. Ah, uh, Vladimir, enjoy. Thank you very much, my friend. Ah, no worries. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And you, and you. Nice to see Goodbye. you, Santa. Goodbye, my man. Hey, Santa. Mark Ordez. Hi, you doing? I haven't seen you in a long time. You're, I'm very disappointed. Yeah, don't do too you, much tax stuff. You, no, 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 no. You have downgraded. What do you mean? Extremely. I mean, it's a lovely little shop, this one. No. Well, unfortunately, the liquid library wasn't allowed to run, so. Why? You uh, fucking bought it, didn't you? Nope. State owns it. Oh, I thought you were like the main general manager of, the, of that, that business. I was. I tried to run the business element, and the state told me no. So, don't have much motivation to do stuff over there. Yes. Eh, it's what it is, unfortunately. 
Mm. Uh, you know, I enjoy this. Is a similar Can I feed the fish? Thing. Feed the fish? Yeah. It's a pond, right? Uh, no, Outside, I think. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. No, it's just marble, I think, with a bit of like ve vegetation around it. I don't believe there's any fish in there. Bye, bye, bye. The, the fish are in the little pond over there, I believe. Didn't it about the Goldman industry? Thank you. Oh, let me have a big I'm sip. going to feed it a fish. <laughs> yeah, I mean, enjoy. Thank you. Ray talked to Max about using Lottie's house for the laundry. I think Ray talked to Max about the Lottie joining the house, I think. So potentially maybe five people joining the house. We're basically almost doubling the amount of people in the house. My only concern with the whole people moving in is that the house itself is kind of small. I do wonder if too many people, like, because at that point, we're going to be at, like, 12 people in the house. I do wonder if that's maybe a little bit too much, at least for the size. But on the other hand, it's not like the place is very popping either. So maybe some more people would be fine. There's also the idea that maybe if we include some sort of buy-in, maybe we could look to upgrade. Like move to Mirror Park or something. Like sell the house and use the extra buying money to move elsewhere. Yeah, I think it is more for the social aspect, yeah. I'll have to see how it all works out. The only thing we can do is just kind of wait and see. Yeah, house meetings definitely going to be... I, I, honestly, I don't see us having any house meetings. I think there's going to be too many people to have house meetings. Like, we struggle enough to wrangle seven people together, let alone 12. Yeah, day's going good. Having a little bit of a cook day today, so we're just kind of chilling for the most part and doing some coffee shop stuff. I think it would be nice to have more people in the house, but we've got to see in practice if that is going to be the case or not. There's nothing guaranteeing that people will start spending more time in the house. I mean, you know, it's not like we spend so much time in the house. Neither does Ray, neither does Kitty. And we're all the ones that are kind of pushing for this. We already don't spend that much time in the house. Is adding more people really going to change that? I don't know. It's kind of got to wait and see. I, I think the biggest thing is that we all wake up at different times. I think the house would be more active if we all woke up at the same time. But it's the fact that, like, you know, I wake up, like, three, four hours before someone else does. So I'm not going to be at the house when they wake up most of the time. Obviously, I do spend some time at the house sorting stuff out. Like, you know, sorting out furniture, sorting out the money stuff. But not like, I don't spend all day there. I mean, the people that we're potentially bringing in, I think, would be fine in terms of the crime. I mean, we just got to kind of wait and see how it all plays out. My worry is just that it's not going to change too much. That it's just going to be the similar situation before. I also, ha I also have a low-key worry that bringing in more people will drive more people away. That is kind of part of my worry, too. Hello. Hello there. Hey, how are you doing? Doing quite well, quite well. How about yourself? I'm doing fantastic. Let me think. Hmm. Hmm. It's light. Uh, could I go for a cappuccino, please? A cappuccino? Sure thing. Uh, what milk would you like? Uh, can I get the uh, full cow's milk, please? Full cow milk? You've got it. There you go. Just want to tap a card there. I'll get that started for you. No, I appreciate it. Was this just a little booster to your day? Yeah, yeah, it's just a booster to my day. You know, it's it's been a day and a half, to be honest. I oh, Ooh, everything alright? 
it's it's been a day and a half. I had to make some pretty tough decisions. I had to move on with my life with a couple of things, but Ooh, look. Sorry to hear that. <sighs> mechanic mechanic work just just wasn't what what wasn't profitable enough, you know what I understandable i i hear there's a lot of time investment and not much payout for the most part especially with the rising prices of materials so, I mean, you gotta do what's but best also, for you but also like i got i got attacked twice oh, Jesus. Uh, there so <laughs> i'm sorry to hear that yeah, I was over some stupid things. I don't know. I I don't know why, but it 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 was it, it was what it was, and I, and from that point onwards, it made me question: Did I be risking my life to work here? It's a very thankless job, from my understanding. Yeah, and you know, you, if you're not having a good time there, then you may as well move on. I was having a great. I was having a great time. There was. There was great people, but it was just the money and the risk, like... Mm. Money does make the I world mean, go right? round. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, what yeah, are you thinking of moving I mean, on to? I, I went back to my roots, group six. Ooh, how's that been? At least you're making some money there. Honestly? I made more money than working at... I made, I made more money than working at a mechanic shop. I'm saying, uh, like, half, half a grand. Eh, not bad. Yeah, no, G6 is very good. A good social aspect of that job, too. Plus, is, people that do is, it. It is really, really great. You get to meet some really nice people. Hmm. Yeah, I, I do grime, and we don't really have that over there. Oh, boy. I, I feel really sorry for you, man. Yeah, it is, it is what it is. That's why I've got this job. This is my social job now. Oh, speaking of, here um, is your cappuccino. I appreciate it. What's your name? Uh, Maximilian Angel. Nice to meet you, Maximilian. My name is Akari. Akari Sasaki. I am a, I am a legal aid uh, slash judge assistant. If you need if you need any legal aid, I'm sure to give it. Oh, I'll make sure to keep that in mind. Uh, pleasure to meet you, right. Akari. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you as well. Right. Well, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Hello. You too. Hello there. Hi. It's uh, it's my first time here, and it's also my birthday. Oh, happy birthday! Uh, thank you, thank you. I was wondering, you know, if you do you guys possibly give out any free drinks for a birthday boy? Hey, you know, one. Just for this time, I can get you a free drink. What can I get you? Wait, really? Just this once. Um, okay, just this once. Um, uh, the sweet milk tea actually caught my attention. The sweet you milk tea. Sure thing. Any milk in particular? Uh, do you have soy milk? A uh, soy milk. I, I believe we do. Yeah, it doesn't really get requested too often. Yeah, Usually, I, the I, almond milk I is the most drink popular. Soy milk. I mean, to each their own. Is the reason we have the variety. I, I'm more of an oat milk person myself. Oh, oat milk's really good too. Mm, I, I I prefer soy though. That's fair enough. To each their own. For me, it's like the texture adds to coffee. That's what I like about oat milk. Yeah, yeah. I think it tastes quite nice. Yeah. Well, how sweet would um, you like it as well? How many cubes of sugar? Um, uh, maybe two. Two? Sure thing. Yeah. Boom, boom. Here we go. Should be just finishing up now. Uh, also, I have a question. Um, do you happen to know the owner of this place? Uh, yes, it's uh, Ash Ketchup. She's the owner. Ash Ketchup. Okay. Um, do you know if they're hiring by any chance? Unsure, unfortunately. Wow. It's a little bit difficult because uh, we technically don't get paid for working here. Uh, okay, so it's maybe like commission. Uh, tips primarily. Tips. Okay. Um. I can give you some. I can give you a tip. Well, no, this is not a requirement. I, I do this for the social aspect more so than anything else. Want money? I'll just go uh, do grind. Are you sure? I mean, I can give you some money. I mean, if if you want to. I feel really bad. Yeah, here yeah, you it's go. All good. Don't feel bad about it. I appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Maximilian Angel. Maximilian, nice to meet you. I'm Mason. Ah, pleasure to meet you, Mason. Yeah, yeah. Do you know if Ash is around by any chance? I kind of want to give uh, her a call. She's usually around in the earlier hours, but could be around now. She's usually in the yellow pages if she's around. Does a lot of okay. like uh, selling of things. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can contact her. I'd, you know, I'd love to get a job here. It's very, it's, nice spot. it's very cute. Yeah. Well, I wish okay. you the best of luck. 
Thank you so much, and you have a good day, okay? You as well. Bye now. Uh, farewell. Let's see how we're doing. We've got enough for two more coffees, okay? Already gone through a lot of our supply. I mean, tell me I play, pay for the supply so I can choose if I give out a free drink or not. That's on me. Tell me they're not losing any money. It should be touching other people's stuff. I mean, that could be an issue, but I don't see it being too much of an issue. The only stuff that can be touched is in the back rooms, and I don't see those people we're inviting going to those back rooms too often. You gotta remember, everyone that we're inviting is G6 workers. Though I do think it is a little bit of a risk, maybe, with the stuff we got in there. It's a big trust thing that we're giving these people. I've just got to see how it plays out. Hopefully it should be okay, though. But I said, I think those are my only fears right now, is that it may drive more people to leave. Like, the people that already have maybe their foot out the door a little bit might make them leave a bit faster. Have to see how it goes. Well, the Hazel Band thing was just more of a joke, more so than anything else. I do worry a little bit about Hazel because he seems to get himself in a lot of trouble ever so often. Usually by his own doing. But, you know, th there's people in the house that do that already anyway, so. That'd be interesting what everyone's opinion is. I wonder how April's gonna feel about living with her sisters. And as I said, is it really gonna encourage people to hang out at the house more? I think the, the thing is, everyone has their own lives going on outside the house. That's why people don't hang out there. Like, no one wants to spend all day just kind of hanging out at the house. And there's so many people that it's very, you know, at so many different time zones that you're more likely to miss people that do hang out there. I'll have to see how it all works out, though. Max isn't going to be the one to push, out, push against it. He, he wants to see how it goes. There's more foot traffic in the house when people go in out for storage and waking up. Yeah, that's the only time that I really see it being used. But again, everyone wakes up at different times, so is it even going to be that case? Hmm. Yeah, everyone wakes up alone just because we all wake up at different times. If we all woke up at storm, like consistently, then it'd feel a lot more alive than it does. The only thing that really brings most people back to the house is like the laundry machines and the storage. Or, you know, needing to get changed or something like that. Like, we don't even have much parking space. That is also going to be another concern, is the parking space. Because that's also why some people don't wake up at the house already, is because they want to wake up by their car. Like, that's why Kitty wakes up in the apartments more so than waking up at the house, because she wants to wake up and get to her car. Is that going to be the same with everyone else? I don't know. I, I personally don't think that adding more people is going to solve the issue, but I'm willing to be proven wrong. I hope that it makes it more lively, but it's not a guarantee. Just have to see how it all plays out. Who knows if it's going to cause more issues or not. Yeah, I wish that we could at least upgrade parking spots. That'd be kind of nice. So let's, uh, we're gonna, I'm going to take this opportunity while it's a little bit quieter in here just to go restock on a few things. Go I'm going to restock, grab some food, and open back up again. Uh, I mean, tell me, isn't there already some issues slash little drama happening and people haven't even moved in yet?
See, what I think would be better is maybe they get their own house next door. Like, the, the door next to us is available is the thing. I'm pretty sure if all those G6 people got together, they could get their own house. And it would kind of have the same sort of vibe going on too. Rural house meeting will be interesting. I don't think we're going to have a house meeting anytime soon. Everyone's too busy. Get, being able to wrangle everyone together isn't going to be an easy task. It's why I put a Discord announcement out asking if people are okay with people moving in. I always see I know about uh, Lottie's house. I don't know if Max knows about it in character. But Max already knew that at some point the G6s were going to get their own house because they were discussing about it. Like, at some point they were discussing about getting a G6 house. Like, you know, Link, January... Uh, Lottie, Queenie. I know they were talking about getting a house at some point. I don't know what ever happened to that. Or if it is even still in the works. Do you watch other GTA streams? Sometimes. I, I try not to watch people that, like, I am involved with, though, you know? To stay from meta. Usually it's like, I, I try and watch maybe PD, just because it's interesting to see what goes on in the city. And a little bit less risk of meta too much. At least meta that would personally affect Max. I know if there is something, it's something I could probably ease. Where am I going? So I'm defaulting back to, actually no, I do need to go to the house. I need to sort out the cash. Max has about 20k right now. Not too, too much money. But that's also because, like, I just don't care about making money that much anymore. I, I had, like, an opinion shift not too long ago where I just thought, like, if I'm striving just to get money, I'm always going to find a way to spend that money. And it's just going to be a never-endless stride to get money. It's from a talk that Max had with Hazel. Because Hazel was talking about, like, all the G6 people will be able to hang out more often with other people once they get, like, their cars, once they get, like, millions of dollars. But the thing is, that's never going to happen because they're always going to find another car they can spend money on and hence always need to go back to running Group 6. And it's kind of like the same thing with us, too. Like, I could always find a reason to go do a grind run. Always find a reason to go get some more money. But I'm kind of just trying to get away from that now. Obviously, still want to get money ever so often. It's just less so more of a main drive for us. Boom. But you'll always be able to find some excuse to keep go making money. Hasn't been a girls meeting, though, but I did send out a Discord message asking people's opinions. So far, the only people that we don't know is Gigi and Eli. Those are the only two. Actually, let's see. Is Eli around? Eli. And there's nothing bad about grinding. I think you just got to realize that you're always going to find some excuse to go grind. You got to kind of like be able to separate yourself from it. Like, just saying that once you get the cars that you want and then have a good stockpile of money, then you're going to stop grinding, then that's just never going to happen because you're always going to find some reason to go grind and make more money. You kind of got to make that conscious decision to kind of separate the two because there's always going to be something to grind for. Always. That's just realistically what how it is. Let's see, is Gigi around? No Gigi. There's always going to be something you can invest your money into. Even if you already have all the cars that you want. 
The grind genuinely never stops unless you want it to stop. I mean, think of it like an MMO. In an MMO, you could always find some reason to go grind more money. It's how people end up playing those games for like years upon years upon years. You're always going to find some reason to go make more money. This, we don't talk about the Eli situation. Max is still a little bit salty about that. That whole Eli dispute stressed out Max so, so much. It's also why he's kind of not pushing too much against the you know, more people moving in. Because he knows it'll probably just end up in the same situation. What happened? It, it was about when we were first getting the house all set up and everything. Initially, it was only supposed to be six people in the house. And Eli would be like hanging out around the house. But not being a part of the house, if that makes sense. Like the joke was that he was going to live in the garden, you know? But then when he came back from vacation, both Gigi and Kitty were like, oh yeah, you're going to live with us. You're going to get a key and everything. When initially it was supposed to just be six. And then Max said that like, he's, you know, wait, is he going to be part of the house? I thought it was only going to be six. And then it, they made it seem like Max just didn't want Eli to be part of the house. And that was also on the same day that April got back from vacation. So she was finding out about the debt in the house as well. Which added even more stress on top of that. I think this is probably the most stressful day Max has had. He's got everything. Yep, got everything. Basically, he was taking blame for just sticking to what was already being said. Because other people didn't want to tell him no. It's why he doesn't want to be the bad guy in this situation. He just wants to make sure everyone gets their opinion voiced. If they have an opinion about him. Hence why he was so strict on us, like, getting everyone to say yes or no on more people moving in. Because otherwise, it would end up in the same situation. And high chance Max would get blamed for it yet again. So he's just trying to avoid that. Because Kitty was willing to get them keys on the day that Max was getting told about him. For the new people moving in. She was asking about us getting them keys. I, I feel like we were kind of jumping a little bit too quickly into that. But it doesn't seem like anyone has any issues. Which is good. Minus maybe Gigi, but she hasn't told us about that just yet. I know that she initially did say no on that the bulletin post that I posted. I mean, the same thing happened when the girl house was first becoming a thing. I remember how Gigi and Ray first met Queenie, then instantly invited her to the house. And then we had to break the bad news to her that, sorry, you're not going to be part of the house because people just don't know you too well. over 70,000 in profits. Yeah. And I they uh, want you to pay your your employees too. It's like this is it's that's a lot. It's been yeah, it's been it's been uh, it's been heavy. I have well, uh, posted I have just suppose saying yes or no to more people trying to calculate in. this. And uh even with the help of all that, it it, it was everything was red. Everything was absolutely yeah. red. Oh, it'll it'll be, it'll be red. It's gonna. So far, the only people that haven't said yes or no is Eli and well, Gigi. You, you're, I mean, you're you've been operating for a while. It's gotta yeah, be. It's Gigi okay. did initially say no, but then she took that it. away and hasn't put yeah, a yes in yet. Honestly, that we're we're fast and cheap has kind of been like our savior. Yeah, I um, I went for the uh, for the forty percent off on uh, for PD and EMS. And uh, they come in waves. That's, yeah. been, that's, been, that's, that's why that's Max is right. trying not to push things yeah. too much with this. Uh, just just letting them play out for the most part. He wants to try and just avoid yeah, that so. stress altogether. Yeah. Yeah. If everything burns down, everything burns down. Yeah. Is what it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, good luck with the rest of your day. I'll, I'll get back to making some fucking bread. Hoping anybody buys it. Thanks, I appreciate that. I'll hope everything right. goes good over there. Thank you very much, man. Have a good one. What's up? What's up? Just saying hello. Hi. 
Hey Adam. I can you speak up? Uh, uh, sorry. Hey Adam. That's okay. Hi. How you doing? Oh, you know, it's another day out here in in freaking business town in freaking Flavorville. This and the population is just me. Uh, it's just me. You no, know, I don't have any employees. Hey, I got to do a job fair today. At, at least, like you know, the machines are working. Is it the yeah, machines that's a plus. Right now, it's like a coin. Oh, none of yours are. No, no, no. I think they all are. Oh. You, you can tell if the machine isn't working if the banner isn't up. That's what I've noticed. Like, if the banner Ooh. isn't showing, yeah, that means yeah. the machines aren't working. Ooh, but the fact that every point. banner is up right now makes me think, I think, hopefully we don't have that issue again in the future, but we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, yeah. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, yes. Mm -hmm. but what you got? What's your special today? Uh, we got the cheese special. It's uh, just a bunch of cheese goop on a bunch of food. Oh, okay, M maybe not that. You don't want that? What do you mean? You're not a big fan of cheese? I mean, I like cheese, but not just on its own. It's got to be paired with something. Yes, we got a cheeseburger, so it's just a burger smothered in cheese. We got cheese fries, it's fries with a lot of cheese in them, and then I got a cheese smoothie. It's just cheese. Hmm. Well, I I'll have a heartbreaker with cream. Okay. Like maybe two of those, and uh, two cheese fries, and two Ocean waters. All right, anything else for you? Nope, that'll be everything today. Unless you have any right, lamp oil. Ahead, lamp oil? No, no lamp oil, unfortunately. What do you need Bombs? lamp oil for? What about rope? You got any rope? Uh, I think I might have a few, like, old, like, mana potions, but I don't really have any, like, rope or lamp oil. Mm. Oh, okay, fair enough. I'll just have what what's there, then. People don't get the Morshu references these days. I might have, like, uh... Like some, some like two or three foot lengths of string. I need rope though, not string. Like thread. No. It's too thin. Yeah. What's it for? No, you know, just so you can tie things together. Be moving a lot of furniture recently. Oh, okay. Yeah. Don't answer that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It's lovely. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much, Adam. I really appreciate it. Oh, no problem. Thanks for stopping by Burger by the Ocean. No worries. You're a freaking babe. You're a freaking babe. You're a freaking babe. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee. <laughs> All right. See you in a bit, Adam. Bye. He's a freaking babe. Max, is that you? What? Max, is that you? What's up? Alex? Max? Yeah, it's me, Alex. Oh, hey, how you doing? Long time no see. I do have a beard now, yes. It looks amazing. A few grey hairs as well. Yeah, same, same. But you know, I'm I'm dying my hair, so. Ah, <gasps> right. right. To, yeah, I'm cheating. I'm cheating. I'm embracing it for the most part. I think I'd make a good silver fox. So when you it do, happens, it happens. You do. You do. You do. Listen, I have a question. What's up? Um, I'm trying to rent a booth, but it doesn't work. You know why? Uh, it's because it's probably not available. The people can mm. rent out these booths for weeks at a time. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, so as long as they're still paying for it, it's still going. Damn. All right. Yeah. So I need to wait for He's them gonna... to like, end their like, membership. Pretty much, like... yeah. you, you got to just check back at that spot ever so often to see if anything's available. It doesn't gotcha, happen gotcha. often. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah. It's, uh, it's my... Is my it's my friend. Um, he owns that over there in the corner. Oh, the taco and, one. Uh, yeah, the taco one. And he said it would end today, like his his week. And then he, I would come here and try to, you know, oh. rent it. So um, I don't know. It probably be exactly at the time, so you just got to keep checking. Uh, like as soon as you can actually click on the rent a booth thing, that means it's available. But if you can't click on it, that means it's not available. Yeah, I'm trying to talk to the guy in there, and he's not letting me sign any rental paper. Yeah, I've got to be honest. I've been avoiding that one just because I, I, I'm, I don't like AI art, so I, I can't support them if oh. they're using it. Oh, they're using AI. I yeah. mean, look, if you look at the banners, same with Los Santos Pizza too. That, that's AI. Oh, yeah. Now when you say that. Hmm. Yeah, I can't support that. True. Well, maybe I need to, you know, do some ticks and yeah. tricks and, you know, 
I mean, the names are pretty uncreative too, though. You know, just Los Santos Tacos, Los Santos Pizza. He, he, more he told than that. me, he told yeah, me it's... the name would be El... not bitches. Um, it was El Putos. Oh right. Isn't that kind of the same? That? As, uh, yeah, yeah. He said it's El Putos. Huh. But yeah, yeah. Well, we we might need to think about the new name then. I'm sure you can go with something creative. I work at the uh, the Rise and Grind shop here. That's why I should just open it up. Ooh. Serve Rising. some good old coffee. Oh my god, it looks... Oh my god, that now? picture. Yeah, I'm opening up now. Oh, it, this is um, It's owned by Ash, so it's, it's very similar to the Uwu Cafe design-wise. Oh my the old god, Uwu food. bring back so many memories. Look at the... Oh my god, look at the banner. It is very cute. Oh, I'm so happy to see the prices have gone down a bit. Oh, were they more expensive before? I paid $75 for one coffee and 90 for another. I was like, please. Oh, right. You know, I, I only just work here. I don't control any of the managing. I'm just a simple barista. Well, can I please get a caramel latte? Caramel latte? Oh, no. Sure thing. With oat and milk, you've got that. And then can you add a latte on that order too, please? Just a regular latte? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Sure thing. Just so I can, you know, yeah, it sounds amazing, yeah. There we go. If you want to tap a card there, I'll get that started yeah. now. It's one caramel with oat milk and one regular. We'll get these started. Is this uh, just a boost to your day or just getting started with your day? Um, uh, I'm, I'm just getting started, going. but she's she's been around for a bit. Oh, right, okay. One morning boost, one midday boost. Exactly, exactly. Always good to have, though. So you've got a yep. bit of a day ahead of you. Yep, I'm, te I'm not teaching Scarlet, but I make her work on towing. Or like, oh, you know. I miss good money towing. Yeah, last You're time I saw Scarlet, she was... Last time I saw you, Scarlet, you were just a passenger princess. I mean, why do the work if someone else will do it for you? I mean, fair enough. But Free money at that point. We need to do it together, you know? I'll let me put the caramel syrup in here. There we go. Uh, do you want any sugars? I'm sorry? Any sugars or just the syrup? Um, yeah, I'll have a little bit of caramel syrup if you got it. Oh, uh, no, yeah, I've already put that in. Okay. Uh, no, then that's fine if it's sweetened. Sure thing. Alrighty, so here is the... Give me a second. That is... One caramel latte with oat milk. Here for you. you know, I actually had somebody one time get me uh, a caramel latte, but they didn't know that the, the caramel was already sweetened, so they got me sugars oh. as well. I mean, caramel is basically just sugar. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so that's just sugar on sugar. At that yeah, point, it, was, you know, it was a rough time because I had to drink it because I was like, oh, I got you this. I got, you know, your favorite order. I'm like, ah... Okay. It was a nice Aww. thought. Yeah. Even if it, you know, a bit of a crash from the sugar. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> sugar rush? A lot of water was drank after, we'll say that. Oh my yeah, God. It, understandably so. I mean, I'm sure it kept you awake. Yeah. There's like fresh awake and then like suffering awake. Like crash awake. Yeah, you can't get to sleep, but you're still awake. Yeah, but yeah, you yeah. feel like you want to go to sleep, but you just can't. It's like, it's like, my eyes are my 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 brain my brain is alive, you know, but my body is dead. Yeah, no, that's the exact feeling I get after sugar crashes. That's why yeah. I can't handle energy drinks. Coffee is oh, just yeah. my go-to. Morning coffee, then water for the rest of the day. I I I, I prefer Speaking of. tea, but if I ever get like some sort of coffee, is a latte because it's me. Majority. Hmm. Yeah. Latte's good. I mean, they did have a tea. You could have gotten a tea. Yeah, but I need the energy to hang out with you. Ah, yeah. The... Um... <laughs> well, you know, just to help with the towing as well, you've got to be focused on the road. Mm -hmm. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. Unless you're in the passenger seat. Uh... Being the passenger princess. No, today she's not a passenger princess. Oh, the driver. No, I'm making her, you know, 
see all the wrongly parked cars, impound them, or like send out a request, sign the paper. Oh, you're doing the heavy lifting. Yeah, doing the heavy lifting, changing wheels, you know, all that shit. I yeah. mean, I, I, it should be fine. Just got to be ready to do some, yeah, heavy lifting. Yep. Those wheels aren't a light. Good yeah, definitely good a good workout. workout. Then you good way to get some muscles. To the gym afterwards. You know? Are you saying I need to go to the gym, Alex? No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean by that? It's always good to go to the gym. I get enough of a workout going up ten flights of stairs every day. Why are you? Why do you have your apartment like so high up? I don't know. I always think I'm on the choice. top fucking floor. I mean, that's a good exercise. Floor. Good for the glutes. Exactly. Are you using? You can use the elevator. Um, I treat enough patients to know to never use the elevator. Yeah, best not to risk yeah. that. Like, um, I don't know if you guys remember Yaya. Um, um, yeah, yeah. I, he, I was on, on the phone with him. Also, FNX21, thanks to Prime Gaming. Sorry, sorry, then, it took me a bit to say that. But thank you. Appreciate the support, FNX. The phone, and then, and then this beautiful said, I'm the max falling. Modes. And then disconnected. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't... find I, him in the elevator. Yeah, I, I don't risk that anymore. The, the exercise is good. It's, it's nice not to fall down multiple flights. Exactly. Plus, I kind of like running into someone on the stairs, you know, if they <laughs> bother to stop and actually say hi. True, and listen, the stairs is a good workout for your, for your, for your ass. Yes, yeah, exactly. most men in the city need that. Yep. Actually, I yeah, think no. every man needs it. Yep. Our pants do nothing for us. Uh, I have big hands. Weirdly large hands. I would rather have a big ass than large hands. Likewise. Don't get much of a choice right. there. Yeah, it is what yeah, it is. You guys do have a bit of a low selection on on things. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's why Especially I usually go... Especially pants. The fabrics are awful. It's really yeah. not the best. Like, even the ones I'm wearing right now like weirdly spotty for some reason in certain lighting. Yes. I, it, it, it's mm -hmm. really bad. I, I don't like it. We have Hank Hill ass. The, the pants just don't really match the colors. It, it's why I usually go for suits. Suits is easy to design with. Suits? Yeah, suit. Yes. Compared to yes. uh, the rest of our fashion is either hoodies or just shirts. That's kind of it. Mm -hmm. Just regular shirts with like maybe a pattern on it. I'm happy. I'm a I'm a hoodie kind of gal, so I'm mm. I'm happy with the hoodies. I do like a good oversized hoodie. I, I do have one yes. look that has like an oversized sweater, but everyone doesn't recognize me when I'm wearing it. So this is my usual fit these days. Th actually, this is how I recognized you in the suit. <laughs> all, all is nicely dressed. Yeah, you know, try my best too. Even if it do look a little bit different than what I used to. I grow, I grow my hair back and I, I'm not using my hat anymore. Anyways. It's, it's whatever you're most comfortable in. Years. No, Nothing haven't. needing to be changed. Aw, thanks. Are you still doing the uh, taxi? I gave that up a little bit ago. Just unfortunately not much business in it anymore. Especially yeah. now with the Moses restock. People just, you know, oh, yeah. get their own cars. People use the mm -hmm. Weasel News vans as personal cars or the Bisons from up north. But I um, was really hoping that the taxi thing would be more um, I think. useful, yeah. you know? Yes, I think everyone's forgotten Goob was even a thing. Oh, yeah. I, I don't think anyone it, remembers Goober is even an app that we have. Sometimes, sometimes I do Goober while I'm doing some towing. I forgot that Goober was a thing. Rarely is it. Yeah, it, it's one of those things. It just isn't worth it anymore. I'd rather leave it for no. people that are more dedicated to it, like Abdul. Oh, yeah. Abdul, yeah. Let him get the customers since he is dedicated to it. I wish there was more of a... I guess a uh, incentive to be a five star Uber driver. Oh yeah, there's none, and it's so hard yeah. to keep it too. Those yeah. drivers are picky. Listen, all all my Uber customers they are getting so mad at me when I do a left turn. Yeah, yep, they, think left turn. The wrong, yeah they, they think you're going on the wrong. Yeah, they hate me. They think you're going on the wrong side of the road. Me. Even though 
is like green light for me. I have all the right to do my left turn. They are like so picky. They're like, oh, fuck you. You're doing a left turn. I don't it like that. It's dangerous. They still also only like you going the old speed limit to 35. Anything more than that and they dock mm -hmm. your stars. <sighs> it's painful. I'm much happier doing this work. Honestly, the taxi thing for me, I enjoyed it because of the social aspect. And I, I get that yeah. here too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And at the Liquid Library too, but uh, I just like calling anymore. you for a taxi because uh, you know you weren't someone who just would like pick us up, put us somewhere, and like speed the whole time and not talk. You know, I know the conversation was the main reason I did it. I I, I like having little conversations, even if it's just like you know learning what people are doing in their day, seeing how they're yes. doing. Yeah, I like that sort of stuff. That's why I do free tarot readings, just because I get to talk to people. Hmm. I mean, I don't even get paid for working here. I, I just like the whole social aspect. So I've heard. I don't, I don't know how people are making money at these booths because... Uh, <laughs> Not much. Yeah. Especially with the $1,000 a day that uh, the owner has to pay. I, I, that's the reason I'm not yeah. asking for payment because I'd rather it goes to keep the place open. If I want money, oh, yeah. I'll go do grime for a bit. Here, I'm just happy to have conversations. And, you know, it's uh, good to see people too. Exactly. It's like a meeting, meeting spot. Exactly. I think it'd be nice if it was like the old farmer's booths where you would get it wasn't a lot, but you would get something. But like paces, like a thousand there. an hour yeah. or something. A like thousand an up. hour? That's what doctors make. <laughs> well, that's how much senior moms oh, make. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's maybe like a thousand every two hours because then there's like two hours of work you pay for the booth for the day. How much is a booth? A thousand a day. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, and, and some days you can't open either, which is painful. Like, the machines just don't work. Today, oh. I think everyone's gotten lucky. Whether or not it's fixed or not is another thing. Have to kind of wait and see. But at least it's working today. Interesting. Hmm. But I very much yeah. like working here. I Drinks are kind of my specialty. Do you miss the liquid library? Not anymore, unfortunately. State didn't want me to run it anymore. Aww. Yeah, they denied my business proposal because I was the CEO. Scarlet, let him know why your roosters closed down. That's what? not important. Wait, why do roosters close down? Yeah, Scarlet, why? Okay, your roosters didn't close down because of that, first off. It did. It was no, it because didn't. of that. Tell, 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 tell him your side that's, of that's the really story. That's really not important. I would love for you to tell your side of the I story and would. then... And then I can add on top of that. I don't think he's interested. I mean, I'm curious. Yeah, exactly, he's uh, curious. Pretty much every building went away when the exactly. economy collapsed, except for the liquid was, library. And Rooster's stress was kind of the heart in that, you know? Well, Rooster's closed because Dewey, you know, moved away and closed it. But oh, God, I haven't Dewey seen it. Dewey didn't do that. Yeah, why are you did. lying to? Why are you lying? The building got, you know, slightly uh, hey guys. unusable. Uh, no. and why was that, Scarlet? And why was that? Why? Yeah, it why? wasn't my fault. It was. It was not. Okay, Max. This is what happened. But that's not what happened. I can already tell you it's not what happened. Let's hear it. So Scarlet noticed a rat in the room. It wasn't a rat. It was kitchen. a little tiny mouse. Anyway, Nothing it was a tiny mouse. mouse, rat, whatever. Instead of like, you know, get rid of it, she fed it. Okay, first off, I took it away from roosters and I fed it. Right, right. She fed See, it with a ramen we had right. inside the kitchen. And then that little mouse called all his cousins, his siblings, his relatives, all, all that kind of shit. I don't know how many... Mouses, Mises, rats, we, they just took over. And then we needed to cl close down because of a rat invasion. And it was all, it started with you, Scarlet, to, to feed that rat, mouse. Baby rat. Isn't there like a story about that? You give a mouse a cookie? Yeah, and she did. I mean, if it's a mouse, mice are cute. I, I exactly. I'm not gonna kill 
I'm not gonna kill a living creature just because it was wandering through the wrong place. I took it up into Vinewood Hills and I gave it a little bit of a snack and it's on its way. She, you, you gave him is good you gave intentions. That, you gave that rat mouse mice the ramen. Of course, he would know it would come back to the rest. I mean, it's delicious food. It, yes, but the ramen and like the tea. Yep. Well, That's I, how Rooster's rest closed. I mean, it was with good intentions. <sighs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. Oh, but, easy. but, you want yeah. Two of those? You but know still. that I don't kill things, Alex. Hmm. I have seen you run over multiple rabbits. That is not true. That is so true. That is not true. I have seen you run over... Rabbits, the left and right, some deer, some cows. No. That's not true. Well, rabbits are done stem. Cows, you can't have to go out your way to kill. I, I don't think... I can't recall any time that I've ever hit a cow with your arms. <laughs> We're all coaties. There's always coaties running in the middle of the highway. Yep. Yeah. Yes. I don't think anyone but, can be blamed um, for that. I do like the cross, like right after that, those um, those ramps, it's a bit easier to look out for them there. What? You know the on and off ramps. I thought you said rams, like in goats or like. I don't know ramps. Are you? What do you mean? Are you They're taking like the, cross the off ramps? There. Either way, I, I don't think you can be blamed. I would have done the same with a mouse. Even a rat. We used to have a rat inside the liquid library. They're called Rathew. It's kind of cute. Yeah. It's Matthew, but Rathew. Yeah. They had a little, like, hole in the wall and everything. Oh, that's cute. That is actually cute. Yeah. Now the liquid library has a room of death. Three, four, Which room is the room of death? Oh, it's the room with all the taxidermy? Oh, yeah, that, that's been there for a bit. The pigeon, yeah, the yeah. crow, the ass of the cat, you half a pug. Ace Ventura? Haven't, no. Ah, well, in the second one, he goes uh, into this guy's house, and he's got a room full of, you know, taxidermy. And he looks around, and he's like, this is a lovely room of death. Just a little bit of death. I mean, we have a fight but, cage you know, in there now, too. In the liquid like, library. um... He's all about animals too, so he's you know not not a fan of the. Ah, yeah, that's the whole reason we had to keep Tessa away from the area when we did a tour for her once. Yeah. Isn't mine, you know? It's, that was Sissy's stuff, not mine. Boom! There you go. You can go ahead and play. Just give me a sec. You know, hopefully someday the roosters returns. It was a beautiful building. It was. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the billboard yeah. is still there. I think it, it is. is. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, the building's still there. It's just you can't go inside. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. I mean, if the liquid library survive, who says that the, the, the roosters can't come back? Same with Uwu. True. I don't think we need burger shot, though. Yeah, burger shot's fine being gone. Yeah. Place wouldn't he be the same without Shelly anyway. Hey Sam. Anyways, are we are we gonna continue do towing, Scarlet? Yeah, yes. Yes. Yeah. Best of luck. Enjoy the uh, the you. hard work and the heavy lifting. Yep. All right. Well, enjoy it. So I'm much. sure you'll be fine. Yep. You will be fine. And if you need another coffee, let me know. Of course. Okay. Of course. Well, it was good to see you, Max. It was good to see you both. Hope you both have a lovely yeah. rest of your day. You, you too. too. Stay Bye. safe, all right? Farewell. Oh, my Bye. God. Ah. Ooh, already getting down to business. Sorry, I was just so excited to get back to work. Who doesn't love working? Making some good money. <laughs> 
Ah, it feels on. good to be social and Max again. Okay. I, I think it's the fact that everyone still thinks I do taxi work makes me realize I really haven't been social on Max for like a good few months now. Because I genuinely haven't done taxi yeah, for like so two months now. Wow. Everyone still thinks I do it. <laughs> She said, Dr. Max, can you believe it? I mean, know to heal the pain, know how to deal it out as well. I think this is how, how she gets customers or like. Yeah, it patients. makes business. Yeah, this is how <laughs> she makes business. I'm oh sure you'll God. be fine. Ouch. I love seeing Ray when Max and Ray hang out. It's always fun. I think it's what I, I do like about where Max is at the moment is we have a lot of people that we do hang out with, but this is also like, you know, a nice place for Max to consistently be outside of that too. Nice mix of both. Back in the day, Max pretty much only had this sort of work and that's kind of it. But now he has his corals. And he couldn't be happier. But it is good to be able to see people again. Now, the Max generally is a social butterfly. In the sense that, like, he knows a lot of people and can talk to people. Again, going up to random people and talking to them on the street is a different sort of, like, social butterfly. But for Max, he can really talk to anyone for hours if needs be. And it's just nice to see how people are doing, hey, too. Oh, hey, hey. How's it going? Hope all is well. Ah, it's going good, going good. How about yourself? All good, man. Just wanted to pass on a uh, neighborly six inch for you just to try it out. Oh. Let us know what you think. And uh, maybe, you. Uh, you know, I, I know you guys uh, make some incredible coffee here. I had some that I just, you know, want to, want to pass it on. Ah, well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Well, you have a good day. You as well. Nice. Do they have their branding on there? <laughs> Who the hell brands a tortilla? Who does that? Oh, fair enough. This isn't a rat. Ah, nice. Very filling. Sorry, tortilla. Sorry. Listen, the British in me came out, all right? Oh, I love a good chicken Caesar wrap. That, that used to be my go-to to grab from the corner store by me when I was working. It's always so nice. But no, I, I do enjoy this work on Max. I really do hope that the bug that they had before where you can open up the shops is fixed. Because this is my go-to, like... Backup job when not much else is going on at the moment. Who are you suing? So hopefully it can be a bit more consistent. It would be good if we can get paid here at some point too, because that way I can like, you know, actually progress a little bit on max money wise. But I do enough G6 like off stream that it's okay. I can kind of balance the two. G6 from, not G6, Grime. Sorry, Grime, not G6. Grime for money, this for social. Good balance between the two. Honestly, if this pays and paid decently, I probably would just get rid of uh, Grime altogether and just go if people need to go. Rather make it a regular thing. I, believe you. And I, I, I love the relationship that Max and Ray have developed. That's honestly something that wouldn't have happened if not for the girl's house. I think initially Ray thought that Max was just trying to like get together with April. 
I think that's what she mentioned the first time I met her with April. But I really am happy with how the relationship has kind of developed over the last couple of months. She's generally one of Max's best friends now. Like April and her are definitely like top of the list best friends. Both people that Max enjoys hanging out with and feels like they enjoy hanging out with him too. And also both people that check in on Max too. They know if he's, you know, having like nice conversations with him. Even a bit sad conversations if needs be too. I think a few people had that assumption because I, I think Rami thought the same too. Or, you know, only saw Max as like a new Lucas as a lot of people said. I think a lot of people may still see him as that. Max is his own character. And he generally has no interest in April in that way. I mean, he doesn't really have that interest in many people, really. Happy just having friends. And relationship RP, relationship RP is cringe. For me, if I was getting a relationship with RP with Max, it'd have to be like someone specific that I could like trust in a way. Because the way that I like to do relationship RP is we don't do any sort of like the dating or anything in character. What we do is just give each other to power game, the permission to power game each other. And by that I mean like, you know, we both make up dates that they've been on but and both have to roll with it. Like, they, we basically make up what Max and the other person would do out of character. If that makes sense. I don't know if I'm explaining it right. Basically, just give each other permission to power game each other with the understanding the other person will roll with it no matter what. I think it's more fun that way. And at that point, it becomes like a game of griefing each other, which is always fun. And also in terms of relationships, I, I think the relationships that would work best with Max is more people that are like, not like identical to Max, more like a bit more opposite to Max in ways. I think that's what makes it, would make a relationship more fun, is that that sort of dynamic. Hence why, you know, Jaeger is the ultimate ship for Max. The ultimate pairing, the end game, Max and Jaeger. Angel blood. Yeah, exactly. I mean, at the end of the day, relationship RP is a very, very difficult thing to traverse. I think everyone kind of understands that. It's why most people avoid it too. It is a very difficult thing to traverse. It is very much like <laughs> walking through a land landmine field in some ways. If you make it too, too serious, then it becomes like a bit of an issue at times. It's a lot more fun to keep it more lighthearted. Like, kind of like what Ray and Shadi are doing, you know? Like, they do have their serious moments, but for the most part, it is a lot more lighthearted. I think that is generally one of the better ways to do relationship RP. Not saying that the other way is bad. It's just more so like what I would like for myself. What I think would be better to do. I think with April's relationship RP is kind of funny too. Like in terms that she is a relationship, but she is also still very much April. Hmm. Kitty and Octo are definitely a good example of like more long-term serious RP. Done well. Minus the gamer chair incident. See, the Jaeger and Max thing works really well as well, just because, like, the parallels between the two as well. You know, Demon and Angel. It, it writes itself, you know. The AO3 page writes itself. No, not everyone in those pixel streamers, but a good majority of them are. But not everyone is. Some people prefer not to stream.
not everyone's really in the business for streaming, you know? They just want to have fun on the RP server. Anyone can join, but you got to get whitelisted. you got to submit an application for the whitelist. That's the way that it works. I will say that I think that's one of the cool things about NoPixel, though, is that how many streamers are on it, because you can, like, see every story from every angle. It's a very unique way to digest the media. I think it's cool anyway. You can see the butterfly effect in, like, real time. You can see how, like, you know, maybe one thing will spiral onto a huge thing. I mean, hell, think about the whole situation between between Ray and Shaddy. How that all developed. That is very much a butterfly effect situation that you could see from every angle. Starting with the whole thing of Ray just throwing away her ID. I think that sort of thing is what makes RP cool. She must have it easier to get whitelisted for the most part. Yeah, it's not always guaranteed, though. Plus, even if you do get whitelisted, you've got to get through the queue, too. And that is difficult. The, the queue is painful. I'm thankful in the fact that I don't have to worry about the queue anymore. I am very thankful of that. But it is definitely suffering at times. I did have to suffer through a good year plus of being in that queue. new to RP. I mean, it's always good to do a little bit of practice in other servers. I always recommend whitelisted servers just because the... Because it's a good way to kind of learn. And also, RP whitelisted servers typically be a bit more serious for RP than just, like, going around shooting everyone. Which is what a lot of public servers kind of become. More GTA Online than anything else. Let's see, when's the last time we twatted? Rise and grind. Eight minutes ago, that's fine. We're still in the other pages. Yep, all good. I'm very interested to see how the Chani and Ray relationship goes. It seems very chaotic. Way through could just crash after 10 minutes. Well, the thing is that there is crash priority is the thing. I think there's like a 10 minute grace period of crashing. Like if I was to disconnect right now, I'd be able to instantly get back in for the next 10 minutes. After that, I'd be back in queue. Just because, you know, you, you got to remember that, that this is a mod of a mod, if you think about it, of a 10-year-old game. Like, 5M is a mod of GTA, and if you think about it, No Pixel is a mod of 5M. It's duct tape on duct tape. It's never going to be perfect. It's amazing that it works the way that it does, you know? It's genuinely amazing that 5M works the way that it does, considering what this was in the base to begin with. This was never meant to be the way that GTA 5 was meant to be used. But it is, and it's really cool. With, with the understanding that, you know, scuff is going to happen. Stay with the binoculars. I just heard noises outside and I just wanted to see what was going on. Then I left and I saw there was an Embrace 2 going on. I still regret showing that to April. I feel like the usage of that emote in the city has become like... Increased tenfold since April learned about it. Max may have been patient zero, but it's April's the one that spread it. I I'm just happy that April gets punished for it ever so often. Being banished to the void. At least she faces some consequences for her hubris. Hey, Ashley. Yeah, so I'm just kind of chilling here today, I think. Don't have many other plans on Max unless things come up. I'm still debating about the weed stuff. 
as I said at the beginning of the stream, I feel like it's kind of too soon for Max to jump into selling weed. Considering, like, the whole action of the weed stuff. Like, moonshine is one thing, you know, leaving the moonshine at someone's door than leaving. With weed, you have to hand it to the locals directly and end up stabbing most of them. I feel like that's too much for Max right now. He's not kind of to the local killing side just yet. Yeah, it just doesn't feel right for him to be a seller right now with where he is. The, the production side definitely suits Max a lot better. But I don't know how much people really need that right now. Which you normally do for the most part like i've been doing a lot of the coffee shop stuff lately just because i enjoy doing this sort of stuff but i've been trying to get more into the criminal side like i was doing some stuff in the sewers previously getting some moonshine going the main issue that i have with that right now is the whole sewer element i hate the fact that i have to spend like an hour or two a day in the sewers to keep acclimated and i spend two days out of the sewers and i'm pretty much fully unacclimated now yeah, effectively, I'm fully unacclimated now. So if I go down there, I'm going to start getting hurt. And I don't think I want to just spend, like, hours down there again trying to regain that. Yeah, I think if I was to get back in the moonshine, I need to pay someone for the supplies. But that's if I even want to get back into it. I feel like I've kind of missed the rush of the moonshine. Everyone's kind of moved on to weed for the most part now. Our sales have been pretty decent at the coffee shop. We, we've had a lot of conversations with people today. Been seeing a lot of different faces. A lot of people that Max has known in the past too. It's also a lot of people that thought that Max still did taxi work, which goes to show the fact that Max hasn't been that social lately. It's why he kind of needs this stuff. See, the money laundering and money washing stuff I think suits Max pretty well. Financial crimes, I think, suits Max pretty well. Like, the more behind-the-scenes stuff. The actual, like, being out there active sort of stuff, I'm not sure if really suits Max all too, too well. Of the huge Cogus washing machines? I wish they were better. Like, one huge washing machine is equal to two of the smaller ones, effectively. It's really not that good. I gotta be honest. The other reason they were being priced so high initially was because of how rare they were. They weren't actually worth that much. I mean, it kind of depends on the server that you go for, Cuddles. But obviously, no pixels are a little hard to get into just because of the fact that the quantity of people trying to get in. I recommend going for maybe like a little bit of a less pop like less populated one to begin with, just to kind of like get a feel of it. But I do recommend going for whitelisted. And most of the time, they are pretty understanding people that are new. Ultimately, it's kind of down to the people that you end up meeting. Like for instance, I'm a lot more lenient and like careful with people that are new. Like I I, I enjoy helping out people that are new. Like September, for instance, like teaching them the ropes with the understanding that like hey. They're new. They're going to take some time to learn everything. And sometimes you've got to go like a little bit OOC to help them sometimes. Most people are understanding. What about money cleaning business like Fanny and Dundee? For that, you need like a huge operation. And also, I'm pretty sure those two have like a very strong hold. Like, they will rob other people that try and do the same thing. So I'm not sure if it's worth the headache. Because that's the only thing that I don't like about the money stuff is the whole end part of it. Like, getting the wash money turned into cash, I I don't see Max doing that. But you could easily task other people to do it. But I have definitely thought of it. It's whether or not we want to do an operation like that. Because we need to be really dedicated to it. Yeah, same here, Ash. I wish, like, you, you know this little set of benches in front of us here? I wish that was gone and there was just, like, seats and tables there instead. The benches don't really have the same sort of effect to them. I also wish that we had food, too. <laughs> That'd be kind of nice. 
Do not pay with cash. Pay with cash where? Hmm. I suppose there isn't a proper laundromat. Well, the thing is, you don't need... The thing is, if you start a laundromat business, you're technically bringing more attention to yourself otherwise. Because PD is going to know, yeah, that person is cleaning money. It's the same thing like people twatting out, oh, I'm buying dirty laundry. They know what you're saying. They, they know what that means. PD aren't stupid. It's like twatting out saying, I'm buying A-plus homework. They know you're just buying boosts. So I think it's certainly more dangerous to actually start up a proper laundry business. But I do love the idea of it. But it'd be, starting up a laundry business would be for the RP of it more so than the practicality of it, if that makes sense. Like, you'd start up a laundry, like an actual laundry mat business for the RP of cleaning the money more so than the practicality. Like, it's more practical to just do it in your own house under the guise of just, it's your house. Max of Barton if bars were open? Maybe? It depends on the location. Like, the benefit of this coffee shop here is that we're at Senior Buns, so we get, just get regular foot traffic. Foot traffic is the hardest part of running a business, especially a business like this. You know, I do love the idea of actually starting, starting up an actual laundromat. I think that would be cool. But again, everyone would know what you're doing. You're broadcasting to the world, I clean money. Hey, you got dirty cash? Bring it to me. Because what I was thinking initially is like... They're doing this whole disguise system, like basically a maid and butler service is what I was thinking of starting. Hello? And getting vans that we go to people's house with to go pick it up. I have a question. Who's going to give us the most amount of food with the least amount of money? I, okay. I look at the sign. Look at the sign. 40% off for PD and EMS. I already support everything you guys do. Okay. I don't want their Is business if they're I'm saying, saying stuff like that. Do I hear 41? Do I hear 41? Anybody got 41? I ain't fine with people's business. Anybody got 41% off? Looking for 41. What's the current businesses that are available in no pixel? Basically none. He's got really good prices, but on my price are already so low, I can't give you guys a discount because look how cheap everything is. Try the cheese smoothie. You stop trying to get more racks? There's just no point in getting more racks right now. We all order for one place. Yeah, there's no point of us improving the computer system just because people aren't going to use it. There's no real point in increasing it. I think we should get rid of the computers in general, to be honest. There is a test I want to do that I want to talk to Timothy about. I'm curious if the computers add to the heat of the house or not. Because that would kind of make sense, right? Like, you know, the mining rack and the computer. I wonder if that adds to the heating of the house. And therefore, like, reducing the efficiency of our laundry machines. I wonder if that has an effect or not. Because computers do get hot, you know. They do generate heat. Oh my god. Oh my god, yes. Let me get three cappuccinos, please. Three cappuccinos? You've three, got it. Three cappuccinos, and let me get a sweet milk tea. Do you have any mm. camel milk? Can you put some camel milk in that sweet milk tea? Camel milk? Ah. Uh, no, 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 not camel milk. Camel milk. Um... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I can put some like in that. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Rather than the sugar. Yes. And just grind it up for me if you don't mind in the tea. And yeah, other than that, do that. that will be phenomenal. All right. So three cappuccinos and sweet milk tea. Was any milk that you wanted in particular? Dairy, skimmed, oat, almond, walnut, fingal. Oh, my God. I'm what late for work. Adam, I'm sorry. I'm here. It was in my blind spot. Sorry. Right. I, I got to turn around. Bed. Yeah. But there what? you go. If you want to just tap a card you, there, I'll get that started for you. Oh, that's a... oh, oh. There we go. You said you want to grind it in? Yes, please. Yes, yeah, please. sure thing.
I do. Okay. Oh. Oh, give me a second. Could get some fresh beans out here for the rest of it. Oh, there I smell go. it. Oh my god, there's nothing better than fresh ground coffee, man. Holy, oh, definitely not. A good way to start the day, that's for sure. Are you I just starting your shift at the moment? Uh, well, you know, I'll do it a little bit, but I didn't get my coffee yet because our coffee ah. machine at the station it's not like this. We had Ooh, an yes. espresso machine like this, but I got stolen. It got stolen. Who would steal an espresso man, machine? Man. You know who stole it? The guy. The, uh, I shouldn't bring you in on the drama, but it's a DOJ. They stole a copy machine. Oh, God. Some uh, bullshit. Some bullshit. Hey, DOJ ooh. likes to do that, that's for sure. Can I put in a request? Oh, what's up? Can you guys get some uh, Turkish coffee down here? If you can ooh. get your hands on some Turkish coffee beans, and then, listen, I'll be down here all day, every day. Okay? I could definitely look into it. Please. Please. You will have me and a whole lot of customers. Brand Turkish new customers. Turkish coffee. We've been looking for Turkish coffee. It's type of bean, right? It is, but the thing about it is, it's like a, it's like an espresso, right? You don't need too much of it because it's, oh, oh, that shit is crazy. It really kicks quite a bit. Oh yeah, oh Ooh. yeah. Uh, do you want any uh, extra sugar in the cappuccinos? No, 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 no sugar, no, no. please. Nope, no, sure sugar. thing, just as it is. Yeah. Just All as right. it is. I like it there, uh, sweet as it is. You know. Oh, that's understandable. I always find the sweetness kind of overpowers the caffeine sometimes. So I, I try not to make it be, too, right? you know, too, too sweet. Just the occasional but when, Yeah, But when it comes to the tea, hey, I'll oh, yeah. drink the tea all day. Thank you so Give much. Give you that hey. nice little boost. Well, oh, I hope yeah. the rest of your shift goes well. Grind. I'll make sure to look into the coffee for you. Please, the Turkish. Please, if you get your hands, let me know. Oh, will do. Have a lovely rest of your day. Yeah. I think I made one too many. That's fine. Little coffee booster for Max. At some point. Leave it down here for now. There we go. Easy peasy. I think we sold like close to 50 cups of coffee today. That ain't bad. Let's see. So 25. How much have I sold so far? So I've sold 30 plus 12. 42? I've sold 42 cups so far today. 42 times 40. We've made roughly about 1.6k for the company so far. Nice. Haven't talked to Ash too much. I actually haven't seen Ash since I initially got hired on. I'm just happy running this place, you know. I'm pretty much the only worker here. But to be honest, I kind of like that in a way. Like, you don't need... A, you don't really need two baristas here. You can do everything just kind of with one. I feel like it makes it a little bit more personal too, you know. And, and I like having those conversations. With the customers that are a bit more on like one on one. Now, if I was to start my own coffee business, I'd pretty much be the only employee. I'd have not really too much of an interest in hiring more people on. If Ash wants to do that, that's fine. But for me personally, I don't know. I think I just like, I, I work better this way. Yes, yeah, so I definitely need to test that out with the house then. Maybe remove the GPU rack and computers and see if that makes an effect. Because I'm pretty sure we can get to 100% efficiency. At the moment, we're only 80%. And the more money we can get clean, the better. Hey. Hello there. Can I, uh, can I get a cappuccino? Cappuccino? Sure thing. What milk would you like in it? Uh, we do uh, half and half. Half and half? Uh, yep, yeah, sure thing. There you go. Want we'll to just tap the card there? I'll get that started for you. Is this the start of your day coffee or middle of the day coffee? Start of my day. This is the start. Oh, right. Nice little boost for you. You got like those little, uh, little Italian, little, little cappuccino cups, little espresso cup. The espresso cup? Oh, we do have the espresso cups, but I don't, I'm not sure if a cappuccino would really fit in there. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. B bit too oh, small for that. Yeah, it's fine. For the most part, most of it's takeout cups, just because we don't have much of a seating area. I, I kind of wish that we did. But unfortunately, we only really have the go-away cups for the most part. Yeah, you should do that as a, like a special, like, limited edition deal. Sell some, uh, some, your branded cups or something, you know? See, that'd be quite nice. Spread the brand out there. Exactly, exactly. Did you want any sugar in this? 
Oh, nah, nah, nah. No sugar? Sure thing. And here you go. That is one cappuccino right there for you. I hope that you enjoy. You know if any other uh, the booths are open around here? I'm looking to pick one up. Um, so unfortunately it's first come first serve and it depends how long yeah. they're paying for the rent. It's a thousand dollars a day and it goes on as long as they pay for it. That's what gets me. Like, I, I don't know when we, the uh, when the lease is done, you know? So it's kind of like a by luck situation. Yeah, when these first come available, there's people sitting in there with like knives and wrenches to try and like wait for them to come available. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I think once people find out you don't get paid doing this, they, they kind of stopped. Oh, you don't get paid? Don't get paid, no. Yeah, if you're just in, doing this out of community. Pretty much, yeah. It's more of a social thing for me. I like having the conversation. I if one money, I'll go do some grime. Right. Well, all right. I'll let you uh, pick up that phone call. That's all, all good. Right. I hope that you enjoy your coffee. No problem. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Have a lovely rest of your day. Oh, busy now. I'm not replacing you. Yeah, I hope that I'm making Ash some money with this. I, I really hope that she keeps with it, to be honest. I do enjoy working at this place, but I'd also understand that you know, it's not the most, most money. I'm replacing you? Oh, let me make sure to clear that. I do hope that maybe we get... I, I understand why they probably don't want to give people pay slips to work in these places, but I kind of wish that you got, like, something. Maybe it's like every sale that you did, you get a pay slip. That would kind of stop the whole thing of people just sitting in here grinding money without anyone noticing. Mr. Angel? Oh, I realized, hello again. Um, I, never, I never gave you the tape. I know we've talked about the podcast a couple of times, but this is uh, episode 10. Oh, if you, nice. Uh, if you want to check it out, it's with Solomon Walker. Oh, yes, he's uh, running for mayor, right? Is he about is. Stuff like that? He is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, if um, I, I know you had some things in the pipeline as well. If you ever want to, you know, discuss what you got going on on the podcast, just let me know. Oh, we'll do. We'll book it in and 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 do an episode like that. I'm happy to hear that it's been going good. Yeah, yeah, it's been going very well. It's been very, you know, episode 10, 10 weeks. It's uh, it's a hefty. Uh, That's good dedication. Time. Thank you very. Oh, there's a there's a customer right here. Oh yeah, it's a good, good, good. Yeah, part of every sale. I mean, the thing is, we could ash, ask Ash for payment. It's just, I'd rather that she puts money towards the place than anything else. And maybe down the line, she'll pay us some money. No, I need you. You need to manage a new employee. Charge themselves $1 sales, but that'll be easy to keep track of, I think. Oh. Hello there. Could I get what's up, man? Could I get mm, one sweet tea and one, sweet one tea. latte? And one latte. Any particular milk or just dairy? No, just any dairy. Dairy? Sure thing. If you just want to tap a card there. Is this a start of your day coffee or midday coffee? Or end of your day oh, coffee? coffee ah, nice little boost for you. There we go. Oh, many plans for the day ahead. Let's see. Play by ear. Let's hmm. play by ear. Yeah. Go with the flow. I feel you there. Yeah, I never like to make a plan because they always fall through. You know, Los Santos. Yeah, you never really know what goes on. The city moves a mile a minute. You're not wrong. Yeah, nothing wrong going with the flow. Usually I just kind of work here till something else appears. Shop going in there. Yeah, it's quite nice. I, I I enjoy doing this sort of work. It isn't really much money, but it, it's good social. Good to socialize. Oh, yeah. There we go. If I want money, I'll just go do grind for the most part. But hopefully we do get paid here at some point. There you go. There's one sweet milk tea and one latte. Right there for you. Ooh, and thank you for the tip. Thank you. Thank you. Probably back around. Thank you so much, man. Ah, no worries. Have a lovely rest of your day. It's a word. Maybe it's too and also, I can't like adjust how much is on here. 
Like, I can't choose the price. I just, like, select it. It's so, like, here, I'd be spending so much money if I tried to grind out the pay slips. It just wouldn't make sense. At that point, it's at the trust of the owner as well. Hopefully, maybe they make some changes in the future. And then just, you know, if people do abuse that, you know, maybe those people just get removed from this system. Does the owner make all those changes? Pretty much, yeah. The, the owner is the one that adjusts the price and adjusts the, like, what's available on the menu. I can't do any of that. Also means that if people complain about the price, I don't have to do anything. I just say, not my option, not my choice. Not many people complain about the price, though, which is nice. I honestly thought there'd be a lot more people, because it's like $40 for a drink here compared to like $12 over there. Hey, OMC. We probably could get some containers, but I don't really know what we'd use containers for. Maybe like coffee cup holders or something? Maybe that's what it could be used for? I do like the goopy meal box. Can I put like lockpicks in there? Damn it, I can't. Business has been pretty decent today. We've sold roughly about 42 cups of coffee. Sure. I do like the amount of people that just kind of chill here and talk to Max too. Welcome to Burger by the Ocean. What can I get for you? They don't have that nice little conversation when we're serving people coffee, but there is people that get the coffee and then just sit here for a bit and talk to us. I like that. There you go. You can go ahead and, and pay for it. Max is a social butterfly. And it also, again, like I said, it shows how much of, like, how isolated Max has been for the most part over the last couple months. Because most people that we see think that we still do taxi work. We haven't done any taxi work for, like, two months at this point. There you go. Just kind of goes to show that Max hasn't really been out and about town much. No problem. Thanks for coming, Burger by the Ocean. Don't worry, sir. EMS going to come. Oh, it's nice to be able to socialize, man. You know, just see the things happening in the city. I feel like this is the closest thing the city has to a hub right now. The senior buns area. The only thing that could be improved right now for us is if we could serve food. We'd get so much many more customers if we could serve food. But at the moment, all that we serve it is the coffee, the drink. And technically, the other stalls can also serve drinks. It'd be kind of nice if it was one or the other. Kind of drive business to more of the different stalls. I mean, alternatively, what we could do is we could make a deal with another restaurant to, like, get the pastries and stuff. Like, you know, maybe we make a deal with Burger by the Ocean to get us, like, some muffins that we can sell. I'm curious, because as far as I understand, these places only have mains, sides, and drinks. Whereas before, they used to be main sized desserts and drinks. So I wonder, maybe if desserts become an option, we'd get that. Because that would kind of make sense. I wouldn't want to get main meals. I would be happy just to get sides. Like, just something that we could serve people food-wise. Also, hold on, we need to do the dishes. I forget this is the thing that i got to do because we don't even, like, use dishes. But they pile up here and I don't really know what they do. They do pile up, though. You're a hero. There we go. Wash dishes. Oh, no, you, not me. It's very much a plate up situation here. <laughs> Boom. I, I, I said, I said. Hopefully, it's something that we can get in the future, though. The desserts. 
From what I've been told, the, the place next to us didn't use to have drinks until they asked the mayor for it. So maybe that's all that we got to do. What can I get for you? Um. Was edibles? I don't think edibles were ever a thing, but we, we like legal weed shops definitely were. I know a lot of people were trying to get edibles, but it never really got anything. This very cozy vibe. I like the cozy vibe that we have here. I know that we are kind of spending a lot of time just kind of in one spot. But this is generally the sort of work that I like doing. It's the sort of work that I think really suits Max. It is nice that we definitely have more options of what to do on Max these days, though. Today probably will be mainly this, just because I am a little bit cooked. But I really love having jobs like this that I can just fall back on Max when nothing else is going on. Then, like, when people wake up, maybe they get in some stuff and we go with them. But otherwise, we can just chill here. See the city and see how it all goes. But like, even though Max is going more down a criminal path, it doesn't mean that he has to, for, like, he has to just get rid of being a civilian altogether. He can still do civilian stuff and be a criminal for the most part. Boom, boom. Still just got to decide which route I'm going to go down. See, I think this sort of job would pair really well for something more low-key. Like, you know, the money laundering, like the, um, you know, maybe growing of weed. I just don't see Max pushing right now. I love that he's got the offer to do it, but I just feel like it doesn't make sense for him right now to do that. If pushing was maybe a bit more, like, less violent, maybe. But it, I think it's just too violent for Max. You get that? That's your number? Pretty risky, too. Yeah, eyes. definitely a cozy day job. Also, I'm so much looking forward to tomorrow. I can't wait till my new chair gets here. It's going to make such a difference. So much TV right now. Once you've <laughs> sat in a Herman Miller, you realize how uncomfortable every other office chair is. I always thought the people were overplaying it, but they really weren't. There's a reason it gets recommended as, like, the best one. Also, my god, we have so many dishes. Not sponsored, by the way. Yeah, I purchased one yesterday. It's the reason why I'm a bit cooked today is because I woke up at 10 a.m. yesterday to go shopping for one. Or, you know, to try one out before I purchased one. It's, but that's the reason why I'm cooked today. It's because I had to, I woke up like four hours earlier than I usually do yesterday. Got so many goddamn dishes. Would you like cheese fries? Would you like a cheese smoothie? Almost got through it all. Keep washing the dishes. I'm, I will be sad if Ash ever does lose this spot. Because I'm actually really starting to love this job. Yeah, good chair really is important. The, the way It is a bit of money, but the way that I see it is that it's an investment for the future. I'm going to have that chair for years. And I spend a lot of time at my desk, so I need a good chair. I need to start thinking about my back as I get older. I probably could have found an equivalent to Herman Miller a bit cheaper as well. But the way that I see it is that I won't start thinking like, oh, I could have gotten something better. I, I got something that is like the top of its business. And it's got a good warranty on it too. So I, I'm set for like, like I said, 12 years. I'm good. It'll be nice. It's coming fully assembled too, which is even better. It's going to be so nice, though. Nice. I'm hoping that I can start, like, fixing my posture a bit better. I think I've been shrimping too much lately. Shrimping is too easy. The painful thing about my chair as well at the moment is that it tilts back, like, really, really far. And I also, like, slide a little bit forward. So I start, like, that's when I start shrimping is when I start sliding forward without even noticing. Okay. That's when the shrimping begins. Let's see, when was the last time we twatted out? Grind. 41 minutes ago. Let's put another twat out. 
do. So I've been helping your posture. I, I don't have it just yet. It, it's coming tomorrow. It probably wouldn't help the most with posture. But it's a good step in the right direction, you know? It's going to help me better than what I've got right now. I think the chair that I've got right now makes me slouch more, if that makes sense. Yeah, I do need to get in a better habit of standing up and stretching. Hi. I've been consciously trying to fix my posture a bit more. I will say the chair that I've got right now is a bit of a pain, though. As I said, it leans back a lot. So even if I want to like, sit up straight, it kind of like makes me feel a bit weird. I was considering getting a standing table, but I heard that the standing tables aren't really that much better. So for now, we're going to get the chair and see how that goes. I'm doing a lot more rowing as well. Like I've got a rowing machine, and that, I think that's been helping me out a bit more with my posture too. Trying to get into a good habit with that. Trying my best not to shrimp too much. It's too easy to shrimp. I've spent my life shrimping. It takes a while to get out of it. Things seem to be a bit quiet in here right now. I think everyone's out there doing jobs right now. Once it hits night time, it usually starts to pick up a bit more in here. Hmm, all just sitting down too long. Yeah, exactly. It's all about habits, you know? Just improving your habits helps out with stuff like that. Definitely maybe needs to learn some good stretches. Take more like, you know, little breaks. It's always difficult taking little breaks during streaming. I think every streamer kind of struggles with that for the most part. No real lunch breaks when it comes to streaming. I can't just dip for an hour, you know? Just how it is. But like maybe a little stretch here and there won't hurt. Especially when things are more quiet like this. We need, we need a streamer union where we're allowed one hour lunch break. But everyone has to take the lunch break at the exact same time. No matter what time of day it is. The union mandated lunch break. It's nice to see a lot of these stores more open. I generally do think it's because of the glitch that's been happening is why most of these places haven't been open too much. I hope, the fact that all of them are open today, I'm hoping that that bug has been fixed. I'm hoping it has. We'll see though. If all of them are open again tomorrow, then maybe. Yeah, I gotta think about what I want to get into on Max outside of this stuff. We've got a lot of options, it's just choosing which option to go down. I said, I do like the money laundering angle, because I feel like that suits Max pretty well. Hi. The only issue we run into then is the last stage of it all. The cleaning of the cash. Alternatively, if we start getting more people in the house, that maybe are more leaning towards crime, we can task more people to do that. At the moment, Timothy doesn't trust anyone else to do those runs for him, though. He wants to just do those runs himself. But I can see, like, you know, Hazel, for instance. He's a good driver, so he would be someone that would be good to do those sort of orders. I think my biggest concern about getting into some sort of money laundering business is the competition. Like, I'm fairly certain that there's a pretty big, like 
stronghold on that market. They have put a lot of money into it too. Excuse me. Hey, Santa. Did you see Phil? Uh, yeah, he ran that way. Thank you. I do wonder if actual money laundering is going to have to be a thing in the city at some point too. Because if you think about it, at the moment, people are just like getting hundreds of thousands of dollars and just putting it in their bank. That's it. I wonder if there's going to be an actual like risk with that. Honestly, I honestly wouldn't be opposed to there being a limit to the amount of money you could put into a bank a day. Or, you know, please get alerted if someone's putting more than like 20k in the bank. Only thing is, is then April will get the police calling her constantly. From her kittens. Yeah, it's also the money investment too. Like, I've already invested a lot of money in those laundry machines. But there's people out there like 60 plus laundry machines, like a full on setup. But I'd be able to do the more tedious parts of it is the thing. Like, you know, the whole, like, refilling the laundry machines, I can do that stuff. That's kind of where I shine when it comes to that sort of stuff. I'm good with spreadsheets and do the more tedious parts of crime. That's okay. And that's the stuff that I genuinely enjoy doing, too. Like, I've been debating about getting a money spreadsheet made for the house because people are going to start getting a lot more dirty money soon. Like, you know, Ray's got her dirty money she's bringing in. Timothy's got his own dirty money bringing in. I'm sure April's going to start bringing in more dirty money at some point. I'm going to start bringing in some more dirty money. We need a good way to keep track of that so people are paid fairly. And then whoever does the run gets a percentage. I wouldn't care about getting a percentage myself for the cleaning part of it. But if someone's doing a run, they're taking a pretty big risk. Like a fairly big risk. Ooh, Santa's dead. I would like if we can get storage for everyone, but that's just going to be too much of a cost. Like, storage is expensive. Like, between the two storages, the money storage and the big storage we've got in the back, that's 20k I've spent. It's a lot of money. Yeah, we just got a, we got a huge shipment of meat. We're sold out. We're sold out. Oh. Mm, Ray's doing a good thing with her notebook. It's just about, like, asking Timothy for the money. The biggest difficulty right now is the fact that Timothy's just got so much dirty money. That he just kind of gets lost in the mix for the most part. Hey, Shauna. But, you know, some, some sort of, like, proper spreadsheet would be decent. And I could set something up for that. My spreadsheet, what I would aim to do is, like, get, like automatically calculate how much someone would take as a cut from said thing if they were to do it. Oh, yeah. But that'd also be with the understanding that maybe the way that would make it work as well is we don't give them the money directly to begin with. It all goes to the pot in the house and then they can just take money from there. They know we have a storage specifically for the clean cash. Like you calculate, say, like if someone was to give 10k, maybe 15% of that goes to the person that actually does the money run and does the risk. That sort of understanding with it. Okay. 
I also do kind of wish that maybe there'd be some benefit to money laundering because I could probably get a good system for that too. It's why the laundromat thing would be pretty decent. That's what it would be good for is money laundering. Not like money laundering with how it's set up at the moment, which is literally just, you know, putting money in a laundry machine. That ain't what money laundering is. You don't clean dirty money by putting it in a laundry machine. That's like a grade school understanding of what money laundering is. It'd be kind of cool if people did have to be a bit more careful with that. Like, you know, please start getting suspicious if you put like 50k in the bank with no note attached. Like, no reason of how they got that 50k. Though I also see that being a very big pain for a lot of people. I like that sort of thing, though. I like people having to play it smart. Especially when it comes to criminal stuff, because I think that's what makes criminal stuff a lot more, like, engaging, is when you have to play smart. Rather than, you know, just, like, twatting out, I'm selling guns and shotguns, you know? Or putting millions of dollars in the bank saying, I got this from weed sales and then nothing coming of it. Which people have done in the past, might I add. People literally used to use the comment system in the bank to say, like, I'm buying meth, I'm buying guns. Like, there was basically no reason to be careful, because the PD would never catch on. Unless they specifically look through your bank, which is a very rare occasion. We'll see, though. Maybe financial crimes will be a thing. I know it wasn't a thing in 3.0, so I don't have much hope for it in 4.0. I think the whole new system for cleaning money is kind of like that solution, and that makes sense. I will say, I do like that, though. In 4.0, like, cleaning dirty money is a lot more complicated. I don't even think you had to clean dirty money in 3.0. I think what you did is you got a duffel bag full of money... And then basically, with that duffel bag full of money, you should leave it for a week, and then after a week, you get your money. That's what I think used to happen. I don't think there's any, like, dirty bills or anything. No need to, like, clean money or anything like that. Not to mention the fact that, like, in 3.0, there was nothing you could put in your house that was functional, like in 4.0. It's all cosmetic. There's nothing functional. Like, chairs weren't even able to be sat on until, like, towards the end of 3.0. I do think that is cool. I, I like that these businesses like Dundee's and Fanny's exist now. I think that's pretty cool. Definitely adds a bit more depth to the criminal world. Like I said, the only part I don't like is the end part. Because it's basically all stuff that is secretive until the very end, where it's, like, very much out in the open. I wish there was a way that you could go around that may have been slower, but was more safer. Like, I wish there was an, a way that I could get that day, that wash cash turned into regular cash. That maybe took a day to complete. But if I wanted it done quicker, I'd just go do the money run instead. With the risk involved. Max is too careful to do something like the money run. Plays things too safe. Oh, jeez. I had a power cut here the other day, but that's because I realized I forgot to pay my power bill. <laughs> we are back. Hello again. Hello. How the tone go? Uh, it's going good. Get some good Hello jobs again. done. Hello again. Yes. I'm just gonna check if I can rent the. Oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Do you enjoy your hard day of work? The heavy lifting. Um, but did I enjoy it or? <laughs> well, understandable. It was. It was. Uh, it was work. Do you feel fulfilled after doing it? Um. No, the money's nice. Yeah, money is good. That that fulfills me. You think you go back to being just a passenger princess? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No. I mean, look at my nails. 
there is oil in them. Ooh. Yeah, that's going to take a bit like, to get out. Yeah. I don't even have gloves. Look at my hand. I mean, you do have... You've got gloves, but it's only just, like, the palms. I think the fingers maybe extend to a finger one. Yeah. But they look cooler. You do definitely look cool. But if you want to protect your nails, you know, a good thing would be covered. But I need to look cute and protect my nails. <sighs> yeah, unfortunately, cars are very messy, though. The wheels, every part of it. Do you have had any customers? Yeah, I've had quite a few. Slows Dead. down a little bit in the day, but nighttime it picks up a bit more. Oh, yeah. yeah Everyone's yeah. busy on their jobs in the day. True. True. When during night they're hungry. Hmm. Or thirsty. thirsty. That's That's what I would worry is exactly. Hopefully, someday we're able to get food here too. Would be nice. You have a real yeah. hard time wearing a shirt like this. What, what kind of food would you like? I just like Cupcakes little desserts. Yeah, yeah, pastries. Cupcakes. Muffins. Yeah, muffins, maybe some cheesecake. Yeah. Little desserts. That'd be nice. Yeah. No sign just yet. Those, like, what are they called? The the crumbly apples you can get from like um, that one store on the mainland, Costco's. Those like crumbly ones, you know? Apple crumble? Yes, those ones. Yeah, just any sort of dessert would be quite nice. Like we don't need any main meals, just like little side things. I think it'd be quite nice. Just got to wait yeah. and see if it happens, though. Till then, just yeah. got the good old coffee. Coffee's almost nice. Tea is almost nice. Oh, oh. yeah. I, I do like the drinks that we do have. Just that Ooh, most I people come Ryan. up here asking for food. Ryan! Oh, hey, Scarlett. Hi, Ryan. Hello. What up, guy? Hello there. Hi. Can I get some cough? Sure thing. What can I get you? Uh, four lattes, please. Four lattes? Yeah, You've lattes got it. Are the best ones. Uh, what sort of milk would you like in it? Uh, I'll just take regular. Just dairy? A uh, skim, yeah. Skim, yep. Yeah, sure thing. There you go. If you just want to tap the card there, I'll get your order started. Thank you. This is all for yourself for your sharing with the crew. Uh, you know, I, I haven't decided on that yet. I drink a lot of coffee. So hmm. I just got everybody smoothies, so I feel like I don't have to give them this. Yeah, we'll That's fair enough. Save it for yourself. Give yourself a nice boost. Exactly. How y'all doing? What are y'all up to? Mm -hmm. Towing. Towing. Nice, nice. Scarlet is complaining that she has some oil under her nails. It's you not, have oil it's not under good your for nails. my patients, you know? Well, and we wear gloves, right? you know? <laughs> Exactly. That's what I oh, sorry. I mean, it's it's Ryan. honestly tragic that... I mean, you want to show off your nails. It's understandable. Exactly. And she doesn't want to jeopardize their health. Exactly. Um. Right. Now, the fact that she's doing whatever she is doing um. right now and, and jeopardizing that job, you know, she, she, and I mean, she's taking burdens. And... Yeah. I don't know why some take longer than others. Honestly, she's process? she's putting down a lot there for this. Yeah. Oh, do you want any sugars work. in this? You made her work. Yeah. I could be sitting on the counter in the emergency room and either the doctors do the, the work while I get paid. I mean, working my butt off to save the patient. But I'm sorry, have you I'm, met me? I, I'm staff, so all I do is meetings. It, it's great. I mean, I'm sure it's important meetings. I mean, they are. They're work meetings. I, mean, it's, it's, I don't do them just for no reason. Not just for fun. Y you're still working your butt off just in a different way. Exactly, exactly. I've done my share of patient care. Look, I just want the, the interns to be proactive and, and get into the patients before me. You're just helping them learn, right? Exactly. I'm hmm. observing and there for questions. You're being a mentor. Mm -hmm. If you ever want to join the training program, I talked to Duke about this. Uh, oh, yeah, I told him I was interested. I will keep that in mind. 
Yeah, you know, well, we'll have a talk about it next time I see Andy. Okay. Oh, amazing. All right, well, I'll leave you all to it. I didn't do it. Bye. Bye, Ryan. Have a good one. Are we gonna go and help this poor? Yeah, customer? we're gonna oh. help them. Back to work. Yeah, best somebody or something. Oh, best of luck. <sighs> yeah. I hope your yeah. nails survive. Oh, okay. Thank you. She... It's your time to change okay. the wheels. Okay. Best of luck. Wanna... Remember, lift with your knees. Okay, really okay. Exactly. Yeah. You know. Thank you, Max. No worries. Zipping it. Zipping it. <laughs> See, slowly but surely become more of a social spot. They didn't even buy any coffee. They just came in to talk to Max. I mean, it's like with the taxi stuff. There's a lot of people that got the taxi with Max, not because they needed a taxi, but they just wanted to talk to him. I think it's nice. I, I do think that if we were to get our own place, like our own shop, we could make it into a pretty good hub. I mean, we did a pretty good job at making the Liquid Library a hub in... 3.0 even if we had like everything stacked against us for the most part we still did a pretty good job making that into a hub foot traffic definitely makes it easier though the, the way that i see it it's you want something that brings people to the area initially and then you can keep them there with yourself unfortunately alcohol isn't very good for bringing people to an area for the most part coffee and food is good for that though but more open in that regard. I heard cemetery. I heard cemetery. Come for the well, food, well, stay for the British the guy. It smells weird. Sorry to say that loud. You, you have like That's how it used to work. Come for the alcohol, stay for the British dude. Yeah, the coffee shop slash just, a, you know, cafe vibe, I think, suits Max pretty well. If we were to get a actual place for this, I'd like it to be somewhere at least, like maybe South Side, maybe Little Seoul, somewhere where other people are going to be going past anyway. I think up north probably oh, yeah. wouldn't have that much success. Oh, Even Vinewood, I think, is too far out the way. Yeah. Same with Mirror Park too, to be honest. South Side and Little Seoul are probably the busiest areas of the city. I do like it here as well, though, because you can get people coming here not for the coffee shop, but for something else, but then see the coffee shop and be interested. There we go. I do like that. Also, hold on, gotta hydrate. <sighs> I do like the coffee shop vibes, too. I'm excited to see how this sort of stuff expands in the future. If it does. I hope it's not a case of the farmer's market where the farmer's market is like the beginning and the end. That was probably the biggest criticism with the farmer's market back in the day. It was like, you start at the farmer's market, you end at the farmer's market. There's no expansion outwards. Hopefully these can be like good starting points for businesses to prove themselves. Then in the future they can expand. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Hello, Brick. Though I do like the farmer's market vibes this place has. You're welcome. And it's a lot more central too, whereas the farmer's market was a lot more out the way. So see this being more successful in the long run compared to the farmer's market. But we'll wait and see. There's obviously some little improvements they can make here and there. Like, you know, maybe make it so it's easier for other businesses to open. Because at the moment, someone could hold down one of these stools and just keep paying for it and then never use it. Yeah, Farmer's Market was really out of the way. Like, really, really out of the way. Especially when it was in Polito. That was when it was most out of the way. 24 minutes ago, we'll post another one. Boom. But here, like I said, you, you get a lot of foot traffic here, as you can see. 
decent bit of foot traffic. Again, if we get food, we'll hopefully be able to get more traffic here too. We'll see. I, I, I'm curious to see what this place can look like in like a month or two's time. Because then you'll be able to tell who's dedicated to this or not. Especially since you don't get paid. Like, you, you gotta be dedicated to this if you want to make it work. Because you're not going to get any money. We're doing a job fair. Oh, we got a lot of customers. Yeah. It kind of makes sense why so many stalls only have, like, one or two workers, too. Because you genuinely can't get many people to work. Money is the ultimate motivator in the city. What? No, I'm working on it right now. Can't retweet Max. What? Is it too long? Oh, maybe I should shorten it a bit. Actually, no, you should be able to retweet it, right? It's coming, sir. Eh, we're right fine. Behind the counter. We just got a big shipment of meat in, okay? It's, we've the other thing I just hope doesn't return is the storefronts. That's what killed the civilian population, in my opinion, is the storefronts. Like, effectively, the civilians of the city in 3.0 got replaced by NPCs. Which, you know, wasn't really the best. It didn't feel good to be a civilian as well because, you know, getting compared to being an NPC. Definitely made civilians feel a lot less important. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. I mean, so far, it seems like there's pretty big importance on civilians in 4.0. I do like the fact that becoming a criminal is more of a choice. Like, you know, you lose out on quite a few things if you become a criminal and get a felony. You lose G6, you lose businesses, gun licenses, all that sort of stuff. I like that. I think it's important to make crime, because that's the sort of thing that gives crime weight too. Rather than just like a casual thing people do. We'll see how it works, though. I, I think it was the same at the start of 3.02, where civilians were definitely more important. It just kind of, over time, became less and less important. I hope that civilian, like, mechanics still end up getting added. Definitely hasn't been too, too many added since 4.0 has begun, though. Now, pretty much, this is the main new thing civilians have gotten since the start of 4.0. Which was almost five months ago now. Is it five or four? Would it be four? Yeah, I guess it technically would have been four months ago. Almost been four months since the start of 4.0 now. God, time really has flown. God, that means like Max and April have known each other for about four months now. That's wild. The girls' house has almost been around for like three months now, right? I think we got the girls' house towards the end of January. I'm pretty sure. God damn, it really has been a while. Time really does fly. I still think it is worth us moving at some point, though. Hi. Hello there. I'm Kat. What's your name? Oh, uh, my name's Max. Uh, Maximilian Angel. I'm Kat. Nice to meet you. Ah, pleasure to meet you, Kat. 
Can I have a latte? Indeed you can. What, what sort of milk would you like in it? Uh, oat milk. Oat milk? You've got it. That's my go-to choice as well. I think it adds quite a nice uh, texture to the drink. Oh, it's so nice. There you go. If you just want to tap your card there, I'll get your drink started. All right. Is this a start every day coffee or midday coffee? Well, start of my day, I'm going to go do some cheese sticks. Oh, fun. Quite a popular G6. Yeah. It's good money. It's understandable why it's so popular. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I think it's worth it. I, I do grime myself, but uh, grime can definitely be a bit soul-crushing after a while. Oh no, do you get lonely? Uh, it's a little bit lonely at grime. Like, I would say that's oh, one no. thing I'm kind of jealous of G6. It's a lot more social G6. Uh huh. Well, that's good to know. What? Oh, uh, do you want any milk in this? Uh, not milk. Um, sugar. Sorry. I'm so sorry. What'd you say? Uh, would you like any sugar in this? Oh no, no sugar. That's all right. Just as is. Sure thing. Yeah. And that is one latte with oat milk right there for you. Oh, thank you. I hope you. that you enjoy. You too. Pleasure Bye. to meet you, cat. Taxi was definitely a good arc for 4.0. No regrets there. I'm kind of happy that I ended up spending more time doing taxi than working at the Liquid Library. In some ways, the, the stuff that happened with the Liquid Library was kind of a blessing in disguise. Because it definitely has forced Max to try some different things to do. And because of the taxi stuff as well, we've been able to meet a lot of people that we probably wouldn't have met otherwise. As fun as it is to think that, you know, Max and April would have been able to find each other otherwise, it was because of the taxi stuff that they were able to get as close as they are. Because ultimately, the reason why Max and April got as close as they did is because April needed someone to drive her around for the most part. If that wasn't there, they may have known each other, but probably wouldn't be been able to be as close as they are now. And then, you know, wouldn't be any close, wouldn't be invited to the girl's house, then wouldn't have gotten close to Ray. It's all thanks to Tanya that Max has everything that he has. We already knew, we already knew Timothy outside. We already knew Kitty and Gigi as well. Eli, I think we met through April. But yeah, Max, Max's life definitely would have been a bit different in 4.0, if not for his ghouls. For that one call that April made that one day. Sir, do you know where to find body bags to dispose of dead bodies? Unfortunately not, no. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, there's the know? hospital. I mean, they, they have a morgue, right? I'm, I'm sure they got some. Oh! Oh, yeah, maybe I can ask the hospital. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, uh, no worries. Uh, b best of luck. As much as they do miss the liquid library, like the building itself, I, I'm sad to think that that building is going unused for the most part now. But it's also good for Max to try other things and then it leaves the building a chance for someone else to try their hand at the building, you know? Nothing wrong with that. And I definitely do want to go down a more criminal route for Max. It's just doing stuff that makes sense for him. Now, the more that I've been thinking about it, I'm not too sure if the weed selling stuff is really Max up Max's alley right now. Weed growing, maybe. But weed pushing might be a bit too much. But on the other hand, the weed pushing could lead to some good stuff for Max too. Now, if we start pushing weed for the guild, we potentially start getting close to them. And then, you know, in the future, maybe end up joining the guild. Really, anything that Max does criminal-wise always has to have, like, some social element to it. <laughs> That's all Max wants. He wants to hang out with his friends. And he always feels that he needs to have an excuse to hang out with them. And crime can definitely be a good excuse. 
he's just very scared of weed pushing right now. Like maybe the casual pushing is fine. It's more so the other pushing that's more of a concern. But you know, to get to that pushing, you need to do the more like out in the open pushing. He needs a good person to do it with. I think that's kind of what he needs right now. He needs a criminal guiding hand in a way. A partner in crime, if you will. He definitely could use that. Ah, if only Midnight was still around. Midnight would have been a great partner in crime for Max. Same with Danny as well. And Chloe. Chloe would have been good too. All people that have left Max's life. Oh... <sighs> One day they'll return, one day. Just some day in the future. Danny's probably trapped in the sewers somewhere. Probably dead. Good chance she's dead. I need a food delivery to the apartments right now. <laughs> you know, we're going to leave that for someone else to do. She needs to remember to eat more. I'm busy running the coffee shop right now. Yeah, there we go. There's Murphy. Yeah, I have been told that's how it works. You have to kind of pick a lane with it. I wonder if that's going to be the same with, like, other stuff in the future. Like, you know, say, like, with meth or something. You can cook meth or you can sell meth. I do like that they're making people choose lanes like that, though. I like it when people have to rely on other people for stuff. That's what whitelists used to be good for. Unfortunately, not really much of a case anymore. <laughs> Is that Chatterbox? <laughs> See, you know that's a joke because he doesn't live at the apartments. He lives at the fun house. He's got no reason to be at the apartments. Mm -hmm. I kind of wish it was the same with Moonshine, to be honest. I, I, I thought it would be kind of cool if like someone had to be a cook and someone had to be a pusher. But I think there's just such little money in it that there's no point in having both. We're, we're not his friends. He just owes us money. I definitely would be interested in the growing side. I just don't know how difficult that'd be to get into. I feel like that's, that's got to be something that's not easy to get into. And also, everyone in our house has other people to buy from right now. Like, you know, Ray is pushing CG's strain. Timothy's pushing the guild strain. They don't really have much of a need for, like, homegrown stuff. Unless, like, we were to go more towards being, like, a group of some sort. You need a decent space for it, too. I don't think we've got enough space in the house. Which, in itself, is going to be a cost. I mean, it depends on how much space you need. Like, could we theoretically fit a plan in where the computer room is? Would that work? But then again, probably like the cooling of the laundry machines would counter the drying of the um of the weed. Actually, that's a very good point. You probably couldn't do both in the same house.
See, I really love the idea of Max becoming a meth cook, though. That just feels like it would suit him perfectly. Then we could finally have our Heisenberg arc. I bet you as soon as meth becomes available, everyone's going to be abandoning the weed. They'll be interested to see if maybe that's a progression from weed, though. Like, you got to get through the weed game to get to the meth game. You like think of it as like tier one, tier two. The other thing that I'm hoping for with cooking meth is that you need a, um, what's it called, a RV to cook it. I really hope there's something like that. It's something I try to do in 3.0 is that whenever I did a cook on one of my other characters, I went out in an RV. Yeah, I mean there is a reputation system with the shine dude. I wonder though, do I need rep with the weed dude to be able to grow the stuff? I feel like you do. Because I know there's a dude that you buy weed equipment from. It's all that, and there's that, there's that fentanyl dude too. That no one knows what that dude does. I still feel like there's a huge chunk of 4.0 that we just don't know about yet. I think like the last month has been a lot of like rebalancing of stuff, like rebalance of the weed stuff, rebalance of the Mosley stuff. There hasn't been anything new, new in a while. Just a lot of like rebalancing things currently. Well, I know for selling that you need a reputation to be able to start pushing, but I don't know about growing. Again, there's probably people out there that could guide us if we want to go down that route. I still might do the moonshining too. It's just the, the whole sewer element is what pains me with that. Hey, Panda Spectre, thanks to Prime Gaming. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful goblin and maximotes. Yeah, appreciate the support, Panda. Sorry, mine went blank there for a second. Like I said, I'm a little bit cooked today. <laughs> Recovering from waking up four hours earlier than I usually do. Takes some time to recover. <laughs> There's need for the HQ chip. Oh, okay. I will say, with the moonshine stuff, once I get Max a muscle car, I could just start investing my money in that. Because that's the only thing I might be saving up for right now in Max is a muscle car. Once I've got that, I won't really have much other use for my money. So that could be a good investment for us, like get our moonshine rep up. The way that I see it as well with moonshine is that's a good thing potentially in the future we can help baby criminals out with. If we want to. Like once we get our recipe, we've got that forever. Once we have that perfect recipe. And honestly, I guess it doesn't sell for too bad once you get like the perfect recipe. Like what we've been told you, the max you can get is 135, right? 135 times 8. So one batch can get you 1,000. So like 1,000 an hour. Though you've got to factor in the purchasing element of it too. Like purchasing the ingredients will probably will add like half that most likely. I mean, $500 profit ain't too bad. Guess I'm just too used to grime. It's tainted my idea of what's a lot of money. That's how those things usually go. Oh, let me drink our cheese soda. Yeah, I think that is a reputation for growing too, most likely. How many materials can a grime run buy? A decent amount. If materials go for six per, one grime run would buy you a thousand materials. Oh, you mean like the materials in terms of like the moonshine? That I don't know. 
I think the person that I need to talk to about that is actually right over there because I'm pretty sure, certain that's Gigi. Gigi Gambino. She's offered to sell me that stuff. But honestly, it's, it's the sort of thing that we could probably buy some of the profit from just from the fact that, like, we're increasing our reputation. Like, increasing your rep is definitely something that's useful. And what I was told as well yesterday by Timothy, apparently moonshine is a lot less hot than what it used to be. So it is genuinely something that we could maybe do a bit faster too, if we don't care about being too undercover. Hello, Hello. there. Can I get two cappuccinos, please? Two cappuccinos? You've got it. What sort of milk would you like in it? 2%. 2%, you've got it. There you go. Want to just tap your card there? Is this a start of your day coffee or midday coffee? Start, please. Or start, ah. yes, my start. Got you, okay. Well, hopefully the city's not too much on fire. <laughs> eh, not yet. It's early, though. Eh, yeah, give it some time. Yeah, I mean, there's very few moments where the city isn't on fire. Mm -hmm. Just the nature of the city. Do you want any sugar in this, by the way? Or no sugar. I'm sorry, what was that? Uh, would you like any sugar in this? Very light. Very light, okay. Just, just one cube in each? Yeah, that's, that's, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, sure thing. Put one in there and one in there as well. Well, hopefully this gives you a good boost to the day at the very least, even if it does oh, start sure to get well. hectic. Your coffee's always very good here. Ah, I appreciate it. Do try and make it quite nice. Do love me some good coffee. Same. Can't and go without it every day. Very much so. I always think I can't until I don't have it. Then I realize, yeah, I kind of do need it. All right. Well, you have a good day, okay? Oh, you as well. Hope the shift goes well. Nice. Can roll grime to shine and shine into laundry roll money or something to give the house to make money? Should snowball? I think it could, yeah. Honestly, what would be really cool is if we can get, like, a really efficient setup and then push, get other people to push the shine for us. Like, here's what I'm thinking. At some point, the shine reputation probably will matter for something. So, if it does become useful for something in the future, more people will try and grind it out, and at that point, we can start selling to other people. That's kind of what I'm thinking at the moment. Like, like you said, what if you need to do some moonshining to get into math? That would kind of make sense. It offer an advanced distillery. Like, just a good way to start making some money. I mean, even like with the um, the clowns, for instance, maybe we could get the clowns to push for us. Because the good thing about moonshine is that you don't need any prerequisites for it. Like, you know, with the pushing of weeds, you need to, like, get decent rep with it. With moonshine, anyone can push it. If they have it. So it's theoretically something that could be useful for that, too. If, you know, they need a consistent source of income. Let's see, when's the last time we twatted? 24 minutes ago. Twat out again. Do maybe just another 30 minutes or so of this. We be, we put a pretty decent shift in today. I think we've made a decent bit of money for Ash too. Hopefully she can keep this place running. Keep this place open, because I do enjoy it. What's that we're doing supply-wise? You've still got enough for 10 cups. Should be good. An upgraded distillery would be pretty cool. I mean, the thing is, Max used to do a lot of moonshining back in the day. He was the moonshiner. Uh, and theoretically, we could do the moonshine in tangent with this. Like, you know, get a brew going, come here, put in like a night shift. Then once that's done, we go up there, do a little bit more. Definitely something that we could balance with it. 
Like I said, the key thing is just the supplies. It's a shame that I've become so unacclimated to the sewers now. I really don't feel like sitting down there having to bandage myself literally every other second. It's probably gotten to a point as well where I'll get hurt by searching through the stuff too. Fifi wasn't kidding when she said that it was a snowball effect. I also can't buy any distilleries anymore. I need my rep to be at 470. Actually, I can calculate at what rep I'm at right now. 150 is when I was at 170. So we're currently at 90 rep in the sewers right now. I mean, maybe I could do some... Hmm. Maybe I just need to start doing it more off stream. Like just sitting in the sewers for a bit. The, the issue with the sewers is that it's just so isolating. <laughs> like considering the fact that I was only doing grime and sewer stuff, it was very isolating for Max. Very isolating. Max needs people he can talk to, needs people he can see. He's a social creature. He needs that socializing. Today, though, was definitely just more of a coffee day. I felt like putting in a full shift here today. I think in the future, I do want to try and balance it with some other stuff. Like I said, you know, the um, the moonshine and stuff like that. The hell, we could maybe make it so we do this at nighttime when people are more, like, frequently coming through here. And then in the daytime, we go do some moonshining. Ultimately, it is all about finding balance. And honestly, if Max's first felony is moonshining, that would feel right to me. His first felony being weed selling just doesn't feel right to me. If that makes sense. Consider the fact that Moonshine was the first crime he ever did. It would feel right in some ways. I still do like the idea of him being a Moonshine Kingpin. It's just going to require a lot of work. And more of a etiquette for Max to work with. Mm, shining and laundering, exactly. And, you know, spending time up north isn't too bad either. I did say that if the girl's house ever did fall through, Max probably would be spending more time up north. At that point, he'd be kind of tired of the city. The main thing keeping him to the city right now is the coffee job and his girls. Shining is tricky without partners. It isn't too, too bad. It's something that I thought that would be kind of fun to get into with September if she wanted to. Just because, like, she is very much into alcohol, same with Max. And it's very much, very much like a baby, a good entry point for a baby criminal. But I think she's very much set on keeping her G6 job. Which is understandable. One day that cat boy spotted. Cat boy's been spotted. Is he yoinking food again? Well, at least as long as he didn't clock in to make his own food. We're trying to fix the house stuff, but it's whether or not it'll actually work. I, I honestly just don't see a, a time where people are consistently chilling at the house. Because there's no point to. Most people that have houses that they chill at, there's like other reasons they chill at, at it, you know? It's usually to do with crime stuff. Like it's criminal houses that are the most active houses. But honestly, the main thing that brings people to the girl's house right now is the crime stuff. You know, the money laundering, the storage. That is what makes a house active. Bringing more people in, I'm not too sure will actually help out with that, to be honest. But that could just be me being a pessimist. 
very hopeful, you know. Hopefully it does help out. Provide a good hub for people that don't have it. I'm pretty sure that was Fiona when them passed. Yeah, Fiona's got very distinct hair. She's not very good at wearing disguises. And the walk, too. Hey, Fifi. Uh, I can have a coffee. Sure thing. What can I get you? Cappuccino. Cappuccino? Sure thing. Any milk uh, in particular? Sugar and um, normal milk. The full fat milk. And full fat uh, milk. Uh, cin cinnamons. Cinnamons? Yes. Sure thing. How, many sugar, how much sugar would you like in it? Like one. Just one sugar? Yeah. One grain or one cube? I, I'm assuming like a cube or a, like okay, a spoonful. One, yeah, I can I do that. I don't want one singular spoonful. grain of sugar, Mac. But what spoon? Spoon comes in different sizes. What's you know, one a person teaspoon? Spoonful, like a teaspoon. Yeah, like a teaspoon of sugar. What if it's like an oversized teaspoon, though? Well, what size is your teaspoon? I don't know. This is America. I don't know what sort of size teaspoons they've got here. Oh. I just... You know, I, we've got putting, cubes. You're not putting sugar? Put a cube in. Take just one cube? cube? Oh, see, it, it, it's on the till. One cube, then. Got it. What $40. size? What size density of a cube would you like? There's different ones. Well, you know, cubes come in all like different sizes. Like a, like a small. Like a small cube. cube. I don't like a lot of sugar. Just a little bit. A little bit of a taste. I get you. Well, what are you getting up to? Trying not to die. I just got robbed. Ah. Yeah. It, Living a life. I was going to say, that's not really the best disguise. You've got very distinct hair. I didn't get uh, got robbed separately from what's going on. Oh, got you. Okay. Did you lose much? $14,000. Ooh. Yeah, I did see Beverly and Swan down earlier. Yeah. Well, that robbery was unrelated. Ah, got you. A robbery chain gang. Oh, right. Well, hold on. Let me just put the cube in. There we go. Well, hopefully this Thank cappuccino you. can brighten the day like a bit. That's a very heavy cube. Well, you know, I didn't say what density yeah, it was. So, it's very dense. It's a very dense cube. Well, hopefully yeah. density helps. It will do. We'll do some soon. Uh, you know, Max was doing a grime with Fifi when the war started. So Max knows. It's with the manor. This place sucks. Who seemed to get in war like every other day. <laughs> this place is terrible. Yeah, some burnt food. Nobody ever. Ow! Ow! Maybe knock her out. Can you bring me to hospital, please? Hey, hey, don't I don't I don't Nice. Asshole. Where the hell did that dude come from? <laughs> Okay. All right. What the hell am I putting in my coffee? There you go. You can swipe. Fair enough. Don't, please don't use the don't use the crowbar. Give me the hell out of here. We still got plenty of coffee, right? Yeah, we do. <laughs> Max's <laughs> clock on the mana guys is that they're very impulse driven. They don't really think about much of what they do, hence how they get in a lot of the situations they do. That's from like an outside looking in. Just from what Max has mainly heard of them. Typical criminal play behavior, yeah. I don't fully get how the company's at war, though, because they're not really a gang, for, per se. But I guess it's like how people used to go to war with Cerberus, you know? Technically, they're not going war with Cerberus. They're going war with, like, the people at the head of the company. But they involve the rest of the company anyway. The, the funny thing is, even though I was in Cerberus, I never got involved in any of those wars. Like, no one ever targeted Max. 
I'm pretty sure most people didn't even know Max was part of Cerberus. Even though he is at like every meeting. Or they just thought he was too cool to, to hurt. He's too polite to hurt. Didn't they rob and stab? Yeah, he has experienced them a little bit. Again, that was an impulse thing from them that caused that. They, they just ran up to our truck and stole a box as a joke. Of people that we didn't know. And it scuffed our entire run. Like, our three-hour run at that point. Back when grime runs used to be a lot longer. Hey, I hope I hope Breck has, has his Joker moment during all the war stuff. I hope <laughs> I really hope that he goes blasting. I think that'd be funny. I hope that Breckers shoots a gun before Max does. Yeah, it was funny how that just never really happened too much towards the end. At the farmer's market, I used to get taken hostage, like, relatively frequently. Though at some point, that just stopped. Like, people would literally walk past me to take someone hostage. Or, like, you know, they'd take someone that I was serving at the farmer's market hostage instead of Max. I think there's one time they actually parked directly behind my booth, ran around the booth, and took someone hostage, rather than taking Max hostage. I think there's a separate time where I actually heard them say, not him. He's too polite to take hostage. I mean, the thing about it in like 4.0 too, we've never been taken hostage for anything. Even Gigi's been taken hostage for stuff. Like Gigi Gambino, she's taken hostage for a uh, laundromat the other day. Or like a money exchange, whatever it's called. Still never taken hostage. And never ocean dumb too. Whereas there's people that are, it's their first time in the city and they get ocean dumped. Eli. Timothy's technically been ocean dumped too, but he ocean dumped himself. So I'm not sure if that counts. No one notices the British. I mean, people have definitely mistaken us for an NPC in the past. That's how it was in the Liquid Library. People thought I was an NPC serving drinks. Rather than an actual guy. But hey, I can do work like that. I can do the work of an NPC. As evident here, like, we've been standing in this one spot for like, what? Three, four hours now? I like doing this work. I know it's not for everyone, but it's why I enjoy doing. It suits perfectly with chill vibes too, which are always the vibes I'm trying to push. They didn't put a max NPC in the LL. There is an NPC, it's just not a max one. Maybe someday. I might do the rounds soon and just make sh see if I can call Eli GG again just to see if I can get the confirmation. It might be worth having a chat with April too. Just to see if she is 100% okay with the whole people moving in thing. So she did tick the announcement though, so hopefully it's all good. Though I don't know if Lottie's moving in now too. His last chat with April is, I think it's at a birthday party. Yeah, her birthday party. Max got very drunk and they had a very nice talk. Max was heavily dooming about the house. And April reassured him on a lot of stuff. It was very nice. 
you know, I, I want to just explicitly talk to everyone if I can about the house stuff, because if there is any issues, it's better that we learn now rather than later. I said, one of my worries about adding more people to the house right now is that it's going to drive other people away. Like, you know, maybe people wouldn't want to live there because it gets too crowded. I mean, Max is kind of like one of those people that enjoys more tight-knit groups than like a huge group too. That is one of the appeals he's always thought of the guild. But the guild is very much a tight-knit crew rather than like, you know, 20 plus people. It's also one of the reasons why I don't know if Max would ever join the clowns, just because it is like a huge group already. Like, you know, there's what, like 20 plus people at the funhouse sometimes. I think that is a little bit too much for Max. Small tight-knit group, I think, is what Max prefers. I mean, 12 is still pretty small. But again, it is that worry. And who knows if April would be okay with living with her sisters. I'm sure she'd be fine. Don't think there'd be any issues. Probably be some funny petty-offs between them. But other than that, I think it'd be fine. Yeah, I'm sure it'll all make do. Let's see, what time is it in game now? 2.50, okay. I'll give it a few more minutes, then we'll probably head out from here for now. Go see what else is going on. We put a good shift in here today. Do some cool rounds, see what's going on in town. Like I said, call GG, call Eli, check they're all good. Call April, make sure she's all good. We ask GG as well about pricing too, because it's going to be easier to decide if it's worth us gathering our own materials or going through someone if we learn the pricing. As long as we're able to make some of our money back, I guess it wouldn't be too bad. But then again, ah, being able to gather our own materials would be good. And we haven't lost that that much acclimation. Obviously, it's not as good as we were before. I'm hoping that we won't need bandages still. We won't be able to buy our own distillery for a while, but it won't take me too long to get that back. It just means I've got to, you know, sit down there like in the morning at night time. And just try and keep up with that. Because at the moment, I haven't been in the sewers for like three days. Hence why it's gotten so low. The previous times I've been trying to get in the sewers, I just keep getting distracted. Like, you know, helping Timothy with his weed runs, money runs, stuff like that. All right, let's head out of here for now. Let's make ourselves some coffees for the road. No matter what the difficulty, Spence. No matter what the challenge, no matter what let's get ourselves a cappuccino. Every time. And two lattes as well for the road. I, don't think you got it in you. I paid for the ingredients, so I'm good to get some free ones. Yeah, time versus money. But the thing is, I can just spend some time off stream doing it. Like, you know, when I go for dinner, like, I could just sit down there, do some searching while things are cooking. Think of it like a grime run in a way. But, you know, less interactive. It just, it basically, it would just be an added chore for Max to do for the most part. But the city runs on shores. Boom and boom. Eat some fries. Oh, we have somebody Clock out. Oh. Alright, let's head out for a bit and do some cool rounds.
see, we'll start with Eli, then Gigi, then probably April. Just because I really want to just get this house stuff. Like, if we can get a definitive answer for this house stuff, would be good. Let's see, is Mr. Eli awake? No Eli, okay. Let's try Gigi. No Gigi. All right, let's try April. Max, darling, how are you? Hey, April, it's your boy, Max. Doing well, hey, doing Max. well. How about yourself? It's your girl, April. Um, I just woke up. Um, Well, not, not I just. It, like for 20 minutes, but I, then I mm -hmm. bumped into Chatty. I've been parking my car at the apartments because I lost my parking spot oh, at, yeah. the, at the street, which sucks because I've been, you know, I always hang out where I wake up for a little bit. Um, I'm with Murphy and Kitty, oh, and nice. I'm... um. And found out Breckers is in the ICU. Yeah, the company's at war right now. And I think he's kind of getting involved, unfortunately. I said Breckers is like the, the mascot. He's like the bear that's jumping on the side of the bleachers when the basketball players are going and then he trips over something and then he's like really embarrassed. You can't tell because he's wearing like a, a giant mascot head, but then he trips again because one of the cheerleaders purposely tripped him and then and then his, his head falls off and then he's bright red underneath and everybody's laughing at him. But Sorry, what was I that, talking he, about? You think he's like, a, would he be wearing a costume of himself? Like a big mascot version of himself. Yeah, I'm just saying, like he's like the mascot. Yeah, like he, you don't go he, after the mascot the in the game. Yeah, you, you, your problem's not with him; it's with the the managers, the players, not not the mascot. Yes, yes, and and apparently, I don't know. Apparently, it's bad. Like he's he's got brain bleeding. Oh, he's got an aneurysm. Oh, that is bad. I don't know. It's bad, bad, and apparently he might. Well, I can't even say it. He's not. I mean, it's not, it's not know, possible. I, I, I'm sure he'll be fine. I mean, I, I'm just... How, why is the company at war is the thing? It's, it's not like they're a gang. They're, they're the company. That's what I'm saying. But the thing is, you have to remember who's in that... Yeah, who's in the not a gang. You know what I mean? True. There's a lot of former OTT, gang leaders. Right, yeah. I feel like they have that in them. Um, yeah, so. that's a good point. I don't really know much, much detail. I literally just found out just now. But uh, Yeah, I only overheard it on the phone the other day. Either way, they got Breckers. Yeah, uh, hopefully he has a speedy recovery. He's a good yeah. dude. He is. He is. How have you been, Max, darling? I can't be around uh, for much. I have a thing in five minutes, but oh, oh, right, right, I, right. Catch, I still want to catch up. Oh, being good. Just got done doing a shift at the coffee shop. Served about, I think, 50 cups of coffee. So pretty good day. How much did you make? Oh, I don't get paid. There's, and I love that for you, Max. If that's what makes you happy. Listen, I need a social job. Like, I, I do grime. Grime is like the most anti-social job in the city. It is awful. I you need are a very social, social person. <laughs> exactly. That, that That's the way I see it. This, I'm getting paid in the social interaction. And I'm seeing a lot of people I haven't seen in a while. A lot of people really? still thinking I'm doing taxi, which kind of shows how anti-social I've been lately. <laughs> Listen, Max, I have an, an idea for us. So What's you know that? how we're getting new roommates. Yes, Yes. Yeah, so when everyone moves in, um, maybe next week or something, because I'm not going to be here this weekend. But next week, I want to host like a um, new roommates um, sleepover where Ooh. we play truth or dare. <laughs> oh, that would be cute. It would be fun, right? For it. Yeah. So we'll all get on in our pajamas. We'll get on our pillows and blankets. We'll get Queenie. Um, you know, everyone new. Uh, my sisters and stuff. And then we'll all plop down and we'll play truth or dare for the night. And then it would be really funny. <laughs> okay, that would be very cute. I'd oh, my God. I'd oh, my God. It's going to be so good. You know, maybe we can get some nice snacks to bring in. I'm going to create a list of dares and a list of truths. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be so good. Okay, yes. Okay, no, I um, love that idea. So, so you're all good with that. That's just one of the reasons it's cool. Just to double check. You're, you're all good with people moving in? 
oh no, I'm so good with it. Um, so, I mean, two of them are my sisters. If anything, I felt like, oh my God, I, I didn't want to like, I hope I didn't pressure people. I didn't, I'm ha I'm, I want, I've been, I've been wanting January to move in since she got into the city. Um, and of course, um, I'd love to spend more time with Ember. Yeah, I just think choice. it's so funny. I mean, yeah, they, no, they're great. Would you want the parking space at the house? Yeah, I demand it. Okay. You, I mean, sorry, you, I'd you be open to taking it. it. No, sorry. I didn't mean to say that. I meant to say <laughs> I would accept it if yeah. no one else wants it. Yeah, no, I would like to take it. Like now. If, if, oh. you want, if, you, if you want to try and get this sort today, otherwise we can get this sort another day. I can't do it today. We'll get this sort um, another day. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, but I would love to, if it doesn't inconvenience anybody, oh, no, I would fine. love to I'll just park at City Hall. take it. They, you know, Thank you, darling. Jog for me in the morning. Exactly. Exactly. But what do you mean by exactly? I, I, I don't need a jog. It's just I thought. No, I'm not nice saying that you jog. need a jog. I'm saying the jogs are nice. It's good to get. It's good to get your dopamine levels going. Get the vitamin D from the sky and stuff or whatever. I have always wow, thought look, that like a morning jog. With the, the sun is so beautiful at night. What? Oh yes. Oh kitty. Well, the, the eclipse is earlier. Oh go no go race! I have to go anyway. I have to go literally right now. Okay, bye kitty. I'll keep you updated about the sleepover. Um, no, the sun's in the sky right now. It's really pretty. I, is it? Yeah. Wow. You sure that's not the moon? It's not the moon. It's the sun. It's a solar eclipse, remember? That, that was earlier. That, 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 that was like a good mm. few hours ago. Maybe you're not quite in the line of a, a, a totality. That's what they say. Totality? Yes. I mean, maybe it's just my British ba brain. We don't get many solar yeah. eclipses. Okay. Sorry, darling. I am really good because I have to go right <laughs> yeah, no, now. No, you, go, you go, you go. <laughs> okay. Ta-ta, darling. Ta-ta, darling. Goodbye. Very well. <laughs> nice. Okay, that's good. I, 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 I was a little bit worried about April if she'd be okay with it just because I didn't know if she wanted to live with her sisters, but that, that is very nice to hear. She's fully on board. That's good. So... We just need Gigi and Eli now, then we can get them all in. I also love the idea of the sleepover. That's the sort of bonding stuff that we actually need at the house. We haven't really had any sort of bonding like that at the house. I'd say probably the closest we had was maybe the, um, what was it? Uh, what's my brain? The, the tarot card reading. The, the tarot card reading stuff was probably the most bonding activity we've had as a house. And unfortunately, that wasn't even with everyone. That, that was actually, I forgot how cute that was when we did that. that. That was like so cute when we did that, actually. It'd be cool if we did that again. All right, let's see. So, got... Oh, let's go get my paycheck. I haven't clicked my paycheck in a good while. You think how much content came from that, too? The, the tarot card reading stuff. All the relationship drama that came from that. That basically, that tarot card reading alone kind of sunk a bunch of ships. And affirmed the Jaeger Max endgame too. Actually, meeting before the sleep would be a better idea? I don't think so, no. Honestly, I don't think we should have house meetings too often. Unless it's like something super duper important. But, like, is that a thing people have IRL? Do, do people have house meetings? It feels more like a gang thing than, like, a thing roommates do. Well, this is something super-duper important, which I don't think it's too bad. But that, the roommate thing is something we can just discuss individually. And the only other one that we've really had, we had one when we moved in, just because we were moving in. And the only other one we had is when the whole Timothy and Max stuff was going on. But to be honest, I feel like that should have been just a one-on-one -on -one thing. The, the, the Timothy and Max discussion could have just been between Timothy and Max. It didn't need to be a house meeting. Mm-hmm. But Max and Timothy still did have a little bit of one-on-one -on -one afterwards. And honestly, Max and Timothy's relationship have been like... It's been much better. Let's say Max and Timothy's relationship is... Ooh, 5,000, not bad. Has been, is much better than what it was before.
without the whole, you know, father figure thing going on. If anything, they're more like brothers now, more so than like father and son, which I think I kind of prefer better anyway. We're not going to say that they are brothers. I'm just saying that's what they're closer to being more like. We collect their state IDs. We do need to get their state IDs for moving them in. Also, we're going to have a discussion about if we're going to be charging people to move in too. Which I personally think we should. Mainly so I can get some money back for the furniture. <laughs> I know that's a very selfish reason. However, I spent a lot of money on furniture and I wouldn't mind some of that money back. I didn't buy the furniture expecting to get paid back, but if the option's there, I'd like to. You're at least a little bit, like 60k. I spent $190,000 on furniture. I wouldn't mind like 60k or 80k back. Like we charge each of them 30k each, basically. Is what I'm thinking. 30k each, that's going to be 120k total. I never talked with Timothy about it. He spent a lot of money on the laundry machines, like the turbo cogs and stuff. So he's going to be getting a percentage of the money too. Same with Kitty. The way that we split it up is basically Max gets 60, Timothy gets 40, Kitty gets 20. That's what we're currently thinking. Though I will say Timothy's pricing that on like the street price of the turbo machines, which really isn't worth that much. The only reason they're worth that much is because of the rarity. They're not actually worth $20,000. But he has put a lot of money into the laundry. Well, actually, me and him have gone kind of 50 50 with most washing machines. Yeah, we'll see. Again, discussion as a house we need to have. Why do I say that like Yoda? Yeah, discussion about the house we need to have. Also, I want to do a test drive. I've got my eye on one of the muscle cars here, and I want to give it a test drive. I want to see if it's gone down in price too, because I think it's 27k last time I checked. Let's see. Muscle, has it gone down at all? Oh, it's 26 now. Nice. The Phoenix. Imagine this in black and gold. Like black prime, matte black primary with a shiny gold stripe down the middle. I think that'd look pretty sick. I kind of like the idea of black and gold being Max's color scheme for 4.0. In 3.0 it's black and white. I think this would look sick, like, in the same colors as our car. 26,000 isn't actually that far off from where we're at, too. That's actually pretty close to where we are right now. What other muscle cars are there? So that's 520 performance. This one's sold out, like, it's sold so much because it's 966 performance. That's, like, maximum performance. The only other one I was looking at is the, maybe the Sabre Turbo, but that is less performance, 436, compared to 520. Yeah, that's a big performance difference. Let's give it a test drive. Boom. Tried calling you earlier. Be careful using money. Oh, why be careful using money? I bought three uh toolkits and the motherfucker took three thousand dollars from my pocket Ooh. okay i'll make sure to keep He's, that in mind all of them are taking everybody's money if you spend money with them so got sure you okay okay yeah I'll, I'll keep that in mind thank you heads up driving this for you want to test drive it? yeah i want to test drive it thing we get get muscle car all right yeah Give me a call if you need help oh, we'll do we'll do dapper in it. thank you always try to remain dapper you look very, very dapper. Thank you. You're looking quite nice yourself, too. Uh, thanks, Max. <laughs> Catching a bit. Yeah, Gauntlet is a super fast car. That's why everyone's got it. All right, this is manual. Got to remember that.
a little bit loud. Doesn't drive too bad though. Handling wise, it's pretty solid. Not the best acceleration, but that's fine. I like the handling though. The handling's pretty sick. We're good. It definitely can drift a bit too. Honestly, I've been learning manual and I kind of like it. I've kind of been preferring manual over other ones. Okay, it's going to take a bit of learning. I don't think you can do a wheelie in this. No, it doesn't look like you can do a wheelie in this. Ow. I do like this. Only big downside is probably the noise. Still getting there in terms of the, the drifting. We could easily get a decent turbo in this. That'd help with the acceleration. Definitely ain't too bad. Imagine this is like a criminal car for Max, though. Now, this would make a pretty decent crime car for Max. And just, you know, good casual driving, too. Low top speed, got you, okay. We could always get, like, a sequential on this. That's the other option. I do like it. Just, again, just imagine this in the same colors as our car. The black and gold. We'll try the Sabre Turbo. Haven't given that one a shot just yet. Telling that one is cheaper right now too. I could afford that one right now if I wanted to. Let's give it a whirl. Muscle. I think Saber Turbo has decent customization on it too. I do like some good customizable cars. Not bad style either. Yeah, it's manual, okay. Definitely another loud one. Acceleration doesn't seem too bad. Hmm. I feel very small in this car, to be honest. I feel a lot smaller in this car. It's not as high top speed either. Try the drift. Hmm. I ain't gonna judge on the drift because that's just me being bad at drifting. Hmm. I don't know. I, I feel like I kind of like the Phoenix more. The Phoenix feels more Max at the moment. I mean, look at Max right now. He looks like a child in this. Why is it so big? Or is, why is Max so short? 
I guess I should be asking. He's so small in this. I mean, he's a short king, but still. As you can do wheelies? Uh, doesn't look like it can, no. They, they might have removed um, the ability for these cars to do wheelies in 4.0. I feel like the Phoenix just feels more max to be honest. It feels more unique in a way. And I like unique feeling cars. I can't say I've ever seen someone in a Phoenix. Looking up vintage cars. I mean, there is, but I, I like the idea of Max going more like classic muscle cars in 4.0. He already had like super classy cars in 3.0. Wow. Okay. Let's see what other ones we got. Specify which one of the moment because a lot of those, a lot of those famous people are in hot water. So famous at the athlete with a gambling addiction, not famous. Let's see sports classics. Any of these jump out to me? Well, I'm thinking price-wise as well, by the way. Why is this $69,000? Can I take this for a test drive? Yeah, these aren't really what I'm looking for. I'm really feeling like a good muscle car for Max. I don't know, just just this in black and gold, I think would look really nice. Again, like, you know, matte black for the main color and then a gold stripe down the middle. I feel like that just looks so good. Hmm. There's the Runa. Yeah. It's got decent performance on the Phoenix too. 520 isn't bad compared to the rest of this. The Virgo. Yeah, it doesn't feel very max. This is the Dukes. We can get the Dukes for a run. That's 506. Let's make sure no one else pulling out a test drive. Nope. Oh, the style isn't bad. Max doesn't look as small in this either. Decent acceleration. Ooh, definitely a lot faster, Jesus. Top speed is definitely a lot faster than this, Jesus Christ. Handling isn't too bad either, actually. Only has four gear shifts though. Doesn't go any higher than that. Yeah, this really ain't bad. It's a little wide. But performance wise, it's kind of solid. Like in first gear, it gets to 50 miles per hour. That, that's pretty big. Now, this in matte black would look kind of sick. Let's see. Let me see if there's any good customization options in it. In first gear, it, 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 it really cruises in first gear.
Definitely not a bad cruiser. As you said, could be good for Mad Max too. Let's see what oh what options we got. Spoiler. Would we want a spoiler? Uh, maybe. Front bumper. Was this change? Uh probably without front bumper. Rear. Oh, one of those. Again, not really the style I'm going for. Exhaust? Uh, very minute differences there. Roll cage? Oh, damn. Two different types of roll cages. Is that it? Hood? Feels too similar to Glendale, you think? Ooh. Ooh, a lot of hood options. Ooh. That doesn't look too bad. Hmm. Plate color, window, liver. Oh, this has liveries? No, it doesn't have liveries. Windows, get that like. Oh, uh-oh. Server crashed. Uh-oh. Okay, I guess the server didn't like me doing that. I know the Dukes isn't bad, to be honest. Like, you, you guys saw that speed, right? Hold on, my computer's freezing. Give it a second. Happens every time 5M closes for some reason. Just gotta give it a second to recover. There we go. All good. I mean, that top speed, the thing is, the speed is like a huge difference to the Phoenix. Like, that performance was huge. Like, it was getting to 150. I feel like the Duke's kind of a sleeper. As much as they do kind of like the style of the Phoenix, the Duke really wasn't bad. We didn't even get a chance to see everything either. I think I can change that like, the hood design and everything. The only thing is, I don't think you can... Like, have primary and secondary, I don't think? Yeah, damn, that really wasn't too bad. You get a turbo in that too. I don't think I've seen a manual car that gets like to 50 to 60 miles per hour on first gear either. Like most cars I see in manual gets like 30 miles per hour in first gear. That was getting like to the speed limit in first gear. Is that is that a good or a bad thing though? I, I, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing with manual. I'm still too new to it to know. Yeah, that genuinely was pretty solid. Hmm. Don't think you'd ever be able to make it the Duke of Death. Hmm. I try... I don't think you can. Less shifts the better, really? Oh, that is good then. I mean, if we're looking for a crime car, that could be a pretty decent crime car. Just saying. It really wasn't too shabby. 
I might take it for another test drive just real quick. I need to highway blast it. Get a real feel for it with the highway. See, I... Timothy told me this car was rubbish. It's relatively decent. Let's like slap a turbo in there too. I genuinely think this could be a sleeper. This time you're thrall. Okay. I mean, I think it's decent. There's only four shifts on it. But shift four gets you like a huge distance. We'll do a little bit more testing with it, see how we feel. But technically, we could afford that right now if we wanted to. That is within Max's price range. Duke. It's like 22k? Nice, like, little cruise car for us. Good thing to do crime in, potentially. The customization seems a little limited. I would like to make it a two-tone color, but if only one tone's available, that's fine. Storm, no, just the server crashed for some reason. We're still loading in right now. probably just wake up where we were and just see if we can do another run on that just to see you know i overheard people in the um the car shop talking about people not being able to access their pockets and that's a good sign the server's crashing I'm surprised it didn't really crash sooner. I mean, we, maybe that's the reason the car was performing so well. Maybe there's like an issue on the server that caused it. Might have higher gearbox when an auto? Maybe? Oh, I, I didn't test to see if it's sequential. It could have been a sequential. I should test that. But no, that, performance-wise, the Duke definitely stood out to me more so than the other cars. The Phoenix was good style and performance, though. I, I did like the style of the Phoenix. I'll give it a test. Maybe we won't buy it today because it's not exactly going to be going anywhere. At least give it a good old test. Let's see. Looks like we're loading back in now. A 
Otherwise, we could maybe save up for a better car, but I really like the style of those cars we just tested. But I much prefer, like, old-style muscle than, like, modern muscle. I think that's what kind of suits Max better, too. The only thing I don't really like about the Duke is the wideness. It feels very wide. If that makes sense. The Phoenix feels more like a better size. But he doesn't look small in it, which is good. That other car, the Sabre Turbo, he just looks so small. He looked tiny in it. Phoenix definitely wasn't bad either. I think that's why I'm kind of torn between the Duke and the Phoenix. Like, the Duke has probably better performance, but the Phoenix, I think, is better style-wise. Like, the Phoenix seems to be topping out at, like, 110, whereas the Duke was topping out at, like, 160. Pretty big difference there. Not to mention the, like, half the shifting needed. Let's see, loading in. Can I wake up at Mosley's? Might not be able to make wake up at Mosley's. Waking up the house should be easy enough, though. Let's see. Yeah, no, we're gonna wake up at the house. Boop and boop. Um, before we leave, I need to go check the money, see how that's doing. Second load in. Morning. I heard a door. Let's see how things looking. Was that Timothy that just left? Okay, I know it's already pretty filled. We don't need to refill it just yet. Actually, I'm going to guess that's Kitty that just left. Ah! Oh, oh. shit. Hey. Holy jump scare. Sorry, sorry. How Hello. you doing? Um, probably about to do a money run, honestly. Oh, right. You got enough for it? Yeah, I think we're, get, we're definitely getting up there now. Like, in terms of cleaning, we're getting a lot more efficient. Yeah, I brought, like, another 15k, though. I had a theory, by the way. So, we're making progress, but I'm just preventing it because I keep bringing more money. You had a theory? Yeah. What? Yeah. Do you think the computers are adding heating to the house? Uh, 100%. Do you think if we got oh. rid of them, these would be more efficient? If we got rid of the computers, it would be more efficient, but um, I don't... think that's that's like up to, I think that's ultimately up to, uh, what's it called? Kitty and Ray? Ray and Kitty and Ray, yeah. I we can that's... ask them. Yeah, I think we should and see, and just see what we can do with that. Yeah, it's just not using it. We could always put it in the storage if needs be. Then like oh. use it again in the future. Ah. You good? Yep, I'm good. I lose it 2004 thanks to the tier one gifted. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful Goblin and Maximotes. Oh yeah, sure thing. Appreciate it a little. Right, let's go. I've just been doing some car testing. I think I can get myself a muscle car. A muscle car? Yeah, I was looking at the Duke. The Duke was surprisingly speedy. Hmm. I guess like 160. It, It is hard to stop, though. Oh, right. Is that a problem with it? I mean, if you don't have a problem with that, then yeah, you can do that. Go ahead. I think you you saw it before when uh did that one jewelry run with me. Or like, we run, the I Duke? think. Yeah, that was one of those was the Duke, right? You, you mm. like the classy style of it or whatever. We only did one run, didn't we? And it was an electric car. Mm hmm. Yeah, did. No, no, it wasn't an electric car. One of them was a Duke. I must have not been paying attention. <laughs> I, I don't remember that. I only remember the electric one. 
Maybe I did like the start. It's all good. It's all good. Well, here you go. Be safe. Um. Want me just hang here for a second? Are you, are you doing anything? Uh, not really. No. Okay. Okay. If I'll just call if you need, I need to get picked up or something. Okay. Thank yeah. You. Give me a ring. All right. See you. Around. See you. Let's hope he doesn't get robbed. Right, let's do a little bit more testing. I want to see. Genuinely curious to see how it does on the highway. He's getting that. It seemed to handle pretty well. Timothy said it was bad to stop, but the thing is, the local car could handle differently to the purchase one. You never know. Don't know what color I'd make it though. We're just like completely matte black be too cliche cliche. I feel like that'd be too cliche. What up, Mr. Jones? Yeah, what's going on, Walker? Let's see. Yeah, that's still twenty six. The Duke is... how much? Yeah, 23, so it is cheaper. Surprised that it's a lower rating than the Phoenix. Actually, what's different? So it's top speed, acceleration. What's different about it? It's almost exactly the same. It seems like acceleration the Phoenix is better, but I, I didn't see that. Are we good to pull out? Let's pull out. There we go. All right, let's go give it a whirl. I mean, this color definitely isn't bad. Let's go try a highway blast. Oh, is it sequential? No, not sequential, okay. Get ourselves the highway first, then we'll highway blast it. Just to give it a test. Honestly, noise wise, it isn't too bad either. Yeah, this definitely ain't bad. Highway blast time. Let's see, what does this top out speed wise? How's I getting to 160 before? Okay, yeah, this seems better. Yeah, maybe the 160 was a glitch. Ooh, turning at high speeds is a little bit difficult. It ain't bad, though. How about stopping? And we stop. Ooh, yeah, I see what Timothy means. Ooh, yeah, I kind of see what he means with that. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'll give the Phoenix one more go as well, just to see what the top speed is. Yeah, this is a very wide car, though, Jesus. Yeah, turning and... The stopping definitely seems to be a little bit of an issue. Let's 
Style ain't bad. I'm not sure if this is Max's style as all. I don't see now that the server is not scuffed. I, I have a feeling the performance was different because of the server scuff. Because it definitely feels different now. Hmm. Let's give the Phoenix another while. I'd be willing to save a bit more money for the Phoenix. I really do think it looks sick in black and gold. Let's give it another whirl. Phoenix, Phoenix. Test drive. Alright, highway check. Yeah, this feels a lot more compact, this one, than the other one. Only big downside is the noise the engine. Stopping wise is a lot better. Same with the turning. I wonder how many gears this one has. So I think it's six. Okay, highway blast time. And shift four. Five. It definitely feels a little bit slower. Hmm. Yeah, only six sheer, uh, gear shifts it has. I don't know. I feel like this just... It, it suits Max in a way, you know? This is Johnny Demon's car. I guess this just goes to show how fast the Glendale goes, though. If these muscle cars barely break, like, 110, 120, the Glendale easily gets to 150. Glendale's technically a better crime car than this. Yeah, I gotta be honest, I'm pretty sold on the Phoenix. In terms of, like, style-wise, I just think this suits Max better. More so than the other ones. I don't like how wide the Duke is. The Duke is really wide. And the performance isn't that much different. It felt different initially, but now it doesn't feel as different. And see, I can see Max cruising in this too, and I do love me a good cruising car. We'll go quickly check the customizations on him. See what's available. Ah. Mm, exactly. That, that's the difference in performance between the two. This one definitely is easier to control. Very good to cruise in, too.
I feel like it's very unique too. I, I do love me some good unique cars. As I said, Max is, is low-key a hipster. He likes the cars that not as many people drive. Cars that aren't as mainstream. Oh. Why can't... Hey, how you doing? Oh, doing good, doing good. Sorry, I, I just here to check customization, so I'll wait. Nice no, thinking black and gold. Like matte black with a shiny gold stripe down the center. That's what I was thinking. Basically the same colors as the Glendale is what I was thinking. See, so just going to wait. Yeah, I think it looked really nice. Feel very max too. He doesn't look as small in this. He's not a short king right now. Ooh. All right, let's see. What can we do to this? Spoiler. If you remember, this is a really wacky spoiler. It does. Okay, from bumper, what can we change? Very minute changes. Skirt? Skirt. Yeah. Exhaust. Interesting exhausts. Grill? Not bad, not bad. Is that everything? Oh no, hood. Oh, this is how you get like the angel on top if you wanted. Damn. You know, the spoiler is kind of wacky, but it doesn't look the worst. Ooh, damn. Is that glass or did you just get rid of the roof? It sounds look like Homer Simpson's car that he designed. Liveries? I oh, know liveries. Extras? What is this changing? I, I don't guess. know what so this is changing. Should, like, make you faster, like, for getting up to gear, yeah. I don't know what that's changing. I'm thinking of buying this car right now. Oh, I was saying this, like, that's why I spoiled it in here so I can actually see it. I can help you with that. I can still, I can still the car, as long as you know what the number is. Boom, 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 boom. But I was thinking this car. Like I said, we can go for, like, a nice... Just your primary metallic and shit? No, oh, I, oh. I didn't get Let's the Let's see, colors. Yet. I wanted to get it first. Primary. Oh, yeah, you can get it. Uh, I, didn't know, uh, I didn't know you were here. Oh, okay, yeah, so. Yeah, because I can even eyeball it. Hey, hello? I am done the money run. Can you pick me oh, up? Remember, that was really, you, is really fast fine. this time. So, uh, I had yeah. to go no, quick, I mean, quick, quick, because I forgot, like, the cops are hot on this right now. Right? I'm very afraid. Nah, I, I just want to leave. Yeah, you know, I'll be there in just a minute. All right, thank you. I made $21,000. Let's go. Ooh, nice. Okay, see you soon. See you soon. Yep. Don't scream that loud. And return vehicle. You know, I'm pretty sold on the Phoenix, to be honest. I like the Phoenix. Won't buy it today, but it's something I'm definitely looking at. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I don't think Ray's customized her car yet, has she, the Gresley? I don't think she's looking to customize it, though. Let's 
Let's see, where's our bunny boy? I thought you were someone <laughs> pulling up to fuck me over or something. Hey, yo, something. you got 21k? Yeah, let's go to the... I can put this shit away ASAP. <laughs> let's go... Which one? Any preference? Uh, no preference. Just closest bank. Yeah, we'll go Legion. Yeah. Actually, we'll go to the casino one. People don't go to that one. Yeah, I don't think I'll go for the Duke. I, I like the Phoenix. The Phoenix? Yeah, we like the style of it. Mm, okay. Again, I'm just looking at those super sports cars or whatever. Yeah, the million dollar cars. Your very yeah. first car in town. One million dollars. I, I gotta shoot big, bro. <laughs> I mean, may as well. It'll be probably the only car you ever get. Oh, it's ambulances. Okay. Well, I wouldn't know about that. I don't know about that. Like, what uh, if I use that million that I get and use it at the casino and gamble it all? <laughs> and I could double my money. Right? You never lose with gambling. Yeah. Okay, so you, so you customize at some point. Honestly, customization isn't too expensive. It's like $600 for a coat of paint. In the grand scheme of things, that isn't too much. There you go. Alrighty. Thank Slowly you. but surely making your way through all that money. Yep. We'll get there. Yep, it's uh, it's a lot, but hey, it's still good money. It's a process. Mm -hmm. I might uh go back up to Toledo to push more. We'll see. Alrighty, do you need me to drop you off anywhere? Um, the house probably. Just I, house? I can't ask you to drive me up to Polito unless you're fucking uh super busy right now. Uh, not really. I, I, oh, I really? was just test driving okay. cars. All right, Polito. You don't mind then? Yeah, yeah, I'll take you up to Polito. All right, thank you, Max. Uh, yes, no let, let me change and put this gun back first. Okay, let's head back to the back. <laughs> I forgot you take that with you. Yeah. Yeah, that's the Phoenix to our left there. That's the, the, the car I was thinking of. That's a very, yep, that sound, seems like a U, U type of car. That's my thought too. Only 26K. I, it's either FIFA or you know. Yeah. There's no way it's Uno. I think he's doing G6. Most likely, yes. The G6 is always doing G6. Who the fuck is this guy? Oh. He's just chilling. Yeah. Let the man chill. Timothy, no, no. They call that in, Timothy. They call that in. The locals call in guns. Does he not know that locals call in guns when they see it? Let's take him up to Polito. I'll talk to him about the weed stuff too. Because I'd like to get his opinion on it. I said just at the moment it doesn't feel like pushing suits max. Are you serious just going to let's get changed? Hey Mimi. Boom. 
out racing, got you. All good. Yep. Let's get going. All righty. You put everything away? Yeah, I did. Also, it's all it's all good and everything's loaded. Perfect. Well, just be careful because locals do call that in sometimes. Yeah, I'm aware. Why can't I get in? There we go. Well, this guy does not give a fuck. He's just eating his sandwich. Yeah, he's so. just chilling. Can't blame him. All right, to Polito. To Polito's do some pushing. Did you talk to uh talk to him yet? Again, to like further the discussion about pushing and shit. Yeah, I I've just kind of been thinking. I I'm not sure if it really suits me. Oh like, really? It, it, well, it's just pushing. It can get violent, right? Like how? Like with the locals. Um, they can pull a knife or a gun, but then you just have to be sh sure to uh punch them in the face before they do that. You know. Got you. I gotta be honest, I'm kinda of worried. I've never done anything like that before. Max, there's a first for everything. Like, you were worried about driving a stolen vehicle one time, and now look at you. You said, fuck business, I'm gonna go back and True. do some. You're distributing illegal substances. Very true. I think true. Uh, getting a little violent is the least of your worries, right? Yeah. Because you're manufacturing moonshine and giving it out to people. I mean, that, I just leave it on doorsteps. He's basically seen being a delivery driver. But you make it, too. I mean, I make it. I, I like doing the making of things. It's just the pushing I'm kind of scared of. Like, even with the pushing it's the moonshine, I was overtly chill. cautious. It's very chill. And um, if anything... Going around doing those moonshine deliveries might get you in a little bit more trouble instead of weed because you just hide and just sell and then yeah, they won't they're none the wiser. I think it's those initial sales I gotta do I'm kinda worried about. Like once I get to the point where I can push on the street, I think it'll be fine, it's just those initial ones I'm kinda scared of. I hear ya. I say ease into it and get a little dip your toe into the to the water mm. right try it out first and if you for sure don't like it then all right then, then that's definitely not your thing right yeah it does come with dangers though i can't deny like yeah going into it you gotta understand like there could be things you gotta like look out for like officers coming by and uh no, i've always been careful of that the officers coming by to hover and other people like getting in trouble too for other shit that might bring mm. the police up there and you're just at the wrong you're just in wrong place wrong, wrong area. time yep is it best to do it with people like have someone with you i do it by myself it's fine do you yeah it's honest i honestly prefer doing it by myself to be honest because i don't accidentally end up stabbing someone true do even have like someone stand by in case you do get stabbed or shot well, the thing is, the guild people come by and, uh, and regularly check or call me to make sure. Oh, no, I mean, I, I mean, like, you know, with the pushing on the street. No, no, not like the pushing up here in Polito, more so the uh, initial ones you oh, gotta you, do. Oh, you definitely have people. Okay, yeah. definitely have people. Yeah, because that... I won't do that by yourself. I've done it t twice by myself, and I've gotten very lucky. Yeah, that, that's honestly the pit that I'm most... I, I wish I could just go straight to Polito and start doing stuff there. Because that's the part I'm most worried about. Yeah, you'd have to have somebody um, watch your back and like make sure you don't get stabbed and, and yeah, like blast shots and then, or like if the police yell, then uh, you can't be the getaway driver. Then someone else has to make sure they can get you out and stuff. That, yeah, that, those kinds of things. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think I've just got like, the initial nerves of it. Once I've done it once, I'll be fine. It's like that this is uh, something new for me. No, I got you, Max. It can be terrifying. Because, like, I mean, that I was pretty anxious doing it the first time, too. Like, doing all those runs and potentially going to get shot. 
it, it fucking sucked. You've never been shot before, have you? Uh, I have, yeah. Oh, was that, was that a long time ago? Uh, has been a bit, yeah. Mm. Can't remember the last time. So I've been shot by officers, shot by getting kidnapped. Officer shot you before? Oh my god. Well, Fingal Dan. Oh. He was an officer uh, once, in case you didn't know. I did not know that. Yeah, same with Vingal too. Uh, how are those guys? How are those guys officers when that <laughs> one one of them literally ripped off someone's hands and arms and just ran away with them? Like, well, I don't get that. For Fingal, it was a court punishment. He got caught for human trafficking, and his punishment was to go through the cadet process. What now? Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. Drop me off here. It's done. Oh, right. Hey guys. Whoa. Hey What's guys. up? Hey, hey guys. Hey. What are you, what are you well, doing? Well, 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 well. Look who it is. Look who That's it is. Here in Polito. Oh, wait, wait, yeah. Don't if JFK he me, please. The shot, if he reaches, take the shot. They're on the grassy knoll. The wheel. What, what are you talking about? What's going on? <laughs> Your hands on the wheel, Max. I've got my hands on the wheel. Don't JFK me. He's right there. Okay, too Follow soon, man. Oh, yeah. Well, you don't see me around every corner since I stopped doing the taxi work. I don't do the taxi work uh, anymore. He sounds like you got sneakier. I work at the coffee shop instead. That is true. I did. That blends in better, huh? Hey, it so looks better. Stalk me easier. I mean, oh, I think it nice. looks cool. Wait, it says beige or is this like yellow? I like a gold. Tell. It's beige. Oh, gold. gold. Wait, this is a classy little strip down here in the back. That's classy. Well, that thank is a classy, you. That's a tasteful that, that's stripe always right been there. there. I think it looks, it looks better quite in nice. This color. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Better, yeah. I, I like uh, that and gold. I think it's a good color combination. And classy. Thank you. I think you're getting a muscle car in the same color. What, what kind of muscle car? The Phoenix. Oh, I see. Um, with that one. It's a bit like of an the older. one Stanley used to have. Yeah, it's like not like that. a modern one. It's more of an older one. Ooh, how's things been up here? Been all right. So just been chilling. It's good. Weed. It's like a, you know. That's how it's been going. Occasional meeting and stuff like that. Just chilling, basically. Just chilling? Yeah, yeah, just I chilling, feel, yeah. Max. You always have a tattoo? Oh, uh, ever since being in prison. It's a prison tattoo? What even is that? Is, is it, that a wolf? It's Cerberus. Oh, it's a what? It's deep, bro. Cerberus. Cerberus. Oh, yeah. I see. Memory of my time in Cerberus. Yeah, yeah. Really good memories. I've also got other tattoos, too. I've got, like, a back tattoo of, like, an angel in jail. It says bad angel. Whoa. Because you know, the, my last name's Angel. Yeah, no, yeah. That's like it's deep. Yeah, it's deep. I, I wanted some nice tattoos. Tattoos are sick. He's full of yeah. metaphors. Yeah, no, yeah, you're a, you're a profound guy, Max. I don't even think it's a metaphor. You. What are you guys up to? Um, I asked them to give me a drop off. I was doing a money run real quick and then I got stressed out. I'm like, okay, never mind. I'm just gonna come back over here and shit. I finished it though. So. Nice. It's much very money. Nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I was, I like, it dawned upon me. This is not a good idea right now. I gotta wait until like a little later because I forget, like, this is a hot time for cops to be mm. like on their shit, you know? Yeah, this is kind of prime time. It is very much prime time, and I'm I was doing money runs during prime time, by myself. Not good, not good idea. Yeah, Sometimes gotta be careful. Sometimes you gotta do it. Mm -hmm. So the way that money gets moved. Yeah. Rather but, than piling but, up. Yep, keeping on good track though. But yeah, Max was giving me a drop off here because mm. I decided oh, I'm just I'm gonna push a little bit more until I have uh, a little game night to go to in a couple hours. Huh? Ooh, go, what you playing? Stardew Valley. Oh, very nice. Oh, wow. You married How Sebastian yet? What was that fucking attitude, huh, Margarine boy? 
Whoa! 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 What are you talking about? Do they have beef? I, I don't know. I, they might have beef. I Damn. like what I'm seeing. Who would have beef with Delva? Hates it wasn't an attitude. I was saying, oh uh -oh. wow, because I like the game. You He's always saying like clowning around oh, God. and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, oh wow, the update just came out. You can eat mayonnaise now. Yeah. Don't judge a book by its cover. I should have taken the shot. Yeah, isn't he unbelievable? I can't believe this. Alright, um, yeah, so, is, it, is uh, Kanashiro around? They, they no, we'll around? probably, no. no, you'll probably never see him selling yeah. up here, honestly, at this time. When is their usual hours, if I might ask? Morning. Oh, yeah, probably like 12 morning. hours ago, like, or 12 hours Easy from time. now, complete opposite. Oh, I'm never around during that time. Either. Like, some of them are around now, but they don't sell up here right Yeah, now. JJ was twatting about Polito earlier. He twatted, I love weed, and then he twatted, the weather in Polito is really nice. This guy, this guy is <laughs> instigating. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. Alright, well, is Barry around? Uh, I don't know. I don't he's think still he is doing right this now. Raiding thing. Mm -hmm. He's probably doing that. I don't know what the fence guy is in Sandy, but I know that he exists. Never found him. I wonder what he's. I wonder what he's raiding. Like houses. He's raiding houses. Barry. Like an, yeah. This no, is, he's raiding in like, WoW. He's he's raiding like, in World like, of Warcraft. He's killing oh. some bosses. Yeah. Yeah. He's I'm got more like of two a, characters he's raiding I'm on. More of a Final Fantasy. Is he dual boxing? Kind of guy. I don't think so. I think they're on the same account. Final Fantasy so 14 is pretty good. Alright. Yeah, Dover. Final um, Fantasy 14 is okay, I guess. How, you you mesh his sign on to the app, bro? I'm no oh, spot. That would be OOC. Timo, after you attack <laughs> okay. me, when I say, oh wow, what a cool <laughs> game. After I say that, you just freak out because you're self conscious your about you your choice it. in you games for some in reason. Past. You can't leave it in the past. A little banter like that. Why are you so self conscious about Stardew not, Valley? I wasn't self conscious at all. I thought you were the one that was self conscious about it. Oh! I, it, like, I thought you were giving me an attitude. Yeah, what if I do give you an attitude, Timo? The then fuck you wrong. gonna do wrong. about it? Damn. Damn. That's all. Rama Holy Lord. shit. Never yeah, wrong. Delver, if you, if you changed. Shit, then you're just an incorrect person. I'm never it's wrong. It's not true. You gotta learn that about me. You said the ICC was yours. That's because it was mine. Nope. The whole world was mine at a time. Delva Nation. Just have a whole, whole island. I used to be Jaeger's somebody. Jaeger's Island. No, I also, there was an island on Offshoot that was specifically Delver Island that I won as a war trophy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Do you still have it? No, yeah, I don't still have it. heavily irradiated now. That is true. Probably you could probably still, still go there, yeah. Maybe, I don't, I don't know. Is that where you've been practicing your swimming, buddy? What? Well, it's none of your business. There's, there's nothing wrong with trying to get fit in the water, okay? There's a lot of lessons out there in the ocean if you just listen for them. All right, That's well, if deep. you talk like, yeah, you remember that you one, talk like that to me again, I'm going to kick your ass over. Whoa. 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 Come on. I want to see that. You're telling me it's not none of my business? The fuck are you talking about? I don't know. I guess I'm just really misunderstood today. Everybody just thinks I'm... Um... I'm like no, you're copping a fucking stuff. attitude towards me. Everybody thinks there's like something wrong with how I say things, even though, you know. You're copping an attitude with me, and I don't appreciate it. I just woke up. Hello. Well, uh, good morning. Um, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's weed time. It's weed o'clock. It's weed o'clock. Yeah. yeah, hold on. Let me please come inside. Oh, I gotta get a. I gotta get a bike too. No. All right, we'll have fun weeding. Oh, yeah, go get a bike. What are you about to do, Slutler? I don't know. I just did, did a shift to the get coffee shop. Real quick, using your coffee. Oh, nice. Uh, give Got me, like, coffee? one minute. You just stole your car. The fuck, I didn't give him keys. <laughs> you leave him in the ignition? I guess so. I don't remember giving him keys. 
He's going against some bikes, I bet. How am I supposed to get my car back? I don't think that's your car anymore, Max. Yeah. That's the ocean's car now. <laughs> when the hell did he get keys? Yeah, I guess yeah, it belongs to the ocean now. I'm now I'm trapped in Polito. Gotta get Polito cool. When did he get you keys? Get some overalls. You could be hanging out up here. Max. Yes, I I do I do. Good chance to show him back tattoo as well. I can show off my back tattoo as well with them. Okay. Is there any other requirement with Polito Cole? Was no this shoes. the rules? Yeah, Overalls. take your fucking shoes off. Yeah, no you shoes? get those grippers out. Is that like a requirement? What about all the pebbles? You gotta toughen up those grippers somehow. But I've got so This feet. is where it starts. Yeah, and when yeah. we're done with you, they're gonna be rock hard. Rock hard feet? I don't like that. I'm not sure if I will. I, I'm yeah, willing to give it a shot. Toughen up your senses. Include is there senses in my feet? Yeah. All right. I mean, you were just concerned about the rocks and your feet. True. You're wearing shoes without socks. Yeah. He's already toughening up his feet, Bjorn. He's getting started already. Nice. Yeah, you know, you gotta start somewhere. I, have me I am kind of a little bit nervous to get started with that, though. The whole uh, pushing thing. Not, not like up here. I, I, I wish I could just start up here. It, it's the runs. Yeah, oh, I mean, yeah, those, those are the worst part. That's like that's like putting in the tough work and then up doing this is like the reward, kind of. Yeah, I gotta get into it. I, it's because I don't have any like felony or anything just yet. I'm, 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 as soon as I get my first felony, I'll be fine. Yeah. I'm, I'm new to this world. Uh, tell me, did you think I could get raided for this? Just like... I mean, you could, yeah. But it what? depends on... So to give you an example, I have... I got arrested and I got charged with sale of drug and attempted to distribute and I didn't get raided. Got you. Yeah, or like... One thing you gotta be careful like... Uh, is if they follow you instead of just like pulling you over and they see you doing it and they see you like run into a house then they might want to raid that property so like mm -hmm. making sure you're not being tailed making sure you're like swapping vehicles changing your clothes anything to not give them a chance to like follow you or like potentially raid you and don't keep your fucking you. keys on you yeah don't keep my keys on the me? keys is a good one so from what we can tell they so I've noticed that in the MDT, sometimes they'll put on people's profiles when they have access to someone else's property. But, like, it hmm. doesn't seem that they'll just raid for that. But if they catch you, like, multiple times, maybe they'll use it against you. Because, well, like, I, I actually had my keys on me when I got arrested. Well, the thing is, but, I own the house at the moment. Then you're more likely to be raided. Hmm. Do you think we better... I run a risk every day. So do you think it'd be safer to give it to someone else, have it in someone else's name? I do, yeah. You, you're like, having a house in your name, if you could get arrested with this, definitely makes it more likely you'll be raided. Yeah, and we do have a lot of money in there right now. So like, if you have someone, you know, you trust, I would definitely recommend transferring. Yeah, because if Timothy ever like, if I ever get raided, Timothy's going to kill me. With all the money he's got in there right now. Hmm, okay, definitely need to consider that before we go forward. Someone that isn't going to get raided. Yeah. Like, let's say you're doing your runs, they chase you, you get arrested, you got a bunch of drugs on you, and you have your key, you're probably not getting raided just for that. Like, alone. But maybe a second or, like, a second time and a third time, like, definitely way more likely. Or if they see you ever like coming in and out of your house and then catch you with that stuff, then you're like definitely getting raided. So would it be a smart idea to store that stuff in my apartment instead? Actually, no, because then it's still going to be a raid, isn't it? Yeah. 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 But I mean, the one thing is they, 
it could be a little better, right? Because then they never see you going in and out of your house with it. Yeah, they still find it when they raid, but if you if you get to the point of them raiding you, you're probably fricked either way, right? So True. It's more about them not seeing where you're getting it from or where you're taking it. Got you, okay. Because that's my biggest worry at the moment, alongside the rest of it. Yeah, I mean, that, that's like most people's concern with this, is because, like, other jobs you do, like, if you do money laundering and stuff, like... It, it doesn't seem like they'll ever really raid for that, but drug stuff, they will raid for. So it, it's mm. always like the biggest scare of this type of thing is them trying to raid you. Yeah, they do take like roll bills, right? Like if they raid yeah. a house? Gotcha. Because we've got a lot of that right now. I mean, it's like considered there's a charge for having them, like... If you just have some, they might not take them if they're just searching you, but if you have, like, drugs and that, then they'll probably just take both. Well, it's mostly for the house. Like, yeah, in the house, you got they a They probably lot will take it from the house, yeah. Oh, if they if they raid you and find that, they'll surely take it. Yeah. Got you, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I need to sort that out if I go down this path. Another if the house thing, is in your name, yeah. Another thing that could help you is, like, let's say you get caught, but you only have the Schweed and no rolled bills, you could maybe say, like, it's just personal use, right? But if they find you with both, then it's, like, clear you're, like, slanging or something. And I'm so, like, slanging getting caught, me. Yeah. Mm. So getting caught with, like, just the drugs and no shmoney is a lot better than getting caught with both. Got you, okay. Yeah, it's also, if you hide it in, like, a bush or something near you, like, they and they see you have no weed, but they're pretty sure you're doing it, they will detain you and then just search the area. Yep, so you want to hide it, like, far away, kind of. Got you, okay. Yeah, and then well, they that's will, more like, of a hide the DNA here, right? from it to you. Yeah, I mean, it could be there, too, because, like, when you do the runs, maybe if you have, like, let's say... You know, you get a sh you've done a couple handoffs or runs for Benny, right? So you know how it works. I've helped Timothy with a few. Yeah, you like go up to people, you have a knife yeah. out ready in case they so pull. Let's say like you get a frick ton in the south side. So maybe you want to stash them away and like, so you, in case you get caught, you don't have them all on you, right? So like you put them in a dumpster somewhere so that, and then you just, you know, do like three or five handoffs, then go back to the dumpster and grab them. So that if you do get caught, you don't have, like, too much on you. And you can store, like, your shmoney that way, too, maybe. That's a smart idea, actually. And then anytime it's you slower, finish, but... like, these kind of... Yeah, so, I mean, but that's, like, the thing. Like, if you want to make sure you don't get raided, you got to be slower. So how many of the, the runs do you think I need to do before I can start pushing up here? It's hard to say because Benny is, like... These Always guys did changing. so long ago. Yeah, we did it a long time ago. And it's for fast us, like, now compared to what it used to be. Ours were really slow. Like, we would do 15 handoffs, like, one run, and that would get us, like, two to three stars. But now I hear, like, one run of 15 handoffs can be, like, 10 to 15 stars. So, like, okay. you, you could knock it out in two days. Like, how, how many like stars do you need? 100. Oh, right. Oh, that'd be super fast, yeah. then. Yeah. But like when we yeah, did it, we, we would now. get like three stars a run and we, we spent weeks doing it. Yeah, that'd be very tedious. You could yeah, like, you and Timo could do it in two days. Like four four runs a day, two days, you're pretty much done. Yeah, having someone to do it with me definitely would help. You should always, if always you're working for Benny, always, because he gives you a stolen car. So Oh, got you. Okay. Well, that's, that's, the, now. that's the worst part about ben, working for Benny is the stolen car he gives. So you always really want to have someone like a backup driver follow you in case you need a pickup to dip. Got you, okay. Someone that's good with driving. Yeah. I'm still kind of learning. Even like, even if it's not about like, you know, they don't got to be the best driver. Because also like, your customers will try to shoot and stab you. So like, they might need to scoop you up just to get you out of there, you know, like... We got, we got shot and stabbed and stuff a lot. So like, if you don't have someone with you, like you might just bleed out on the pavement. Yeah, I had to help Timothy with a few of that back in the day. Yeah. Definitely can get a bit rough. 
and definitely need to wear like full disguise, right? Mask and everything. Yeah, oh, yeah. You, I guess you that do is not the benefit. want to show your face. That is the benefit to the stolen car at the very least, you know? Yeah. It's not in your name. But yeah, definitely get an outfit. Always have to be masked up and stuff. Like, you never want to... The moment you let the city guardsmen know what you're up to, like, they're going to be watching you forever. Yeah, always be on their radar. Yep. You want to do everything you can to stay off that radar, which that does mean taking things a little slower, but it is worth it. Oh, that's fine. I, I, uh, I was doing a few moonshine runs. I bought myself an injection just to do it, which is like a really, that slow off-road buggy thing. Yeah. Uh, just to try those and blend cool. in. Yeah, those are cool. Lots slower, but very, very slow. The Barely slower makes up there. a hill. But you know, oh. it's stealth. Stealth over speed. It, it gets like maybe, I think, 80 miles per hour. Oh. I mean, they, yeah, they do blend in, especially in Sandy. Hmm. That's what I thought for the moonshine stuff. What's what's in the cup? A bit of coffee. I'll go to a coffee shop. Oh, okay. free coffee. Yeah, he said he was working at a coffee oh, shop right, earlier. Oh, right, right. I'm yeah. tracked. Sorry. I think Sorry, it is bad. suspicious, though, but, like, yeah, no, I agree. What do you mean well, suspicious? he's been, like, he's been he's sipping been on just it sipping for a while on it, now. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I sip on the coffee. I don't, like, gu you guggle it or anything. We'll just chug it. I sip on it. Like, I feel like okay, you're not I'm even saying. getting any liquid whenever you put your mouth up to that cup. Well, it is getting topped up right now. I mean, it's getting topped up right he's, now. He's really savoring it. Like, he yeah. just gets a little bit on his lips and he moves uh, it off. Is he just like... Well, it's got a little brain water in it, He takes a little sip and then he, like, spits oh. it back into the cup. Yeah, like... Yeah, I'm not back that's what he meant, too. It's infinite flavor. And that's what you say? It's getting topped up? Yeah. Well, no, I th th I meant the rainwater getting in it topped it up. Obviously, that's not really just, relevant now. You just like drink the whole cup of coffee and then you slowly spit in the coffee cup until no. it's full, and that's like your your ritual. If I I'll put my coffee away then. If you guys are gonna just keep Whoa. judging it, nobody's judging. It's just you. a question. Yeah, yeah it was it's just a know. question. Come on, I, come on, I'm man. Not, I, I'm not drinking my own backwash. What's going on with like? Is that what happens with like you and Timo? Do you guys have people who just judge you guys all the time or whatever? Or like, where's this all coming from? Don't know Everybody's so defensive. Who's who's judging you guys? Like, what's going on here? The man. Well, who's that? The OJ. They denied me the liquid library. No, the mayor denied you the liquid library. True. Well, the state owns it now, so the state took it. Oh. Frick the government. Frick the government. Yeah. They said yeah. specifically, you can't do it. Yeah. They didn't care if anybody else did it. Yeah, it, it got denied because my name was on it. Why the heck do they hate you? They want they, them to do something else. Yeah, they want people to do different uh, things in business. So they, they said they want different people in the business. Don't mind their own damn business. Yeah, I mean, who else is going to run that place? Oh, no. Well, actually, Raina does a good job there. But yeah, no, I screw the government. I, sh I should have joined in on Sanguine. I regret not doing that. Well, you know, uh, you were kind of like on the other side. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you had like you a, an offer of too. History. You had a you had an offer. I, I was on the first. Had an offer. I, I got an offer before you got an offer. Me? Yeah, that's not true. Delver is. No, that is true. Because because after my no, meeting, he said he was going to have a meeting with you. I'm giving you the same offer. I'm pretty. I think you're dumb, Max, because uh, that's not true. I think it is. Maybe he said that shit. Drama alert. It's not true. He, he gave me it before he even announced that it was even a thing to the city. Like two days after the meeting, he announced to the city that Sangonaz was a thing. Yeah, well, we were all there. Yeah, we were. Everybody else was. Yeah, when he's covered in blood. I remember yeah. that. You guys took me hostage. Oh, yeah, you were there. Yeah. I was he? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Is me like Him, I'm one of the persons? Gus. Oh, is it Gus? You. Oh, yeah, Gus, yeah. What a day. What yeah, a I don't day. really remember why Gus was there. I think she was just there. I, I think we were yeah, all at the Gus ICC, ICC when you guys got the cool Yeah. yeah. It's like, well, we, we don't want to, like, abandon Gus. I mean, it's Gus. Yeah. You can't abandon Gus. I always say that is my biggest regret from back in the day is not taking Jaeger up on his offer for that place. 
would have been fun. I was just too worried about losing the liquid lime berry. Jeez. Yeah, he put a lot of work into that place. HOA definitely wasn't going to do anything there. Yeah, yeah, well, uh... What if you started a new business and you called it Liquid Library 2? Yeah, that'd go hard. <laughs> Liquid Library. Well, am I, am I pulling a Spongebob movie here? Yeah, like you yeah. buy, you eventually get like a warehouse or maybe you get like a booth at our cool mall that we're going to open up and you do Liquid Library 2. Why don't we just pick up the Liquid Library and move it to Polito? I mean, Sizz is up here, right? Yeah, I mean, like... Well, well apparently he's dead. Sizz is dead. Yeah, Again? He's dead. Again. For real yeah. this time. For real though. this time? Yeah, but that's what yeah. they said last time, too. For real. That is though. true. Does that mean I inherit the liquid library? Well, according to the uh, government, no. Sound like oh, I guess, yeah, 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 that's the point. Yeah, stay owned. Damn it. Maybe someday. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, uh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, maybe you should do liquid library, too. The yeah. sequel. Or what if you just swap the L's around so it says liquid library? We'll turn the upside down. But nobody down knows like... that the library part, the library L is actually the liquid L now. It's like a completely new and different thing. Or turn or the L upside L's down ones. like Waluigi. Yeah. That could work. There's so many possibilities. So many options. Yeah, just turn the whole logo upside down. All the new business. Ooh. Wombo. Yeah, you call it Liquid Library 2, you hire Nick, and then you're set. Run it inside the same building? Well, I, I don't know if you're going to get the same building. Days. Well, he's he's there. He's he does here. Oh, he's still there? I've seen him there, yeah. Huh. Oh, he's he does still the using smart the readings and stuff. Oh, yeah, he does, doesn't he? Yeah, that dirty yeah, dog. Would. That dirty dog, Nick, yeah. yeah. He's making money off of it, I'm pretty sure. That's good. He deserves it. Put a lot, he's put a lot of work in that place. I mean, that place wouldn't exist without him. Mm. Yep, well. But he, isn't he the whole reason they decided to open up a library? Is for him? I don't know. Oh, wait. I thought you were talking about Nick Simone. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> No, no, Nicholas. No, Nicholas. No, the, yeah. the audio in there wouldn't be as good without him. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, he, actually. he's the library part. You're the liquid to his library. Yeah, you're the yeah. liquid. I was the liquid. Not anymore, though. I'm, a, I'm becoming well, a could, criminal. Yeah, but you could eventually get like your little like booth or whatever, in our in our mall when we open that up, and it's you know. You, Reyna, Nicholas, get the band back together. I, I think I've just kind of moved on from Liquid Library. Oh, well, what's like your next thing then? Like, yeah, just doing some coffee, uh, some coffee stuff. Looking at the coffee shop. I, I've learned that I yeah, don't actually like running businesses. I just like being the guy at the front. You just like to be like the desk guy. Yeah, I, I like the customer interaction. I, I don't think I'm actually good at running business. I'm pretty sure the only reason I got invited to Cerberus is because of my accent. I actually didn't do any work. Jeez. You were like an accent hire? You think that's, I think what, so, that's yeah. what it was? Well, my interview for Deputy Mayor for Lang was just like, he's asking what times I'm available. Apparently they were meant to put me through a gauntlet. But I just said I'm available in the EU time and I was in. Do you think they were like... We need a new British guy, and you were the one? Yo. I guess so. I'm, I was diversity higher. Damn. I think it was more or less my fault, honestly. Really? I'm pretty sure I recommended you. Damn. Joint effort between me and Eve. Yeah, I, th I think it was actually probably that way the most. These are the recommendations. Oh. Huh. And then two days after that is when Jaeger called me to join Sanguine. <laughs> wow. Yeah, honestly, if it was if I wasn't deputy mayor, I probably would have like been more likely to join. Mm. Yeah. Well, 
Yeah, I mean, I guess that sort of happened during their Andy's term, no? Is that the, right? Was it what? Andy's term? No, the Sanguine stuff was way before that. That was Lang's term when that all kicked off. Well, I mean, yeah, that's when it was like... The war sort happened of during beginning. Andy's. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Oh, right, yeah. Wait, which part was Andy's term? The what war. No. Wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah. Remember we all got invited over to the aircraft carrier? And for some reason he had like EMS there, like every, like the village people equivalent of Los Santos there. Uh, like for the negotiations? Like yeah. that? Yeah, on the aircraft carrier. There's like a line of EMS, doctors, uh, you... Cerberus was there. What do you mean by Andy? Wait, was Andy mayor at that time? Yeah, Andy was the mayor yeah, at that time. Yeah, it was their third term. I just assumed it was... I thought it went like... Mickey, Lang, and Max. Anyway, I and, completely forgot no. about Andy being mayor. <laughs> yeah, and Mickey, uh, Sexton. Mickey, yeah, it went Mickey, Lang, Andy, oh, yeah. Hardcastle, then Max. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that. Wait, was Hardcastle... No, no, Hardcastle was before Andy, I'm pretty sure. Right? Was it? I think that's true. Yeah. I think you're right. Because then, because then the state account got locked down because the business grants, and I know Sexton was giving out business grants, and the business the account got locked down during Andy's term. Right. Yeah, Sexton was given like like uh, I remember he gave five million dollars to Cerberus for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. Why would Cerberus need a grant? Everyone was getting grants. It was free money. With no expectation of yeah, the money being back remember, or any checks. Yeah. It was genuinely free money. He, he gave Oswaldo, I, know, I think, nice. $7 million. And the comment on the grant was, I want to see what he does with it. You know what he did with it? He gambled it away. I mean, that's kind of a good, that's a good use of the grant, in my opinion. Because what if he doubled his money? Isn't those grants cause so much shit? Yeah. That, in Sex and Sum alone, he gave out $120 million from the state account in his yeah. term alone. Damn. Who knows how much Lang gave out and how much Mickey gave out? Uh, probably have it on documentation somewhere, but I don't have like access to It doesn't really matter for the most part Finances, now. yeah. It's just a rabbit hole I had to go through during my term because it's the whole thing I had to look into. It, it, was, ugh, it was a mess. The state account, it, it was a mess. The whole music industry thing I had to deal with too with the state account. Music industry oh. got really bad after that. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the thing is, they've been scamming the state for two years. It's just no one ever checked if they were actually submitting the right things. I think people were just given numbers and then just went okay. Damn, what a uh, business. It's always been a good faith system. Yeah, they weren't. It wasn't people good are abusing faith. the good faith. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, it was the person that actually wrote the legislation that was abusing it too. Yeah, go figure. Yeah, yeah, that that got a lot of shit for that because that was the, it, Crane found that out and then I had to deal with it. And that's also probably why the music industry isn't going to get paid this time around. Yeah, I never looked at that. You guys heard that siren, right? Stuff. I nope. did not. No, I didn't hear any siren. Wow. You tripping? You paranoid? I don't know. I mean, you do have to be careful. Huh? Are there many houses still available up here? There's a bunch. Mm. I, I always want like an ocean view house. They're expensive, the ocean ones, but yeah. uh, they're expensive and not really worth it. But like, yeah, but the uh, view. one of them, yeah, one of them has a really nice view. That phone call, or like right as I started it. That one. Yeah, that I, one I didn't has a really it. nice view. I like um, was it? Procopio Drive 6. I, I like the look of that one. Hold on. Let's see. I like the, like the structure of it. Procopio Drive 6. Oh. I think oh, it's yeah, got an ocean like view. Cozy house. Yeah. Number 8 looks pretty decent too. That's a bit cheaper. This one's got like a, a lot of really nice windows. Uh, the one just down the street here. Yeah, that, that does look on the ocean. I imagine that's only one floor thing, though, right? Yeah, a lot of those sort don't of, have... 
multiple. It, like, goes down in a weird way. Have you seen inside it? Yeah. Damn, it's a lovely view here. Jesus. So, yeah, this one only goes down, like, ever so slightly. So it's not really much of a basement. That's something. I get to see all the executions on the pier, too. Oh, yeah. Nice. Very it's, nice. It's, it's got, like, two sets of windows right here. I mean, I guess technically ah. this is the second floor. I'm assuming you can't get to the balcony, can you? Uh... I don't think so. Ah, yeah, damn. I don't know. That'd be so Probably nice. Not. I mean, maybe you could find some way to get there, but... There could be a little bit of magic that you could do, but... Yeah. Mechanic your way through. I and imagine if nice. you were, like, really close to the house, and then you, like, had some, like, floor planks that would go... <laughs> you probably could make that work, actually. How much is this? This one's... This one's, oh, like, 800. 800. After tax, it's what? 900? It's only 1% uh... tax now, right? I think it's ten percent again. Ooh. Okay, it's still like about no nice, front but... yard though. Yeah. Yeah. I can see this only having two parking spaces too, maybe three. Yeah, not really too much there. Yeah, yeah like the door's like right here. I mean, it doesn't, it's not bad. I, I, oh, that's the one I was looking at, it's just over there. Oh, which one? Uh, the one just down this way. Oh. Yeah, that one's pretty cool, honestly. I think that yeah. one is, like, only one floor, but that one's pretty cool. I like the style of it, you know? It's very... It gives a cottage vibe, and that's what I like. I love cottage core. Yeah, I agree. Oh, this would be so nice. Got all these dumpsters here, too. I mean... Yeah, easy to throw trash out. Got nice a little cactus. Cactus, little seating area here. Yes. Oh wow! Look Lovely. at this. Backyard. I mean, you got this window yeah. to the ocean. Oh, that is true. Honestly, I kind of want to save up for this. This is. This one has a nice driveway too. Like, look at this. I think it's like six hundred sixty thousand. Yeah, this isn't bad. It's Ooh, got this nice one has a stump. chicken coop though over here. Oh yeah, but you could borrow it. I guess that's true. How much is this one? Uh, 526. Okay, so it's a little bit cheaper. And you get a chicken coop. Okay, this one might uh, not have a basement then either, if it's that much. Yeah, and this one. This like... one's still pretty nice, though. I mean, this one's over here is not too bad either. Weird generator in the back. 480. So that, that's definitely cheaper. Ooh, nice little porch. Hmm. I'll see yeah. that. Yeah, this one's weird. I, I don't like how run down this one is. Like, I kind of like it boards. though. It's, you got like the satellite dish on top. The, the, know, the broken kinda, generator. Yeah. This looks as like Doom Prepper's house. Yeah, I kind of like that about this one, to be honest. <laughs> it's definitely unique, that's for sure. Yeah, you know, I think this one's the best one, like right here. You think this one? I, I think this one. Oh yeah, no, I love this one. I generally kind of want to save up and get it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, honestly, you probably could. Uh, it wouldn't be too bad. Anyone's gonna buy this. I've got some money that should be coming my way soon. Then just you know save up a Ooh. bit. Yeah, just the view here is amazing. Yeah, it's nice. It's like I mean, it's nice that, that window. Have a fence too. That, that window is like directly facing the ocean. It looks. I I, I want to know what it looks like on the inside. You can get like a tour, I guess. Yeah, probably it's not cool PD up here right now. Yeah. Maybe in e e EU, maybe that'd be fine. Yeah, do the EU yeah, tour. Like 12 hours ago when the other people are yeah. away. It'd be cooler if this was the front door, to be honest, but it's I not. I wish that we could have side doors or like back doors. Yeah. I miss same. having that. I guess this is the breaker. You know, I, I think this is definitely my top. And you got a pool across the road, too. That's true, you get the free pool. Wait, is it filled? Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. It's got, a, it's got a hot tub too. Oh, you see, you can just yeah. dip in this if you want to. I mean, you got the biggest pool over there. The ocean. Hold on, Sean's calling me. Hello? What does he want? I mean, maybe tell Timo then. I'm just chatting with Max. 
I really do think Max fits in well with All the right. guild. Cool, thanks. Doing good, cheese. How you doing? All right. See you. I didn't think if Max is joining a group, it probably would be the guild. Just saying, like, apparently there were police here or something. Ooh. Yeah. Selling weed, selling weed. I don't know, to be honest. But yeah, it's probably one of the hey, cooler hey. houses in Polito. If you're not going yeah. for, like, the I largest mansion like type beach house on the other end location is the most important thing for me i care more about the exterior than the interior yeah i kind of like some of these over here like across the street from ours what kind of sucks about them though is uh really they don't share well they share a transformer with like four houses which means they don't get that much power oh right okay which is kind of annoying i mean, I mean it's not like a big deal but it's kind of annoying i can see it becoming a bit of an issue after a while how much yeah. is this one? I don't I feel know. Like these are really expensive ones. Yeah, six hundred forty-nine. Yeah. These ones are cool though, because they got like the coolest backyard. Oh yeah, you got like these little couches. You got little. Honestly, it'd be better without that tree. That tree kind of ruins the view. Yeah, that's that's why they. I think the yellow one has the best backyard because it doesn't have the fence thing either, like over here. Oh yeah. It's just like a simple house with nice like so far. Yeah. A little bit again the trees the trees kind of ruin the view a bit like those two trees yeah, ruin the view for both those houses well i just cut them down i don't know destroy them deforestation yeah, i don't know i like how this one's just like a, a simple house though how simple is it price wise though Oh, it's not listed? Are we in someone's house right now? Maybe. Oh shit, we're on someone's property. <laughs> Damn, someone owns that? I mean, that's definitely a big house is the thing. What about this one over here? How much is this one? Not much of a view on this one, though. Wait, does someone own that one? Is it yeah. For sale? No, it's not for sale. Someone owns that. Oh, that's like, that's a new uh, thing, then. Oh, this one's only 400k. I guess you can kind of get why. Really? It's not much of a view. It's not much of a garden, either. Yeah, there's pretty much nothing back here. Yeah, it's not that big. It's kind of cool, though. Yeah, I mean, it's affordable in this sort of area. It's got pep. It definitely I kind of wish, though. I kind of wish this one was for sale. Honestly, same for like 200k. I want, I want this one, yeah. I this just want like a haunted house to live at. The new Delvis house. Yeah, like I just want like a haunted house to live at. It'd be perfect. Run off to the wilderness. We got this little room over here, too. Oh, yeah. I can see this being a nice little home. Fix wrapper. But then you got like a vinewood mansion inside. Are you picking things up off the floor? It's... Why? There's weed there. It's like shitty weed. You're just picking up random weed now? I wanted to see what it was. Yeah, I, I probably shouldn't have good picked stuff. it up. It wasn't our weed. It was just like old weed that I think someone threw away. Oh. That is nice, Polito. I like how quiet it is up here. Yeah, it's kind of more chill up here than it, like, used to be a while back. Like, it's kind of nice now that everybody up here is kind of... I don't know. I feel like there's a bit more of a community now. Hmm. That is nice. I wish you guys could get more shops up here. Hopefully at yeah, some point. Yeah, I mean, there's, like... There's like this one shop property for sale that's not even sold yet. That we wanted to get at some point, but decided not to. Yeah, you gotta like have a good idea for it. I, I know there's like a maid cafe, right? People are thinking. Well, that was what we were gonna do, but then we decided to not do it. Because uh, we bought this warehouse like kind of next to the strawberry <laughs> convenience store, and we're probably just gonna do all of our business stuff there. May as well. If you've already got it anyway. 
Well, we were gonna buy a business like the, this place with an ice box out front over here. It's like a store, which looks cool, but uh, we decided not to. It's, it's pretty small, right? Oh, so it's yeah, probably it's small. More expensive it's got character, than the warehouse. but it's like the warehouse was more expensive. But the warehouse is like you could probably fit like fifteen of those in our warehouse. That's how big it is. And so, like maybe double the price, right? Yeah, our warehouse was like. 700k maybe not bad. for 650 so it's how huge, much is though. that after tax that's what six hundred and sixty thousand dollars after tax like the inside of our warehouse you see our neighbor's huh. house over there yeah that's that's like the length from the front door to the back of the warehouse damn yeah so yeah we're probably just gonna have like just like a bunch of like little booths in there for our different dumb business ideas it's so expensive though to furnish it and all that oh god yeah i, I finished furnishing my house it was waiting on it it cost me one hundred ninety thousand dollars just to decorate the house yeah that warehouse is going to be so much more so yeah, honestly we've just been waiting for all of our loans to be paid off and to, like get the cars we want and then we're probably just going to fund that because it's basically it's good just idea. the money sink honestly Honestly, so I don't think we're going to profit off of any of the businesses that we do in there. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to make money off business right now. Like, I'm not getting paid at the coffee shop. Yeah. We don't get any pay slips or anything. Wish we did, but, you know. Damn, wait, really? Yeah. I, you, thought, you, I thought you did. No, you get paid in the sale, but you also got to remember, like, those booths cost $1,000 a day. So Why wouldn't you... Yeah. Wait, so you get paid at senior buns, but you don't get paid at those? Nope. You only get paid at senior buns. It's rough. Think anybody clocks in at senior buns and then just runs to their booth? I don't think you can. I think you get clocked out as soon as you leave the doors. Oh. I thought you could still be, like, in that mall area. I think the doors limit. Damn. Yeah, it's kind of rough. I, I hope maybe it it's changes. It's pretty rough. I know Burger by the Ocean's kind of suffering from that. They're in the red. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, basically means you can't I really hire like employees. that business place, but it's like... I really hate being there. I like the idea of it, but I don't like it being in that building. Understandable. It is very crowded there. I mean, Senior Button's always hectic too. Yeah, like, I kind of just avoid it at all costs, because I just... I don't know. It's just too much. Yeah, I, honestly, it's like I, the worst place imaginable for a place like that. Honestly, I I kind of wish there's more areas to sit down there too. Like usually, people just kind of come up to the counter of the the coffee place and just chit chat. Which is yeah, nice. I think that's fine. It's like it's too small for a place like that, though. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I don't know. Eventually, at some point, I think it'd be good. I wanted to do, like, a company and I just sell ice cubes or something. That'd be nice. Or maybe, uh, sardines. Sardines and ice cubes? Yeah. Well, well I guess the part of the issue is, is that each stool has a specific theme. It's like, you yeah, kind of uh, match that theme. Sashimi and Pop-Tarts. Sashimi and Pop-Tarts? I mean, like, the, the yeah, inside that'll be of the like stool my looks... Niche. You know, there's a sushi one with all the sushi stuff inside. The coffee one is all the coffee Can stuff you change inside. That? Nope. Oh. It, it's very much whichever one you can get is what your business is going to be. Because the way that oh, it I works, you could, like, rent them. I thought you could just switch to any one of those if you felt like it. No. Nope. Oh. You're set with whichever one you get. Well, that kind of sucks. Yes, yeah, so if we lose the rent on the coffee shop, we can't open up a coffee shop anymore. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. It seems like people want to open up coffee shops, like uh, Natalia. She wants to open up some, like, bean machine again, but she can't because we have that spot. I mean, she can't open that up. Only chance she has Jeez. is if we don't pay the rent, and then it's up for sale again. Then it's first come, first serve. I kind of wish it was, like, the farmer's market, whereas, like, if you're there, you can claim it, but, like, if you leave, then you don't have it anymore. Wait, so you have it as long as you keep, like... Paying the paying money. rent, so basically you could just have it forever and no one can do anything about that as long mm -hmm. as you keep paying for it. Yep. 
does the rent like auto pay? Like how much time do you have to pay it the next week or whatever? I think you set the amount of time that you have it. And how long you can be paying okay, for so it Okay, so say you buy it for like a month and then do you have to show up immediately when it like Oh, you refreshes, can just never show up. Or... Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, you have to be there as soon as it refreshes, I'm pretty sure. But I guess you'd know when it's going to refresh. You'd keep track of it, yeah. It. Well, no, I did, the thing is, i got to rely on Ash. It's Ash's business, so... Hopefully, Ash is keeping track of that. Okay, but there is, like, a time when... Like, Ash can't prepay to keep it? I actually don't know. I, I, I don't know the specifics of that. I'm assuming that as soon as she the week's over, then... It's back to the public? People used to hold down that area with knives and wrenches in trying to get oh a Oh my god. Well, I think people thought it'd be a gold mine of money, but it really isn't because you're doing it pay slips. I mean, Jeez. I, I kind of get why because someone could literally just rent a booth and then sit in there, lock the door, and no one would ever know they're there. That's hilarious. Someone could theoretically do that. Like, because you can open and close the shutters whenever you want. You can lock people in there if you want, and there's nothing they can do. It's just jail. Just jail, yeah. Damn. The other day, Burger by the Ocean did it, but then sometimes it scuffs out and you can't open it. So they locked it with like oh. five people in there and then couldn't open it back up again. They were Jeez. like trapped in there for a good hour. It's kind of funny. Good, good to know. Yeah, I don't know. My big plan was I was just going to have a business that sells ice and then everybody would get their food and then I'd scream at them, hey, does your drink have ice in it? And <laughs> then that was, my, the that was my whole thing. Yeah, I'd, I'd be like, your drink is looking pretty lukewarm right now, man. Hey, it's Bet a you wish you had some ice with that. <laughs> I will say the drinks you can actually choose with ice at the drink machines. Yeah, like, the but coffee, I I'd can have the ice fancy in. ice cubes. Like, I'd have the ones with, like, the little hole in the middle and stuff. That's, like, a cylinder shape. Yeah. I'd do, like, those cylindrical ice cubes with, like, the little hole in the middle. Is that classy? I'm pretty sure that's just a machine that makes those. Yeah, people love that. Or I'd have, like, the hand-carved perfect cube ice cubes. Like, perfectly cube. Like, it's got the sharp perfect edges. perfect cube. Yeah. Yeah, I'd do that. I'd do artisan ice cubes if you want to pay extra. It'd be nice. I like the idea. Yeah, it's like the ultimate business. You just sell ice. Selling water, basically. Yeah, and then I'd do like, I'd do a snow cone, but no syrup. Just only ice. It's just shaved the ice, ice in, a, in like a paper cone, yeah. I think there could be some value to that. That'd be the meal. You get some ice cubes and a snow cone. With no syrup. Which one? Ooh. That one. Oh, the big red one? Nice. How'd you know? Uh, I just looked very carefully at every possible spot. Ah. Going multiple car lengths away from... It. it is nice. I, I I think I really like the one that's just next to it, though, on the other side. I think that's the one I like yeah. most. Yeah, I lost you guys while I was counting. I'm so excited to tell you guys about the parking spaces. <laughs> right, we were just <laughs> running around, and then we were just here. Yeah, we just... went to go get a bike instead. We were just you know, checking out the other houses and the prices. Apparently the house down there is owned now. Yeah, the yellow one. With the red roof. Who owns this though? So many fucking neighbors. Yeah, I, I want to move up here, but it probably won't be for a while. It's six hundred and sixty thousand that house. Yeah. Would be very cozy though. Nice vacation home. Yeah, but like, what if you bought the the building with the ice machine out front, and you just called it Liquid Library Two? Solid library. You'd be right next door to like, not HOA. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, I need them just standing on the curb all day again. Yeah. You just move in unprompted. Liquid library too. Solid, then liquid library, because it's ice. And it melts. Yeah. Ooh. Well, you don't have to do ice, but, uh... Taco truck was... Is that Billy? Liquid library Billy. 2. The sequel. Yeah, he's backing up. 
Yeah, or you could call it like uh, Max's. God, that thing is so fucking bright. I, yeah, Max's that is very bright. Liquid library. Max Angel presents Liquid Library. What you guys got? Well, hey, hey guys. Hey. Hey, what you guys got today? today. Smoothies. Today. Smoothies. Yeah, we got lemon frappes, and then I don't know what Billy has. That's it. We just have lemon frappes. Oh, lemon lemon frappes. How much? frappes. Yeah, how, um, how much? Billy, how much are we? They're Billy? twenty-five dollars. We're getting tacos. We're getting tacos and churros soon. TM sandwiches maybe TM and oh, okay. burgers from the burger store maybe TM. Yeah, hook me up with that lemon. Uh, okay. You don't have any like uh, yeah, quesadillas? Give this to you. Quesadillas? No, we don't, so we only get the stuff. I'm trying so hard. So I'm not do, I'm, I, I think I talked to you I a little bit about the coffee shop. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I don't remember. want to do the drama. I don't want to do it. I'm just we're just promoting uh, other businesses. What so about these, some uh, tostadas? Strong yeah. eatery Round. down in the uh, little soul. Hmm. I was a good idea. Yeah, people do need food up here. There isn't vending machines. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna blow up the vending machines so that then I can have the the conglomerate up here. I think you'd kill people if you do that. Good. They survive off of the vending machine Billy, for the most part. Good. That means that means people are gonna have. That means we're gonna have to start eating locals again for food. The more, the faster that, Ooh. the faster that becomes a reality, the better. You guys should sell that's the true. the rats, the skewered rats. I oh, thought true. about that. You yeah, should do it. No one wants to buy them. Yeah, East I buy them. I see you over it. I don't think it's worth oh. dying over selling rats. Oh, People yeah. will Wait, buy them. Why do you go to the ICU for that? Um, Brad really, King. Man. Oh. And I told him I wasn't going to get involved in it. And it was if it was between them two, I wouldn't start bothering. Well, no one up here cares about that. Well, I mean, I was coming. And we're pretty far away from the sewers. Oh, in front of uh, no problem. Stuff. Yeah, can I have three? Yeah, no problem. Oh, thanks. Oh. I do like the vibes in Polito. Frappe. Yeah. Very yummy. Oh, th thank you. Wait, hold on. What's I, your no, name? I just got you. Fry. Oh, you're Fry. Okay. Yeah, I'm Fry. Hello. I mean, like, a little bit, Billy, but it's not really a big deal, to be honest. Is there a war? People are going to have to die over it. No, no. Oh, that's unfortunate. Listen, Max just really bit, vibes well with the drama. guild. He knows all of them really well. Between who? Honestly, that house would be perfect too. Like, sure, it might have a small interior, but I don't care about that. I want like a nice, cozy place to live, like a vacation home. Maybe a little bit of storage in there just in case. But like, what's it called? Polito. Like, imagine this is like a cottage core interior. One in the middle here. It'd be so nice. Yeah. Nice long driveway, little porch area. Uh, I mean, technically, if they were. Oh, it'd be so lot, nice. It could be bad for us, I wonder if Ray would be interested in going in on a house like that. It's just because we said we didn't want him up here. And so Especially if she's spending some more time up north. Like a nice little That's vacation little home. Spot, you know? Like we still have the girl house, of course. But this is like a nice little out of the what city that, place to go to. What are you looking through? Could be kind of nice. What are you What are you writing down? This way should be close to the fun house too. Then again, if she lives in the fun house, then it doesn't really matter too much. Is everything I think okay, she could Billy? park a car you up kind here. Of upset when you were like riding by earlier. Easy get there in the morning. Like, no, she could theoretically wake up here, but, you know, be waking up in earlier. the fun house, if that makes sense. Yeah, I just woke up, too. Like, she could spawn here, drive there, it's then the technically Holy wake shit, up in the fun house. Wait, when did I see you earlier? Oh, wait, that was, like, 40 minutes ago. Honestly, I kind of want to save up for this now, car. to be honest. It wasn't yeah. a taco truck. We're not, like, in desperate need for a new car. Oh, it was a San you were on a Sanchez. Yeah, I guess I had a Sanchez. I left me that yeah. Julio's house. I was like, hey, it would be kind of nice. Up? You just sounded kind of upset right or something. Oh, okay, I see you. What was this? Hmm. It's an idea I, at the very least. No, it was like maybe like. Yeah, so the girl house or probably or isn't or going anywhere anytime soon. Though if it was sold, we easily could make like 200k like, really, from it, like just it. for us and get everyone else their shares. 
because I was talking with Then we just need an extra 400k to get that house. I stopped what I was doing because I was excited. I think we could easily do. I was like, oh, Bill, Billy. And then you were like, hey, I just got this. And you sounded kind of upset. Well, not easily, but, you know, be a goal to have money-wise. Okay. Like, pretty much in terms of spending money on the house, I think I'm kind of done spending money on the house. Well, We've got enough in there like now. The honey lemon frappe. And a vacation house would be really nice. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. But I don't care if it's usable for anything. Because just because we got the other house if we want something usable. Not every house got needs it. to be a gang okay. house, you know? Nice. It's what I like about the girl house. We made it a house first, then usable gang stuff second. Well, that's good. It's good. Glad you guys are doing that. Yeah, the view. I want a house with a really nice view. I mean, self smoothies. Hmm. Yeah, something's something's up with Billy. Hey, he's Billy. He's doing Billy stuff. Yeah. All right, well, I probably best be heading out. All right. It's good to see you. Yeah. I don't want to hang out up here more. Hopefully, you know, with uh, what I'm doing, might get a chance for that. Yeah, I mean, probably. It's, it's, it's like decent money and all that. Yeah. Then get a house. Fuck. You okay? Yeah. Good. Oh, okay. I was just saying I'm going to head out now. It's good right. seeing you guys. I'm sure I'll be uh, seeing more of you guys in the future. See you, uh, see you later. Catch on the flip side. Catch on the flip side. See you. See you. You know, th this house up here would be perfect. I mean, look at it. It's so nice. Uh, I want to quickly check. Is How many parking spaces are here? Because if you look carefully, like she said, it's when, like, the parking thing appears, I think. Oh, no. Here we go. So. One here. Two. Three. Four. Damn, four parking spots here isn't bad. I'll make sure there's none over here. Yeah, I mean, I love this little seating area. Again, with the view. Oh. No parking out here, is there? Yes, it's got four parking spaces. That's really solid. Ah, uh, maybe. Honestly, if the Gruel house ever does crumble and we do sell, I probably would like fully move up here. That's nice though. That, that's nice just chilling with the guild there for a bit. I'm kind of, I'm getting a bit more comfortable with the idea of getting to the sell stuff too. I think it'll be good money and just kind of a good thing to get into in general. And, you know, good opportunity to hang out more with the guild, too. At some point, Max will need a group to hang out with. You're outside the girls. But it's good to have other groups to hang out with. Because, you know, everyone in the girls has their, like, own group they chill with. May we go with Timothy to the guild? I said it helps that we already have that pre-established relationship with them from like ages ago. I generally thought that Adelva knew that Jaeger asked me first. 
Because like I said, when I came back from the talk, he was saying that how he needs to have a talk with Delva and Zuckerberg too. I generally think that Max is one of the first people that got the offer for Sanguine. And he turned it down. I genuinely regret doing that because the content and like the story that could have come from that would have been so good. But instead, I denied it in favor of going, you know, sticking with my businesses. Yeah, that is true. It's going to be January, September, Hazel, Queenie, and potentially Lottie too. A lot of people are moving into the girl's house. That's like five new people. It'll be interesting to see how the whole dynamic of the house changes with that. Hopefully it turns out alright. It would be nice to have the house be a bit more lively. I'm not 100% convinced that adding more people will automatically make it lively. We'll have to kind of wait and see. I think April will really like living with her sisters. Just from like, you know, the content from that would be great. I love the truth and truth or dare idea too. Honestly, I wouldn't be opposed to like offering a space in the house for all the foozes. At least till they can get their own place. Then again, there is definitely an advantage to waking up the apartments, if you're new. In terms of, like you can it's a good way to meet new people. Now there's no mansions that are able to be purchased right now. There hasn't been any new houses in some time. Vinewood probably won't become available until like probably end of year, I'd say. I'm definitely willing to start saving up money on Max for another house. I to, or do I buy the Phoenix? The, having another vehicle to drive on Max would be kind of nice. And then maybe after that we start saving. Like we buy the Phoenix, get that customized, get that all sorted. Then we could just purely save up for something new. Like a new place to live. As much as I do love the Glendale, it'd be nice to kind of be driving something a bit new. We have been driving this same car for almost four months now. I definitely still would drive the Glendale too. Because we always, you know, sometimes we do need to drive more than just one person around. But a nice new car to like start Max's criminal life would be kind of cool. And the Phoenix, I, I do kind of love the look of the Phoenix. Okay, yeah, game plan for that then. We're going to buy the Phoenix probably tomorrow or maybe day after. Then from there, we're just going to purely start saving. No more spending money on the house. No more spending money elsewhere. Just pure saving. We're going to start becoming stingy with our money. If everyone else can do that, so can Max. A new car, new Max, exactly. I also do like the idea that whenever Max does crime, he does put, like, a different identity on. I think that would make him a lot more comfortable when it comes to doing crime. Like, he's not doing the crime. It's Johnny Demon doing the crime. And also enables me to do a lot of bits, too. I do love me some bits. Also, I do love the name Johnny Demon as Max's criminal al alias. Hey there, name's Johnny Demon. The fastest man alive. I'm a demon on the road. Oh, do I still have the Johnny Demon outfit? Or did I not save that? 
Like, did it get scuffed is what I mean. Do I still got that? Yeah. Well, it's called Johnny Bartoni, but I renamed him to Johnny Demon. Now, this is a guy that looks like he pushes weed. I mean, look at those eyes. Those are weed eyes. <laughs> Johnny Demon. Again, this would look kind of sick in, in the muscle car. I'm just saying. This would look kind of slick. I think it's the pants. Maybe the pants need to change. Just saying. Would look really slick. Slick criminal outfit. Plus, we've got all the other ones, too. Like, you know, we still got the... Um, uh, where is it? So, still got Johnny St. Clair. If we ever need to go do crime with April, I need a bit. Got our sewer boy outfit. Again, this is just kind of a good general sort of outfit for crime. I think this would be a good roof running outfit too, to be honest. It feels roof runnery. Then we've got the moonshine cowboy. Another good one. Home fit? Oh, I forgot about this home fit. Cozy casual. I got so many outfits, my god. Casual sharp. Duelist. Not sure if I'd ever use this one again, but still. Good to have. Ooh, okay, need to update this one. South side. This was meant to be like my Raymond outfit. I like the idea of getting like a similar outfit to the people that do crime with, and I wanted to make a Raymond. I think I need to cook more with this though. I want to design an outfit with Ray, to be honest. Like, do this style of outfit, but with Ray's, like, guidance for it. I think it look kind of nice. You know, given the whole parachute idea with it. And good chance Max show off his tats more, too. Maybe it's the pants. I think the pants aren't very Ray. Do love the aviators, though. Max is going to be getting into crime. It's just something he's very nervous to get into. Shirt and tie, Big Max. I don't know why I still have a group six outfit. I've not done group six in months. Purple. Pool party. Now this shows off the tattoo. Bad angel. I also do love this suit. I think this is one of my favorite, like, I think like snazzy suits. Like this is what Max would wear to an event, like a fancy event. If we ever do crime with Rem, I offer to see if we go make some outfits together for him. I think if I'm getting into crime, I want to do bits. I love doing bits. Oh yeah, I love the turtleneck look. I think this is generally my favorite default look for Max, this one. It feels very Max and it feels unique too. I've never seen anyone else in a suit like this. Got this one, the iced out one. I mean, I guess these are my casino outfits. I don't really need those anymore. Yoga 2.0. <sighs> Max's OG fit of 4.0. I still love this outfit. I think this outfit would look good in the... Well, minus the hat. We need to change that. This one would look good in the muscle car too. His old cabbie outfit. Sleep fit. Gray vest. I need to fix the gray suit. I'm pretty sure the gray... Yeah, gray suit's all messed up. rest of it's okay, though. The cafe has been really nice. Like, I I've loved the vibes. I spent, like, four hours earlier there. Like, the most of the stream has been at the coffee shop. I do like the vibes there. Hmm. I like the suit look. I mean, ultimately, Max is classy. Just because he's getting into crime doesn't mean that he's not classy. He'll never stop being classy. And you can definitely be a cr classy criminal if you want to. <laughs> Hold on, I need to check the buck coin. If anything, I've always liked the idea of making crime more classy. Boom. Oh, just gotta get like... Max's first felony. I think once I get Max's first felony, I'm going to feel a lot more comfortable doing crime. It's just like it's such a clean record right now. Just got to rip that band-aid off, per se. Boom. 
I'm just going to refill this real quick. Some bought the HQ app and raised computer? I don't think so, no. I'm le no one's really touched the buttcoin stuff on the computers. It's why I don't think there's any point of us even having the computers to begin with. No one's used them. They've been there for like three months and no one's used them. All it does is take power and I think it's increasing the heat too. Like we've got two computers and a mining rack all going unutilized right now. I think it's the way that the HQ app works now. I don't think anyone's ever going to use this. Yeah, we don't have the HQ app yet. Because the HQ app, you can only be on one at a time. And most people in the house do stuff with other people. So I doubt they'd want to be part of this one. Well, the reason... Oh, God. The reason we're missing the coins is because at one point, Timothy transferred the coins from this computer to Kitty's computer. Because we... No, no. The other way around. He transferred Kitty's coins to Ray's computer, which that in itself cost buck coin because we're getting rid of Ray, Kitty's computer. Then for some reason, Timothy put Kitty's computer back down and transferred it again, which in turn again used more coins. Wants to get into using Buttcoin for crime. Well, the thing is, in terms of the total Buttcoin we've had, think of it this way. It's taken us, what, two months to make 37 Buttcoin here. And what is that? 41 Buttcoin here. So what, that is almost 80 Buttcoin in two months. Most people make that in two days. 80 Buttcoin is nothing. It, it's just nothing. There's no point of us having this here unless we get serious and start buying more racks, which Max isn't going to do. That's all up to them. It's for them to sort out. Max isn't getting involved in this stuff. I just don't think it's worth us having this if people aren't going to use it. I mean, if people want to use it, they can use it. It's just I don't see anyone using it at the moment. And... I think it would help us be more efficient. Exactly. It's enough for one job. That's it, maybe. It's really nothing. It's taken us two months to get that. Ideally, we need like at least three racks all filled with GPUs. At the moment, we've only got one. With one. <laughs> It ain't much whatsoever. How much would it all sell for if you got rid of it? Not much. Like maybe 10k if I am. Yeah, we need more racks in order to make the butt coin more efficient. Like mine more butt coin. But the thing is, no one's using the butt coins so no one's making the investments. And as I've said before, Max invested enough money in the house already. Which hopefully he's going to get repaid for with the buy-in that people can be doing. I don't see... If people don't want to use this stuff, then I don't think we should have it here. All apps and rays. There's quite a few missing in rays. Let's go to the app store. Though we don't have the Sniff app. We don't have the Noid app. We don't have the, the Pingus app. We don't have the HQ app. I guess we do have the Drone app. What's the Drone app do? You must be connected to Wi-Fi, got you. I know Ray gave me the go-ahead for using it. I just don't use it. I've got nothing to use this for. Well, the way that we're going to be... If people if people moving in, we're thinking of giving them... We're making them pay a 30k buy-in just because all of the rest of us put money towards the house. And effectively, what that money would go to is... To say 30k from four people that's 120k 60k would go back to max to cover some of the, the furniture cost 40k would go to timothy for the washing machines which i mean we have to have a discussion about that i'm not sure if that should be right but you know a discussion we can have then 20 20k to kitty for the solar panels 
that's what we were thinking. Because again, for reference point, Max has spent $190,000 in furniture and hasn't been reimbursed for any of it. He never expected to get reimbursed for any of it. But if the opportunity for being reimbursed is there, he's going to take it. They was never going to expect other people in the house to pay him money for the furniture. But if new people are buying in, I think it's reasonable to say and ask that some of that money goes to him. Like the majority of that money goes to him for the furniture stuff. I think that's fair. I don't think that's Max being like money hungry or something. I think that's just kind of fair because we all live here and we all use the furniture. I just didn't want to live in an empty house. We, we do need to have a meeting to like go over the specifics. I don't know how much money Kitty spent on the solar panels either. I think 20k should cover at least most of it. I think. We'll have to see. Again, just it's just some of the money. Like e even 60k, that's still gonna be 130k that Max has paid out of his own pocket. So just 60k would kind of be fair. But again, house discussion about how how it's all gonna go. And then that point I can start saving up for something else. At the moment, Max is kind of being bounced in between having money and having no money because he keeps spending money on furniture. But from here on out, no more money is being spent on the house from Max. He spent enough. That's it. Nothing else is really needed either. The only thing really needed is expanded setup here. But if we're not using it, he's not going to do that. I'm not going to have a meeting tomorrow. I, th I think April's out of town for a bit, right? Or he's going out of town for a bit soon. There's no scheduled girl house meeting. It's better just to have individual talks for the most part. I mean, things, we still don't know if those people even want to move in if there's a buy-in. The buy-in might deter people from moving in, like January and September. That might, because I know September still has a loan that she's paying off, and January is a little bit like April in terms of doesn't, doesn't like spending her own money. Let's see, that's all good. Let me move some of this cash from here. Boom. Boom. There is definitely a discussion we can have about it. I need to still talk to Gigi and Eli about people moving in. They're the only two that haven't said yes or no. Everyone else has said yes. They're the only two that haven't made a comment just yet. We'll wait and see, though. But I think for now, that is going to be it for me tonight. It's been a good day. Very nice chill day today. Got a little bit of coffee stuff done and did a little bit of nice little chill time with the guild, which is always fun. But I'm going to go grab myself something to eat, chill for the rest of the night. And in the meantime, I'm going to send you guys over to... Ooh, I'm going to send you guys over to Shudiko, who plays the lovely Alex from the guild, That though, for those who don't know. Go say hello from me, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. For some more good old Max time, as always. Till then, I hope y'all have a lovely rest of your night. And remember, Spin!